Okay, and welcome everybody. As you can see, this is The Last Door, Season 2, the sequel to The Last Door, a spooky little game that we played a couple weeks ago. I had a lot of fun with it. We're trying to do also a spooky day every week, and I thought this would be a good candidate. I don't think there's a third game, so I'm assuming that this will actually conclude the story. But I want to get into it. It should be about four episodes long. Let's get cozy. Previously on The Last Door. Hold up. Previously, let me lower the volume. Title screen is so quiet. I guess here's your recap. Jeremiah Devitt, alerted, uh, alerted by the eh, a mysterious letter of his friend Anthony Beechworth, went in search of the memories of his past he had lost. Devitt discovered that in school he had taken part in a strange experiment. Its goal was to peek through the veil, the thin line between common reality and the world of horror and madness that lies beyond under the watchful eye of the bird. During his search, he was uh, inoculated with the eh he had used back then. The serum made Devitt's mind travel for a few hours to the dreamlike realm of the Vale. There he met his old classmate, Alexander Dupre, Dupree, who urged Devitt to join his cause and cross with him to the realm of the bird. When Devitt woke up from his trance, he found himself deeply convinced by his friend's word. He traveled to Dupree's house, where he discovered his friend had dosed himself with a new serum. Leaving a catatonic body behind, the new drug was capable of transporting the mind permanently to the Vale and beyond. Finally, Devitt found a vial of the serum and had it injected. He met his friend again in the veil, and together they walked through the last door, entering a world forbidden to human eyes. Devitt's therapist, Dr. John Wakefield, worried by his patient's disappearance and strange visions, had sought the help of his colleague, Professor uh, Johann Kaufman, an expert in the occult. Searching Anthony Beechworth's house, Wakefield and Kaufman found a disturbing returned letter, in which Anthony had tried to warn Alex of what could happen if the door was opened. He feared something from the other side might come to ours. And that's where it left off. They are coming. And who am I? Oh, I can move. None of us could prepare for this. Okay, I'm gonna turn it back up a tad. You guys let me know how it sounds. Guess we're, I guess we're boarding up the windows. The visions screaming were merely a warning. Games like this are super cool. I love getting the chance to check out some of these on stream. I hope you're all comfy, whether you're watching now or later on YouTube. And now it's too late. Sounds like someone's trying to get in. What's happening? What did we let into our world? They are coming. The Game Kitchen. Okay, is this a new intro? We can watch it once for the first episode. Yep, alrighty. This is a different one. It sounds ominous. I'm kind of reminded of that old, um... That old uh, point-and-click flash game, like, what was it called, Ex Mortis? Where, like, the first game was, like, a spooky one in a house, and the second one had, like, monsters, like, chasing people around the world. Is that what's gonna happen in this one, I wonder? I guess we'll see. Correct me how to pronounce some names if I get them wrong. Let's go. Get your teddy bears. Reminds you of Don't Escape? Yeah, Don't Escape and Five Days a Stranger. Those games were pretty cool. The Last Door. Excellent. Also something cool, the marathon. Point and click stuff is pretty cool. This is loud over me? Well, that part of the track was loud. It seems fine now. Last night, I had the nightmare again, but this time it was different. This time he talked to me. Okay, who am I? Was this one of the dudes uh, with the therapist? I can't remember. I guess we'll see in a second here. Guess there's nothing to do. It was the same unknown street, void of any sound in life. Once again, I gotta say, playing a game like this after I get a brand new giant monitor, I walked aimlessly as if I were lost. This game looks very weird on a giant screen. 
think it is Devitt. Did his hair change color at the end of the last one? Then I could hear it, the broken tromping on the wet cobblestones, the familiar sound of approaching limping footsteps. Cool. I'm the Uwu man. Oh, hey. Don't worry, it's just someone injured. I can't move. Then, as before, he stood in front of me, gazing unrelentlessly like he was expecting something. This time he spoke. Give me back what he took. Nothing else. Okay. Give me back what he took. All right. Yeah, and obviously the first the playthrough of the first game is on the channel if you want to look that up. Again, only played it a couple weeks ago. Pretty cool. No, I have fallen asleep again. What time is it? It's Devitt. He shouldn't be here. Didn't he go through the last door? Dawn already. It is time. Okay, it showed my thing, and then immediately I couldn't move. Where are we going? Going through the carriage. It was several months since Kaufman and I had found the mysterious letter in Anthony Beechworth's house. A letter never sent with a cryptic warning of what would happen if a certain door were opened. It bore only the name of the addressee. Alexander, DP. We, sh we felt sure that Dupre was g the key to finding my patient and friend, Jeremiah Devitt, who had disappeared in such strange circumstances, troubled by the death of his friend, Anthony. Devitt had visited the school of his childhood and had never been seen again. Hoffman soon conveyed to me his deep concerns and warned that I should conduct any investigations with the utmost discretion. He pursued his own research. So yeah, this was the guy who was talking to the therapist last time. Though his thoughts and methods remained a secret, in his last letter he requested that I visit East Hill Lunatic Asylum in London. There were reasons to believe that Alexander had been institutionalized there for many years. I was asked to confirm this hypothesis, and if proved correct, to gather whatever other information might arise. I thought it wasn't recording for a second. I was panicking. What a sickly horse, yeah. Ooh. It's spooky. London. What am I looking at? Oh, is that a is that a map? It is a map. I have to like stand a little bit away from it. Okay. I thought it was like a bunch of glass shards on the ground or something. And it, so it looks like this has a map screen. I wonder if it's like Clock Tower on the PS1 where you're going to just go to different places. Cool. Season 2, episode 1, The Playwright. So this is the East Hill Lunatic Asylum. I hope I can find information on Alexander here. Ladies and gentlemen, don't miss the latest news in town. Sea Monster lives at St. Ives, or Ivy's. Good morning, I would like to purchase a newspaper. Good morning, boy. Will you give me a newspaper? Yes, sir, it's sixpence. I'm afraid I don't have sixpence. Can you make change for a shilling? Sorry, can't, sir, but I know- but you know where to find me if you have the coins. What can you tell me about this building? What can you tell me about this building? The asylum? Never been inside, and hope I never will. Full of crazies, you know? Have you seen anything you unusual around here? No, but maybe if you bought a newspaper. Okay. Goodbye, boy. I believe this took... What was the year that the first game said it took place? It was 18-something? I can't remember beyond that. East Hill Lunatic Asylum. Canada elects new Prime Minister. What about this guy? Oh, wait. I guess I go here to, uh... Travel. Okay. I guess we'll go inside for now. I don't have access to any other locations while I conduct my investigation. Let's have a look. See if we can learn about Alexander here. 
I didn't even notice there was a person there at first. Good morning, madame. My name is Dr. Wakefield. Oh, I am the psychiatrist. Okay, I thought the other guy was. You only see them passively between episodes in the first game, so I couldn't keep track of who was who. Oh my, good morning. Forgive my manners. I get so excited when we have visitors. We don't get many these days, and certainly we are lacking experts like you. What do you mean, you lack experts? Every year we get less funding from the Crown. First the doctors start to leave, then it was the caretakers. Now very few remain, but we have a responsibility to our poor patients, do we not? We must care for them. They cannot be out living with proper people. We must keep ourselves safe, and our patients too, of course. I'm looking for a man who used to be a patient here a few years ago. His name is Alexander Dupre. Do you have a ch uh, Did you perchance ever meet him? No one's corrected me yet, so I'm going to keep saying Dupre. Alexander Dupre. Yes, there was one man with a foreign name. I remember something of him. A good man, if I recall correctly. An educated man. But there was something strange about him, wasn't there? I believe it scared some of the other patients. You never know with this lot. I'm sorry that I can't remember much. There have been so many people here, it's hard to keep track. Have you worked here for long? Yes, a long time. I can scarcely remember how many years. Time goes slowly in here, and the isolation. The rules don't allow us to leave. I don't know what is happening in the world anymore, but we have our duty, do we not? Who else will care for our patients? May I request access to the Institute's archives? There should be some information about the man I'm looking for, Mr. Dupre. I'm sorry, Doctor, but the archives are private. We must not allow anyone to access them without the proper authority. Many of our patients come from good families, you see, and we take great care to respect their privacy. But do not look so crestfallen. You would not find much in any case. It is a long time since they have been organized. Okay, then. Anything else? Our work here takes a great deal of discipline, Dr. Wakefield. As I'm sure you appreciate, it is rewarding in itself, but oh, I do wish I had something to occupy my mind more. Help me pass the time. How that would ease my burden. I shall not bother you, then. Okay, let's have a look around. A bookshelf. These books are not volumes of psychiatry, uh, psychiatry, sorry, or medical science, but old serial novels for patients to, to read. I'm sorry, sir. The archives are off limits. Damn it! Had the try. Also, this is a this is a very small nitpick, but do you guys notice that this window up here, the what it kind of sticks out because of the the highlights. It looks like an item. Like, looks like an item in Minecraft in your inventory almost. It's it's probably just because of the shading and the thick lines. Hmm. Mm. Or rather, the contrast of the black lines with the the white highlight lines. You know what I mean? I, I, I bet you wish you could unsee that now. It's, stick, it's popping out now that I've pointed it out. The rose window brings a solemn air to the room. Okay, it looks like a sticker compared to the rest of the room. Yeah. An oil pitcher portraying, uh, uh, Dimpha? Dimphna? Patron saint of psychiatrists, but also one of those who suffer neurological disorders and victims of... Okay. She was killed by her own father who chopped off her head after she refused to marry him when her mother died. Maybe we shouldn't put that in the, uh, the main entrance. I don't know. Okay. Well then. Well, he's the one who brought up the story, to be honest. <laughs> this must be the recreational wing where patients relax to pass the time. Perhaps here I can find someone who met Alexander while he was institutionalized. A man wearing a worn-out military uniform, lost in God knows what thoughts. Cheerful pastoral scene. A sunny beach lapped by waves of the gentle sea. A stone bust keeps the patient silent company. Warm decoration of this room. Suggest a great deal of sensitivity to the patient's moral needs. A variety of old-fashioned landscapes that portray nature as tame and welcoming. Excuse me, sir. I could not help but notice your uniform. Were you in the army? Leave me alone. You do not want to talk to a coward such as myself. Sir? 
Leave me alone. I'm just a coward. All right, then. What about you? Good morning, madame. Wait, weren't you the person in the intro boarding the windows? My name is Wakefield. I'm looking for a former patient of this institution. The rumbling. She doesn't seem to have noticed me. Have you been living here for long? Madam, if I may persist, have you been living here for long? The rumbling. I'm looking for the former patient to the hospital. You may have met him. An eyeless gaze. A man called Alexander Dupre. Looking for a man you may have met. His name is Alexander Dupre. I think she's upset. What a strong reaction upon hearing Mr. Dupre's name. She must have at least met him. How can I get her to talk to me? Okay. Miss, uh... Conhey? Coney? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Again, feel free to tell me. Correct streamer who doesn't know no foreign names. Please do not distress her further. Strong reaction. Okay. Good morning. I'm a psychiatrist, Dr. Wakefield. Quite an impressive institution you have here. Can I ask for your assistance? I'm looking for a former patient of this institution. His name is Dupre. Sorry, sir. Never heard of that name before. Maybe I can ask one of your senior colleagues. Maybe one of your senior colleagues could know something about this former patient. Well, you could ask Miss, Miss Riswell in the entrance hall. She has been here for years, maybe for too long. You know, we caretakers live here with the patients, and we are not allowed to leave the asylum's premises. This life can get to you if you don't take proper care. I try to keep as much distance as possible from the lunatics. Is that, like, a real thing back in the day? Like, if you were a caretaker at an asylum, you're not allowed to leave? That, that sounds, like, really weird. But again, this is the 1800s. There are not many patients for an asylum of this size. The asylum is quite big. I can't help noticing there aren't many patients around. Well, apart from those in the isolation ward, it is true that there are not many patients at present, but there are even fewer of us caretakers now. We're only three for the whole hospital. From what I've been told, in the old times, the income was enough to provide for everything we needed. Complete staff, proper accommodation, and the best doctors. But as the newer, bigger regional asylums were built, the Crown's support was gradually withdrawn from East Hill. Soon, everyone started leaving. I thought they couldn't. And this is what remains. I'll leave you to your work. Here we go. What about here? Let me just wander around. Your walking noises. Oh, it's a mirror. There is a thin piece of metal holding the window open. Oh! Dark as the room is now, I can see through the false mirror. There is a man on the other side, heavily restrained, desperately trying to free himself. He has an expression of unbearable horror on his face. Uh. Okay. Hmm. A glass jar full of transparent liquid that may or may not be water. There's a coin resting at the bottom. Oh, you know you're gonna need a coin in an adventure game. That's a whole scent right there. Looks like a therapy log. Edward Roan, acute dementia, September 25th, 1891. Well, we have an idea of what, around where it's at again. Mr. Roan's condition has degenerated much since the last session. He is restless, as if the morphine had no effect. For the last week, he's been obsessive, troubled for reasons unknown. Patient's dosage has been doubled to no effect. Dr. Wendell has been attacked and bitten in the face. Four men were needed to subdue the patient. Three markings were found on his body upon examination of harm as possible cause. Mr. Roan is getting better day by day, both physically and mentally. His habits have changed considerably. He now shows an interest in religion and spends his time murmuring prayers, albeit ones unknown to my colleagues and me. All right, then. The same one? Yeah. Both these. Okay, they're all the same one. 
Just don't look at the wall then. Can I check the window again? The window is closed abruptly. Well. Hey, uh. It doesn't seem like a very safe setup for that. Alright, I guess I'm not gonna ask you about it. That looks like they're trying to hide him in there. That's kind of messed up. What about talking to you? Our work here takes a great deal. Blah, 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 blah. I shall not bother you. Piece of metal. Would a piece of metal keep you occupied? No. How about a coin? She looks busy. I shouldn't bother her. All right, then. Coin with metal? Nope. Hmm. Well, then. Portrait of a severe-looking man, most probably the founder of the Institute. Wait, I can give the coin for the newspaper, probably. Let me try that. Can I look at the coin? Half a shilling, that is sixpence. Aha! A whole newspaper for that. A newspaper, please. Sixpence, sir. I'd like a newspaper. Sixpence, is it? Here. Thank you, sir. Well, then, I got a newspaper. Was this... Oh, I could give it to the lady to read. Today's Illustrated London News. The first headline is about a grim case. Scotland Yard keeps its silence about the ambassador of Turkey, found dead last Saturday under mysterious circumstances. Our sources suspect he may have been murdered. A second, sea monster found in St. Ives. The remains of a serpent from the deep were found on the beach early yesterday morning. It is suspected they came from a seaside museum in Spain, destroyed a month ago by the sea waves during a terrifying storm. There's another drawing advertising an operetta called Love Brushstrokes. All right, then. Can I go over here at all? There might be an item to pick up before I go back in. Oh, I can? Okay. What's this? I'm going to pick it up. A few cardboard sheets lie on the bench. Each shows a perfectly symmetric design in black ink. Can I pick it up? Please do not touch those. They do not belong to you. But I'm the protagonist. I can pick up whatever I want. Good morning. Ah, yes, a lovely morning. Sunlight of a quite fascinating character. I beg your pardon? The light. It makes everything look different, you see. Light touches things, soaks into them, and changes their nature. It makes them shimmer, or makes them die. Do you live here in the hospital? I do indeed. My family is a generous benefactor to East Hill. They had me committed, but I don't blame them. They are just incapable of appreciating my art, or any art. For that matter, they mistake it for insanity. What are you drawing? I am not just drawing, my friend. I'm trying to feel the light, to translate its power to the surface of the paper. Those animals don't like it, though. They don't want me to succeed, so they take it away. They take my drawings and they study them, and they laugh because my eyes can see the light and theirs are blind. But someday, someday everyone will understand. Who are they, the ones that took your art away? Ha! Those foolish caretakers, they hide behind a big mirror where they think themselves safe, and they look at me, they observe me, they even take notes. Uh, this one's not... Uh, faded out. Is there something new to it? You mean these? They are the only art that makes any sense. The doctors use them to cajole some patients into revealing secret inner truths. I won't return them to the doctors until they've returned the art they've stolen from me. Oh, he took the, he took the, uh, the Rorschach blots. Yeah. Welcome, everybody. Do you know a man named Alexander Dupre? My name is Dr. Wakefield. I'm looking for a man who lived here some time ago. Would you happen to know one Alexander Dupre? The name does not ring a bell. I have not been here long, though. You should ask the other patients. They may be able to help you. Some have been here for many years. Or you can ask one of the others, the brutes who keep us here. Where are your drawings now? Would you happen to know where your drawings are now? I suspect they are somewhere in the archive, since I have seen confiscated items taken there before. You seem different from the rest. Can I trust you? 
I've been trying to sneak in for days now, but Miss Riswell keeps a tight guard on the door. I even stole a key from one of the guards. You're a doctor. Surely you could gain entry if you could recover my drawings. I would be grateful. Here, take the key with you. Oh, that's nice. I must go. Have a nice day. Well, that was nice of him. So now I have the means to distract the old lady and uh, open the door. Apparently has been filched from one of the caretakers at East Hill. This doesn't seem very responsible for a doctor to be doing this, but from what I understand, doctors weren't exactly the most responsible in institutions in the 1800s, so I can't say this is really that unrealistic. The large door is made of strong metal. Must lead to a secure ward of the hospital. I got a key! I should hydrate. So much talking. But that's cozy. We're gonna see the story develop. Is there anything I can check around here? Nothing highlights. I think I got what I need. Give her the paper. Wow, thank you kindly. How thoughtful you are. Ah ha ha. She can't see me. This is the hospital archive, where a record of each patient must be stored. If Mr. Dupre was really committed at East Hill, his file should be here somewhere. I didn't need the key, apparently. Do I shut the door? No. The portrait of a restrained patient surrounded by caretakers and a doctor. What, are they taking a selfie? It has been a long time since this desk was last used. It is covered by discarded papers and pens and a noticeable layer of dust. Okay, what about this? The drawers are all locked. Okay, this must be through the key. Hang on. I guess I don't use the key on this because it doesn't seem to do anything. The cabinet contains many documents detailing the treatment of patients ranging from two decades ago to last year. His file's right here. Dupre, Alexander, room 108A. All the files are missing. It's as if they've been torn out. Only a little piece of paper remains with an address written out. Hall Street 26. Could that be where Alexander Dupre lived before he was committed to the hospital? Hall Street? I should follow this new lead and see if it takes me somewhere useful. Hmm. Yay. Now, if I look at this from a distance, I, it kind of looks like a map, but I still think it looks like a bunch of glass shards on, like, the pavement. Metal locker. Small sign reads, seized objects. Nice. Some personal effects probably sent in by the patient's families, but deemed unsafe by caretakers. One of them is a stack of thick sheets of paper, carelessly bound together, bearing the drawings and paintings of a troubled mind. I look at it. Watercolor paintings and drawings of different objects. Tree, a vase of flowers, something that could be a portrait, but the colors are dispersed, shapes, broken... Decomposed and mixed with a whirl of bright flecks. Okay, anything else here? All the dates of this cabinet are prior to 1870. Anything else here? Okay, same deal. Doesn't seem like I can check anything else. Hmm. Alright, let's go. Thanks, lady. My goodness, how quickly things change in the outside world. Let's go give the dude his drawings. Wait, do you think maybe I show the ink blots to the lady upstairs? Maybe I'll try that before I leave. Here. Here, are these your drawings? Great wonder, they're back. Someday they will understand. Light and shape as I understand them. Thank you, friend. If you want, take these cardboard sheets. Thanks to you, I have no more need of them. All right. 
A few folded cardboard sheets, each one with a large symmetric pa patch of black ink in the middle. I've heard of this technique, but always thought of it, thought it an eccentricity. Patients are supposed to see them the deeper causes of their ailments. This is the first card. Well, it's not supposed to make you do that. It's supposed to make... It's supposed to get an idea of what pops into your mind when you look at them right away. Me? I see, uh, Sandbird from Mario Sunshine. Uh, an ant with two boots laying on the side next to it. Um... A beetle? I don't know what that one exactly looks like. Almost like insects. I would say this could be a face. Well, that one's kind of a given. It's not really that vague at all. You see the sad face mask. There we go. Show them a picture of a Pikachu and they'll say, Oh, it's the devil! Oh, no, Grandma, that's not... No, we've been over this. The rat couple. Do you think the rat couple will come back in this game? If not, we can always go to Disneyland in Florida and we can fight them there. How about you? Anything with you yet? Sir? Coward, would you like a piece of metal? No. Would you like some cards? Oh, he doesn't want a duel. What if I show you this? How does this make you feel? No. Nope. Would you like to feel? No. Nope. Piece of metal? No. Nope. Had to be sure. This is a long shot, but what if I show the cards to the guy on the other side of the mirror? I don't think this will work, but since I'm here, before I leave... No. All right, it's time to leave. I unlocked a new location, but I wanted to make sure I could use everything here. I don't know if I'll need the, the Rorschach tests. Extra, extra, read all about it. Ball Street. Oh, it looks pretty dangerous here. Or spooky. How about this door? This door is number 24. Could this be number 25, then? Number 26. This is the place I was looking for, but the door is bricked up. I must find another way to get in. The windows are so thoroughly cemented over that it almost mixes with the facade. Cemented over? What a waste of the space there, jeez. Hall Street. It ends here at this corner. Okay, maybe we can get in the back way. The ruins of an old chapel, apparently destroyed by fire. Well then. Can I get some wood? A mess of wooden planks and the remains of benches and chairs. Maybe I could turn it up a tad more. It's really mostly ambient so far, aside from the really loud intro. Can't take those. Uh, hello, what's up? There is someone on their knees praying. Their face is covered by a hood. Yo, what's up? I put the cursor on the crow and it made it fly away. The wooden cross remains intact. Uh, would you like some cards? No. Would you like a piece of metal? No. Improvised altar covered in candles. With this candle, I could light my way in the dark. Oh, yeah, let me just pick that up. I'm sure the hooded figure won't mind. Uh, I guess I got a candle. Thanks for letting me borrow it. Anything over here? Yeah, we're just not going to talk to him. Looks like this hole leads to the building next door. Well, I got a candle. It's a missing no on the wall right there. Are there any comfy lost teddies in here? It is our duty 
to find any lost bears in the darkness and guide them home. This must be the interior of the bricked up building I saw on the street. Mr. Dupre's former residence. I cannot tell who was depicted in the portrait since it's badly damaged. It seems someone crushed it into the floor. A military medal. There is a relief of Her Majesty the Queen and several pieces of metal engraved with the names of battles unknown to me. There's a piece of paper on the table. Pick it up. Uh, C-L-L-M M Silly. Paper shows some seemingly random letters. It seems as if half of it is missing. Hold up a second. Let me look at that again. Is it one of those ones I flip upside down? Nah, it doesn't look any different upside down. Okay. One man in high rank uniform. He's missing an arm. I get the feeling I need to find something here to show to the military dude. Can I pick this up? I'll take this with- Oh, I can take the metal. It's a good thing I checked that twice. Yeah, they gotta be- yeah, they're Roman numerals, aren't they? C is 100, M is 1000. I only know, I usually I only use Roman numerals up to like 10 and I know the rules for that. But they do go to like C and M for the really big numbers. Something to show the fellow patients at the hospital. Uh, worn military medal, engraved text reads for distinguished conduct in the field. Plus there's a relief with the words Victoria, Regina, et in paratrix there are also a number of metal pieces with the names of battles lang's neck uh that and majuba hill there's something among the ashes it's a piece of paper yeah it looks like roman numerals it looks like some kind of message but there's only half of it here the paper's been carefully burnt not carefully enough clearly this is strange. I've put both halves back together, but some letters seem to be missing from the right half. The message does not make any kind of sense. Um, looking at that, could you, t uh, Minard, you're better with numbers than me. Could you tell me what number this is, the, uh, what numbers these are supposed to be in Roman numerals? I'm probably going to need that later. I'm sure the game will give me a way to decode it, but checking it out later. D is 500, okay. Door is bricked up. They're probably not numbers, but they look... It could be Roman numerals. We'll see. It's not following the rules you know. Okay, so it's probably some kind of code then. A large metal safe. Looks like the safe is working fine. I could give it a try. Oh. Oh. Okay. I see how to control it now. I probably need to heat the other paper. Hang on, what if I put... It didn't combine the halves. What if I put this one in the candle? Ah! The heat from the candle has revealed a set of letters painted with invisible ink. Okay. Okay. Okay, now we look at the highlighted ones. It's six, one, four, five. Six, one, four, five. Okay, clever, I get it. Six, one, four, five. Six, one, four, five. Now, quick question, do you go, do you go right first or left first with safes? I don't remember. Um. Yeah. Help me, help me out here, chat. It's left first? Okay. Six. Uh. One. Four. Five. There we go. Left first. It's empty. Wait, this is not a safe, but an entrance to a passage. It is completely dark. The only way... Uh, to know where it leads is by crawling it. Don't do that. Someone's going to shut the door behind you. 
All right, let's do it. Mathematic formulae written fast and carelessly. Some of the symbols I have never seen before. What is this? Uh, who is that? A strange machine built out of wood, steel, and glass. I wonder what its function could be. Hi. There is someone sitting here wearing a horrible mask and a yellow robe. He is not moving. Dun dun. It's only a yellow robe. There's no body inside at all. What is the meaning of this? Okay. Someone's gonna shut the door. Handle's going out. Hi! What? Am I gonna talk to you, or what? Four chairs forming a circle, as if the hideout served as a meeting place. And I like... Alright, fine, I'm leaving, I'm leaving! Fine! Yell at me as much as you want. I guess we're just not gonna acknowledge them. I check this again? Cannot tell who is depicted in the portrait since it's so badly damaged. Actually, you know what? I say we go back and say uh, back and apologize. We should be respectful and explain the situation. Oh, they're gone. Okay. The machine stopped as well. Is there anything else to pick up in here before I leave? Clearly, I needed that mask for something. What's this? The text is completely smudged. Can't read it. It's only a yellow robe, no body inside at all. List of numbers looks like some kind of calendar or timetable. Formula written like this. It looks like that's that. Nothing in the corner here, so I guess we're done. I feel like I found what I need to advance back at the asylum, so let's go back there. The hooded figure we're just ignoring is gone. Cool. Good thing they didn't seem to care. That was almost awkward. Hmm. We have the medal, so we can show it to the military guy there, I guess. Don't think I need to talk to the artist dude anymore. Wait, I think I show the mask to the old lady upstairs. That'll probably, like, get a reaction out of her. But first, how about this? Hey, coward, want to see a medal? This medal, I had one just like this. Got it after the battles of uh, Lang Neck and Majuba Hill in 1881, a decade ago. For distinguished conduct in the field, it said. What a farce. You were in the army, as I thought. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Dr. Wakefield. Sergeant William Conghill, Her Majesty's Six Light Infantry. Are you another one of those alienists? Do you doctors not realize that cowardice cannot be cured by your arts? Why are they keeping you here? The doctors say I suffer from a nervous disorder. I believe this is a term for what when they themselves, with all their learning, do not know what to say. But I know the true name of my sickness. It is pure cowardice. I'm looking for a former patient to the hospital. You may have met him. His name is Alexander Dupre? Yes, I did know a, na a man by that name. We met briefly. He was here when I arrived. What do you know about him? He was a proper lad, educated. He listened closely to the stories of the other inmates, but he kept his own to himself. We talked a lot. He was very close to Miss uh, Conhe too. Connie too? I'm trying to say that. I think they got here at the same time, but when he left, he did so alone. I wonder what became of him since. Who is this Miss that? Who is this Miss K? 
She's a patient here, the lady with the temp uh, tempestuous character. You may have encountered her already. She has not been the same since Mr. Dupre left, you know. She always sits to the side, alone and silent. I doubt you could talk to her at all, even if you tried. She sees things, or at least she thinks she does. What did you talk about, Mr. Dupre and you? We talked about my time in the south of Africa. I don't like to talk about that, but he somehow made me want to. He was persuasive. He was very interested in one specific story, almost obsessive about it. He wanted to know every little detail. Could you tell me that story? I'm trying to find a patient of mine who's gone missing, and this could be my only hope of finding him. I don't like to relive those memories. A missing patient, you say? I... all right, maybe my story will be of some use then. It happened during the Battle of Majuba Hill. I'm sure you've heard of it. In March of 81, the attack of the Boer army had taken us by surprise, and our regiment was forced to split up. We quickly found ourselves alone. Just a few men lost on the barren plain, but I don't want to bore you. No, sir, you certainly aren't. Please continue. Alrighty. As I said, we were few, and we were sure the enemy was lurking out there. In the cold air of dusk, a thick fog formed quickly, masking everything around us. We could barely see each other. Yeah. Uh, that symbol that was highlighted there. Let me get a drink here. Everyone all right? Wait, am I in control here? I think I am. Oh, I am. Okay. You just barely see him, too. Then the others started to disappear in the fog, which was getting thicker and thicker. I could still hear their footsteps for a while, then nothing. I called their names and... Okay, couldn't finish that. I felt something in there, not far, a murmur of a beating, something alive, waiting. All of a sudden, my feet felt something in the mud, a body, all were there, dead, only the captain. Everyone just died, that's cool. Everything fine? Everything's fine? Then the mist cleared out. What had happened? I never knew for certain. I didn't see anything. Or if I did, my mind refused to bear such memories. What happened to Captain Skid? When he finally regained consciousness, it was like someone else looked out at us through his eyes. I guess whatever happened affected him, changed him. I know he came back to London. Mr. Dupre asked me of his whereabouts. Maybe he tried to contact him to hear the rest of the story. He was quite, quite preoccupied by it. Do you know where I can find Captain Skid? Last I heard from fellow veterans, he had lost himself to a frenzy of alcohol, opium, and bad company. This downward spiral led him, as many others, to a wretched nadir, a dirty hole deep in St. Gill's Rookery, known as the Crimson Nest. Mayhap you will find him there, alive even if you're lucky. Here, this is a picture of our regiment. You can see him here. Well, all right then. Bear indeed. Let's get some hydration going on. That's a map. Absolutely. Sergeant Konghill. Please leave me be. Memories of war are painful. I don't want to remember them ever again. All right, we're gonna put on a funky mask and we're gonna spook the lady. Oh, okay. I don't think, think she took the joke very well. Is the isolation ward for you this time, Adam? The face of the playwright, the face of the playwright. Yeesh, take a joke, lady, it was just a prank. Stretch, okay. I can stretch. 
But just so you guys know, both of my arms and my legs are absolutely sore. <laughs> I did two days in a row at the gym, arm and leg day, and my body is melting, it feels like. Anyways, so we did that. Um, did anything change? Maybe I should check this. It is odd that this window is shuttered. The curtain casts a melted shadow. Can I do anything with it? Can I light it on fire? No. Oh, that symbol's the candle. I acted like a cleft, but I would do no such thing. Dr. Wakefield did it. Wanna play patty cake? A man is striking the glass strongly with his fist. His expression is of pure hate. I don't think he can see me, but I feel that somehow he knows I'm here. Chat? Wouldn't it be really funny if I did another prank? No. No. They're gonna do something spooky with this guy. You just know they are. No. Ah, well, I tried everything I can do. I am stretching a bit. What? Ow. Sore muscles. A wholesome bear streamer can't stretch. Ooh. No, I'm doing it. Don't worry. It just hurts right now. Hello. That poor woman. They must have taken her to the isolation ward. I guess the door must be open then. Let's go in here. Yeah, it's open. Sweet. Hey, hang on. Do you have anything new to say? Light. It floods the world with shades. Okay, who cares then? Oh, it's dark in here. Cool. Let's check out door number one. I don't think I'm supposed to be in here, but... This room isn't very well kept. Hello, my name is Wakefield. The butterfly is not what it seems. Excuse me, but what butterfly? There is more after the scarab. Oh, he's talking about the cards. Is this the butterfly you talked about? I told you, chat. It's the frickin' sandbird, but it has a little mustache. It displays its wonderful colors, fills your eyes with awe, but this is only a show. Behind the veil, its body crawls on the dirty ground, hides in the darkness, and transforms another of its lies. So what would this be? Its dark body creaks and rustles with its blind movements. Slowly, step by step, it gets closer and closer and closer and closer. What about this one? It will come. Whatever you do, it will cry out loud, looking at you from everywhere at the same time. What about this one? Him. Him? His mask, my mate from the other room, used to scream at night. Always told us he could feel something under his bed. A presence and eyeless gaze. Uh, this one? No. Hang on. His mask, my mate from the other room, he used to scream at night. Always told us he could feel something. Metal? No. Alright, had to be sure. Everything is so nice. Morpho Knight is coming. I don't think so. Dark Magician. It's not the Dark Magician. Don't be silly. Hey, check out the perspective here. I'm trapped in some cheese. That bar is falling apart. An old pendant in the dresser looks valuable. Finders keepers. <laughs> I can actually. I didn't think it would let me pick it up. Okay. An old tarnished silver pendant. Pocket that. We're gonna fence that later. Mine now, boy. I don't remember anyone wanting a pendant. Oh, this one's nice. An impressive painting of a lovely maiden is equipped with a fitting, magnificent frame. Is this just a thing people did back in the day? It's probably a family portrait, but I feel like these olden time 
uh, olden time places in London, everyone just had pictures of beautiful maidens on their wall, right? Nowadays, for me, I just have posters of anime girls. <laughs> no, that's not true. They're mostly in storage. I don't have the space to hang any of them right now. They're also scrolls. Oh, hey, someone is in the window. You're right. There we go. I can't seem to check. No, probably not. A mirror covered in dust. I wondered what this things it has seen in this room. Could this be the room of the patient's mate who was afraid of the presence under his bed? By showing the ink blots, I can check this now, I guess. Oh! Cool, there's something there. I check this first. An expensive looking piece of furniture. There's nothing on it. Nothing to loot. Ooh. The door is bricked up. Why would they do such a thing? There's writing on the wall. I doubt anyone has slept in this place in a long time. Window is sealed too. Almost no light can reach the room. There is something written on the wall. One of them came last night. I knew I knew what it actually was because of the sign it carried. The sign of the eye. I killed it and hid it well. If more come, they will not find their friend nor its eye. Okay. All right, then. Doesn't seem like there's anything in here. Doubt anyone slept there in a long time. Clearly, I needed to read this to activate something, because there's no other items in here. Is there anything else to look at outside? It is eyeless, but not blind. Door is closed for good with bricks, like they were pretending it never existed. They don't even try to disguise it. Room 108A. Hang on, that wasn't that... That's the room that uh, Alexander was staying in. Bunch of bricks, either for if the construction is recent or not yet finished, or they were in a hurry to seal the room. Door is shut and locked, and there's no way to open it. The playwright. Um. At this point, I could try going to that new location now. I keep trying to hide every place that Alexander was at. Why is that? Why you gotta brick everything up? Where'd they get all the bricks? From the brick store. Where else? Come on now. Let's try St. Giles or St. Gills, however you want to say it. This is the slum of St. Gills. This uh, crimson nest shouldn't be far. All right, then. Let's go have a look. Anyone here? Isn't this the... Yeah, this is how the dream went. Oh, damn it. He wants his pendant back, doesn't he? This man, he looks like the man from my nightmares. He's blind in one eye. The empty socket glistens in the lamplight. He seems to want something from me. In my dream, the man said give, it, give back what he took. Uh. He is still staring into my eyes. The pendant does not seem to interest him. Give me back what he took, he said in my nightmare. He doesn't look like anyone in the picture. I doubt he, it, it has ever been his. Give me back what he took. He looks to the mask for a second, only to stare at me again. Light? No. Okay, the piece of metal? No. He's missing an eye, so clearly he needs an eye. Look at this. 
Similar to those used by ancient Greek theater, the holes in the eyes are, are missing. It would be impossible for the wearer to see a thing. Hmm. No. Can't walk past them. Empty socket glistens in the lamplight. Give me back what he took. Hmm. He doesn't want any of that, so clearly I'm missing an item. Comforting glow. Hmm. I tried giving him a mask, yeah. I tried every item in my inventory, and he doesn't seem to want these. Hmm. Check photo? We already did that, friend. There we go. Door is number 24. Looking for 26. We already did all that. It's like daytime here now. Wasn't it nighttime last time? Would anything have changed here? I don't think I have anything else I can do anything here, right? Unless someone wants a pendant. I'll take a quick peek in here. But I'm getting close to the point where I'm going to ask what to do. Because I've been back and forth all the locations. And clearly I must have missed a random item on the ground somewhere. else seems to be here. Only thing I can think of now is the guy in the in the breaking the glass in the asylum, yeah. Nothing's changed here at all. Okay. Doesn't seem like they're gonna make me run around too much. Alright. That's the case. It doesn't seem like there's a quick map button, which would be handy. I'm gonna head back to the asylum. Maybe checking stuff at the isolation ward changed that person beating on the glass. That's all I can think of at the moment. I'm gonna check the boards. Doesn't look like there's anything there. East Hill. There's the new. Hang on a second. Didn't it? Wasn't this guy going to tell me something when I bought the paper? I may have forgotten to do this. About the asylum. All right, you know there are always voices coming from the place at night. Crying, singing, and the inhabitants cursing like damn souls. That's the usual. This night was different. It was all silent. I tell you, not a single noise in the whole street. I looked at the madhouse and saw all the windows black, no lights. Everybody asleep? Now that's strange. Then I heard it. It was a scream like no other. Not of a man or a woman, but of a devil from hell. That is very curious indeed. Thank you for telling me. Sure. Not sure that makes a difference, but... Let's go up here. Okay, let's try going up here. I don't think military man cares anymore. This doesn't work. We're gonna have to check somewhere else. No, you're still like that. Damn it. Window is closed abruptly. Where's with the piece of metal? End piece of that. Fine with that. Nope. He knows I'm here. Hmm. Alrighty then, chat. I think it's time we summon Helper Bear. The help teddy is there. Because we need help. Because I do not know what I am supposed to do next. I feel like I've checked everything, so I must have overlooked something somewhere. So let's save myself 40 minutes of uh, running back and forth. And find out what it is I missed. Because I thought it was pretty thorough this time. There's something missing. It's probably in the isolation ward. I'm calling that now, but is there anything here? Okay, been a long time. Doors are locked. 
Teddy is stuck in the game. Can you help Teddy solve the puzzle? Only a couple of pictures in their frames. Poor Teddy's gonna cry because he can't beat the game. Let's help him out. Make one less sad bear. Some bit about someone hiding an eye yet, but I checked everything in the isolation ward, so... Clearly not. I wonder if the artist has new dialogue now that I heard the Isolation Ward stuff. Light, it floods the world. I didn't try the necklace on the guy behind the glass. I'm not sure that would do anything, because he can't see. Double check these rooms. Do you say something different? His mask. His mask. Ma Maybe I, I use the mask in the, the hidden room? Let me try that. Okay, that's that room. Wait, hold up a second. What if I use the mask on the mirror? No. Now that doesn't do anything. Is there, like, something in this room that I can also check? Hmm. Skimming a guide now? Okay. Sign of the eye. I killed it and hit it well. If more come, they will not find their friend nor its eye. So someone hit an eye somewhere, and I probably need to give the eye to the injured guy, or the eyeless guy in the... the... the that. You can't use items on yourself, no. Okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Wait. Hold up a second. In the hidden room, you have to walk over a specific tile so that you notice it's loose. Are you serious? Is it this one? Oh, come- I not, wouldn't have figured that out because you can't highlight it with the cursor. Oh. There we go. It seems one of the tiles is loose. Okay. Now I can check it. I put the teddy away. I cannot get it out with my bare hands. It is too heavy. Piece of metal, maybe? Well, that's how I use that. There is something there half buried under the soil. A crow? It's a long dead bird, just feathers and bones. It's holding something in its beak. A dirty and horribly deformed glass eye. nothing else in there. I could have been running back and forth for hours and never noticed that. That's some silly stuff right there. You have to physically walk over it for it to actually register at first. It didn't even stick out that much. At least don't feel dumb because it didn't seem like it was super obvious. Okay. Well, we got what we need, clearly, so let's go here and go back to, uh, Paul's... No, it's, it's this one. Let me see. Also, dude, you should probably clean this off, but that's not my problem. Alright, catch you later. Man was right, he hit it well. He just said he hit it though. That wasn't really much of a much of a hint other than that I hit it. Did that mean it wasn't even clear that it was hidden in the room, if you ask me, but whatever. Okay. This is probably what I'm looking for. This must be the crimson nest. I've 
heard of such places where people lose their minds to opium shipped from the Orient. Never thought I would set foot in one. Alright, let's go. Man with the lost gaze, his mouth open. What is the matter, madam? My husband, he's unconscious. Please, dear, wake up. I'm a doctor. Please let me see him. I'm so sorry. He's not breathing and he has no pulse. Your husband passed away hours ago. No, 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 no. It can't be. Madam? I'm late. This time I couldn't save him. What do you mean this time? I discovered my husband's addiction to this hellish drug they called opium months ago. At first I thought he was sick. I saw him grow thinner every day. Then I discovered he was visiting this place. I was very worried. I tried to dissuade him, but he wouldn't listen. The addiction was stronger than he was. At times, he was away for days. I would come here and find him passed out. The only way I could wake him was to put these smelling salts under his nose. Now it's too late. Here, take the vial. Maybe you will be in time to save another soul from this curse. All right. Got some salts. I'll leave you alone with your husband. Okay. An addict completely asleep. A woman looking at the roof with her eyes going white. She's muttering some ramblings. Or is it ramblings or rumblings? Ramblings. A short-haired woman smoking without worry. A musician is intoxicated with the drug smoke that fills the air. The repeated arrangement gives the sensation that time flows slowly. Is that a hanging light? It almost looks like a hanging body without legs. Uh... I found some salts. Can I show you this? No. A man with a lost gaze. Hmm. Let's show the picture to somebody here. No, not you. Completely asleep. Can I move forward here? Oh, I can scroll. I didn't thought I think I could move for a second. Hello, I'm looking for a man who I believe frequents this establishment. A war veteran from the south of Africa called Skid. He's writing on a slate. Can I... Can you understand what I'm saying? He has written can't hear, so I suppose I should communicate with him by writing on the slate. Looking for Captain Skid. Don't know. He doesn't know the captain's name, then. Okay, well, if I show him the picture... He has written something else. Object of value. What does he mean by that? Oh, here. Uh, give him the pendant I looted from the hospital. man lying on his back, his breathing raspy and layered with phlegm and other liquids. The smoke has eaten away at his lungs. Man is curled up under a blanket, trembling as if he was freezing. Could be the effect of the drug. Young couple seems to have come here together that, to enjoy this, this despicable vice. Well, at least the couple's doing something together. Alright, let's just leave everyone alone, dead husband included. Uh, y'all right? Captain Skid, no doubt. He is unconscious, but he still breathes. Uh, the salts? Yo, what's up, bro? You in charge of this place? You got a dead body out there. You should figure something out. What's the matter? We'll let you in. Get out. My name's Wakefield. I need to talk to you. Are you Captain Skid? Her Majesty's Six Light Infantry? The title belongs to me no more. Who are you? What do you want from me? Leave me alone with my misery. One of your soldiers told me about you. A soldier that used to serve under your command told me I might find you here. William Conghill. Yeah, I remember him. We served together. A 
made many mistakes trying to forget those years of my life. Now I'm afraid those memories will follow me to my grave. I'm looking for information on Alexander Dupre. I used to know a Dupre. He was not a man, but a fiend. What do you want with someone like him? There are certain secrets that are better left undisturbed. Someone has disappeared. A patient of mine has disappeared. Alexander's the only one that may know his whereabouts. If it's true that Dupre is involved with your patient's disappearance, then I'm afraid that matter's out of my reach. Yours too. Now please leave me alone. Have you ever heard the name Jeremiah Devitt? I mu have you I must find him. Devitt? No, I have not. I found your medal. It was in a house on Paul Street. Door 26. You were there, right? You think you know what you're doing, but you cannot imagine what you're getting into. I'm asking you for the last time. Leave and forget this matter. I'll not leave until I find the answers I'm seeking. Tell me what I want to know. You fool. That's... Ah, oh, for the devil's sake. All right, if you want to ruin your life, you're free to do it. What really happened on Majuba Hill? What really happened on Majuba Hill, Sergeant? At that, Sergeant Konghill told me the story, but his details were confusing. I'll never be able to forget that day. Nobody knew what really happened. Command decided that we must have been ambushed. Now I know better. There was something in that fog. Something that did not like us entering its domain. A sentinel of some sort. That thing is what killed my soldiers. How did you meet Mr. Dupre? I was in the Veterans Hospital recovering from an illness unknown to physicians. An ailment of the soul. Doctor, uh, sorry, not doctor. Dupre managed to contact me there. He wanted to know my version of the story, what happened to me in the Battle of Majuba Hill. Do you know why he was interested in your story? I did not know immediately, but with time I realized the truth about what happened to me was more important to his activities as I was myself. But if you think he tricked me, you could not be more wrong. I wanted to enter the dragon's mouth. I burned with a need to know. Tell me about 26 Paul Street. Inside that house, I saw a machine still operating. What was that for? A machine? I do not know what you are talking about. That was just one of the many places used as a base for Alexander's activities. The only one whose location I was allowed to know. What do you mean, activities? What was Mr. Dupre doing then? Really do not know, do you? Have you ever heard of the playwright? I have heard of it before. I've heard it mentioned. What is it? What's happening? Okay. As I imagined, you know nothing. Dupre is not alone. He is but at the peak of a pyramid, a vast group in which powerful people take part. A society acting in secret, ruled by a single sacred law. See that no one knows. I was part of it. Dupre himself recommended me. The elite. We gathered every month. What we saw, you cannot imagine. A curtain of normalcy protects the mind from something. An outer something. The fog of the veil that protected us. But through the veil, we could peek out into the abyss. We could know of the unspeakable shapes that writhe beyond. A black nothingness entirely full of horrors. We could never cross the threshold. What we saw was forbidden. Look at me. Forbidden. I could not bear it anymore, so I ran. I ran and I hid from them. It was too late to run or to forget. All right. I must go back to East Hill and try to talk to Miss Con Connie. Conhe? I don't know. If what the captain said is true, she must have been one of them. She could know where to find them. Hold up. It was too late to run or to forget. Hey, you want to check a cool mask? 
It seems to be important to solve the mystery surrounding Devet's disappearance. I should keep it to show to Kaufman when we meet again. All right. Hang on, is there anything I can loot here? Table with several opium pipes on top. Some of them have been used recently. Chinese screen with a floral ornament. Anything else? Doesn't seem like it. Ah, crud. I don't like the look of this. Look at that candle flicking in the inventory. Hey, what's up? What's going on here? Um, I cannot do this anymore. I don't care. I just want us to be together. You know it's too hard. I don't feel free. I know, dear. I know. We will figure it out. How are you home so early? I knew all along. How could you? You know you never loved each other. Silence! You have no honor. And you, what do you have to say? Why? I've given you everything. You wouldn't understand, I... Enough! You will leave me in the, you will leave in the morning. I won't see you ever again. I'll wait for you at dawn under the old windmill. Since you can try to recover with what little honor you once had, I'll be there. Okay. Thanks for the reset there, Forte. Okay. What what a play. Where the hell did I go? Is it all a dream? My inventory's empty. I must have fainted. Where is this? Where am I? Okay. A matchbox. Yoink. I cannot see outside clearly. There's a blanket on the bed. Taking a shred of the blanket. What? What do you mean a shred of the blanket? Bro, who wakes up and is like, damn, this blanket's nice. Gonna take a little bit of a souvenir. I don't even know if I need this for anything. Talk about a rude house guest. Oh, is this a new couch? I like this. I need to take out some scissors and just take a little piece of it with you. An old piece of furniture. Door locked? The door is shut for good, and it has no knob. No keyhole, even. Well, with matches and a shred. Wait, it actually worked? I was joking. The flame has faded out. Okay, well, I gotta do something with that. Hang on, there's something behind this chair. There are marks on the, of dust on the floor. It looks like this chair has been moved recently. Shifting the chair revealed a small dark hole in the wall. Too dark to see inside. I would swear I saw a pair of feet in there. Who is there? We have met before. I cannot see you. Who are you? Do you not recognize my voice? No, I'm sorry, I do not. Do you know what this place is? It is the starting point, the first place to look. Whoa. But who are you? What are you doing here? Remember this, I will not be here forever. Darkness will light your way. Stay out of the light, then I will disappear, and you will be alone in the end. I don't understand, tell me who you are. I can hear breathing behind the wall. Can I get some more of that bed? Blanket is now ruined. Oh, gee, I wonder whose fault that is. I must take it with me. All right, then. We're just going to take the whole thing, clearly. Door is shut. Uh, wait a second. Do I cover the window? Yeah, okay. That must be it.
Now what? Oh. Guess we're going over here. Sure, let me hydrate while we do this. Devit, is that you, Devit? He's teleporting around. Now he's on a table looking at himself. Now he's crying alone by himself. Now he's at therapy with uh, no one in the chairs. Oh, trail of blood. That always leads to cool stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm surrounded by debits. Tell me, why are you doing this? Is it because you care about your patients? Or is it out of scientific curiosity? I thought we were friends. Is it for your pride? Because it's your professional responsibility? Or is it because it's the right thing to do? Actually, I'm just doing it because... Why are you doing this? Because I'm the protagonist. I have to advance the game. <gasps> oh, hey. No! Devit! It's alright. Uh... German words. How are you feeling? I feel dizzy. What happened? Where are we? At my house, I went to East Hill to meet you and found you inside one of the cells. Unconscious. Your clothes stenching of opium smoke. I had you brought here. You'd been out for a day and a half. I think it's coming back to me. I was at one of the, those opium dens. I might have passed out after breathing the dense smoke. <laughs> Happens. Listen, I have much to tell you. My investigation unearthed a great deal of new information. Alexander was institutionalized in East Hill, but his files were missing. I managed to track down a man who knew him. He told me a story you would not believe, and... There was this woman, a patient at the hospital. She was completely out of her mind. She attacked me. What is happening to these people, Kaufman? How is Alexander related to Mr. Devitt? I think this patient, Miss K, might know, now, might know how to find Alexander. We must go back there and talk to her, whatever it takes. I am afraid that will not be possible. What do you mean? Uh... Miss K no, is no longer at East Hill. She escaped last night. God almighty. Do not worry, my friend. Mein, mein Freund? How do you say that? I'm, <laughs> I don't know German. I think I may know where she is hiding. Get ready. We must leave promptly. Okay. We're leaving. I said it right? Damn. Yay! I know what it means, I'm just not sure how to pronounce it. I think that's the end of episode one. Episode one for the first game was really short, like 40 minutes, and the rest of them were around this length, so... My mo oh, I'm moving, okay. So, this might be... They are coming. Oh, this is the intro! She boarded the... They're letting him in. She's boarding the, the house and we're approaching. Now that the door has been opened. They are coming. I see. Ma'am? Please let us in. The crows are coming. Not done. Hey, I got an achievement. There's nothing written on the wall anymore. The playwright was created thanks to generous support of players who participate in the crowdfunding campaign. The adventure continues in episode two. Alrighty, cool. Okay, we're back from a little break, and now we're going to play the next episode of Last Door Season 2.
Let's do it. Perfect time for an intermission between chapters here. Okay, we're going back to this room. Let's create it thanks to this. The adventure continues in episode two. Let's click on it right now. Previously on the last door. Wakefield and Kaufman followed the only clue they had on Devitt's location. The recipient of Anthony's disturbing letter, Alexander Dupre Wakefield, visited the East Hill Asylum to gather some information. Wakefield discovered that Dupre was the leader of a secret society known as the Playwright. Wait, so the Playwright was the name of the society? I didn't infer that. He learned that they practiced rituals with the goal of peering through the veil, the line that separates the common world from an outer world full of horrors. This is why I read the, the previously, because it, like, spells things out for you a little bit. One of East Hill's patients turned out to be a member of the playwright, but she escaped the asylum. Wakefield and Kaufman followed her to her hideout, a cabin in the mountains, when suddenly a big flock of birds appeared. I've not played Project Zomboid, no. I don't really know anything about it. I must forget nothing. Who am I? Wait. I've seen this guy before. He's the dude that follows me around in Chapter 3 of the first game. He is, yeah. The dude that's always watching from the distance. Everything must be set. Okay. When the time comes... Uh, what are you doing there? What am I looking for? I guess I check this. And I am visited again. What are you doing? You pulled it down there to do that. Hang on. Intro is the same, so we can just skip that. For a moment, the sky was dark. We heard the calls of a thousand birds. But another sound rose above them. A sound I cannot describe. What? What just happened in here? Where is Miss K? We are too late. It is ashes. What happened, chat? She ascended into the crow realm. The windows are covered with wooden planks. It looks as if she was trying to keep someone from entering. Or something from getting out. Uh. Chalk. A circle drawn hastily on the floor. She thought it could prevent what she knew was about to happen, but she was wrong. I do not know what to make of all this. I do. Holy moly. The sea bear circle was not drawn properly. The sea bear got her. Hey, we're on a comfy train. Are you all right, Kaufman? It is nothing, mein Freund. Just a bit of a cold. Now, I don't know if I said that right. Now, mein Freund, I think we should talk. In light of the events we have recently witnessed, the matter cannot be delayed any further. You must make an important decision. It is not yet too late to go back to our daily lives. If you do not want to continue, you must forget all about your patient, Jeremiah Devitt. You will have to keep to yourself everything you have learned about the mystery of his disappearance and never talk about it again. But should you wish to continue this search, you will need to accept the consequences, whatever they may be. Please do not take this decision lightly. The path ahead is not without peril. Now, I know this is a major nitpick, but between the words decision and lightly, they put an extra space. It looks like an extra space is there to me. You know my answer already, Kaufman. I must know what happened to Devitt. So be it then. As you may have already realized, this matter involving your patient transcends the limits of uh, psychiatry as we know it. I almost keep saying psychiatry. I, wait, both ways are technically the correct, right? I don't know. 
We are not dealing with the effects of trauma or the demons of the sub subconscious. At least, not in the terms we're used to. We are dealing with something old, something dark. A sinister truth that has been buried deep for generations. This man, Alexander Dupre and his organization, I think they seek to uncover the secrets, and I fear they might have already. Miss Kay's fate, whatever it was, must be related somehow, but my knowledge of the area is simply not sufficient. We must pay a visit to an old friend, someone I never thought I'd want to see again. The man who introduced me to the extended scientific field of the occult. My mentor, Professor Adam Wright. Cool. Season 2, Episode 2, My Dearest Visitor. You forgot your water bottle in the freezer? Get your cold water! Is this another map? Hang on a second. Right Manor. That's a little house? What am I looking at? Like, I'm so, Even when I look at this from afar, it doesn't really look like a map. I, I think that's a coast? Yeah, it is. Are these supposed to be houses or like parts of a mountain? Adam Wright is in Playwright? We'll find out. A spooky house is a cool setting. Ooh, look at this. I like the colors. Snowfall is nice, too. Look at that. I doubt he is away at this time of day. Perhaps he cannot hear us from the front. Let us try the back door. All right. Mrs. Oakwood, she is the manor's housekeeper. Yes, who is it? Good morning, Mrs. Oakwood. Don't you, don't you remember me? Why, Dr. Kaufman, bless my soul. It's been so long I hardly recognize you. How nice to see you again. Allow me to introduce my colleague, Dr. John Wakefield. Is the professor at home? We would like to see him. Why, yes, doctor, of course. I'm quite forgetting myself. Let me take you to him. It is really good of you to come. He receives so few visitors these days on account of his condition. His condition? Oh, sir, I am right sorry. I thought you knew. The professor, he... He suffers from an ailment afflicting his brain. He is now entirely confined to his bed. Is that the red-haired guy? Professor Wright, you have visitors. One of them is your old friend. Look, look, do you recognize him? It is Johan, Professor, your old pupil. I reckon he does remember you, Johan. It has been a long time since I have seen him so excited. I will leave you two to talk to the Professor. It may be difficult to keep him on one subject for long, but it does him such a world of good to speak with old friends. Should you need my assistance, I will be in the background. Or the backyard. Well then. Professor? Uncle James! You're back! It is I, Professor. Johann Kaufman. Where is father? Where has he been taken? He suffers from some kind of memory loss. Yes, I'm afraid he will not be able to tell us much in this state. We could but stimulate his memories. Maybe then he could tell us of his research, something to unravel the mystery of the playwright. Perhaps we have few other options in any case. Let us try. Why don't you explore the manor? There may be some object we can use to jog the professor's memory. Meanwhile, I will try to talk to him about the time we researched together. That could also help him remember. There we go. The snow is falling outside, slow and silent. Okay. Professor Wright's gaze remains fixed on the window as though he were waiting for someone. A large wardrobe of engraved wood. Why do I get the feeling I'm gonna find a body or something in the back? That'd be sick. Hell yeah, corpse. Let's find corpses. A pain of the ocean at the end of the afternoon. There is a figure on black in the beach, but its face is shrouded by a hood. Can I take someone's random pendant and pocket it? A lamp provides a soft glow. Okay. 
It's locked. The sign on the door reads, Attic. Who puts signs on the door of their house? Do, do you, like, do you think I put the word bedroom on my bedroom door? No, I put the word studio, because that's where I record my professional YouTube videos. An engraving on paper. The script is in, is from a language unknown to me. There we go. Oh, pardon me. I, had, I just had a little bit of acid reflux there. My mouth is burning a little bit. Hang on. I need a drink. Ouch. I can't play video games under these conditions. Oh. I'm going to have to sue Twitch. An oil painting. It shows an obscure medieval scene. Cool, bathroom. I wish I knew this, but there was no sign on the door. Common radiator. A large porcelain tub. It's hefty weight supported on four blackened iron feet. A thin ring of damp residue around its interior suggests recent use. Okay. Though I see myself in the mirror, the reflection is strangely distort distorted. Okay. Let's see. Can't check the pictures. Hang on, what's this? A gilded pipe. It runs from the floor to the ce ceiling. Hmm. Alright, I'll hydrate again. I'm feeling alright now. Hmm. It won't open. Why is everybody gonna lock their doors? Why can't I, the protagonist, just loot everything? A portrait of Professor Wright. His appearance was quite different back then. An imposing, inquisitive figure. A porcelain jar containing some dried branches. And I saw that posture check, don't worry. I am slouching a little bit, aren't I? My shoulders still hurt like hell right now. Ooh, it's bright! Yeah, I guess this is for leaving. What, what's this? There's a strange ornament on the wall. I think I can move it. Uh... Oh, okay. It's it's like a it's like a sphere. It only goes two ways. Okay. What this? May I ask you something, Mrs. Oakwood? Of course, Doctor. How did the did the professor become afflicted? The ailment runs in his family, Mr. Wright. Su meh, yeah, Mr. Wright suffers from it, as did his father and grandmother before him. It is truly a terrible thing, and to think all these years Mr. Wright knew what would become of him. May God have pity on his poor soul. What are the symptoms of this, of this illness? This ailment that runs in Professor Wright's family, do you know what its symptoms are? Well, I can't speak those very long words physicians use, but I can tell you what I see in him. Professor Wright hardly remembers a thing from the last 40 years. It's like he's a child again. With God's mercy, it, it is now gone so far it torments him no longer. I must go. I'll leave you to your work. Thank you for your assistance. Have a good day, Dr. Wakefield. What's this? A thick layer of ice covers the pool of water. Oh, it's a fountain. I couldn't... It's probably because of the snow covering it, but I couldn't quite tell this was a fountain. Yeah. Anything over here? Any stuff for me to take? I can go this way. What's this? The queen has removed her mask. There's an empty hole where her face should be. The statue portrays a clergyman hiding his face behind a mask. The central statue portrays a cloaked figure holding a clay vessel. The vessel has a small hole in it, just large enough to see a metal object hidden inside. 
find your skeepers. I guess it'll release it when I do something with the statues. The statue portrays a peasant woman with her face behind a mask. Sage hiding his face behind a mask. Okay, so I gotta find the mask for the queen there. This is like a Resident Evil mansion puzzle here. Chat, if I could have a big spooky mansion, I would love to fill it with puzzles. I would have like a room filled with Teddy Ursa statues and you have to push them in a certain order or the room fills with poisonous gas. Also, if you want to enter, you have to sign a you have to sign a legal disclaimer that you can I you cannot sue me if anyone dies. There we go. A cast iron wooden wood stove. Ouch. Various ingredients. A bread oven. Glass jar is filled with spices and pickled food. Door is locked shut. A small sign reads basement. Another labeled door, huh? The ten years of statues hug you if it hug you or you're not a friend and die. <laughs> okay. A sea landscape. You see. Uh, this door first? Where's this go? Back to the main hall? Yeah, I thought so. Take a look in here. Ah, oh, it's locked. Alright, I guess we'll take a look here. That's right, you gotta go to five different corners of the house, collect five different special chess pieces to put it on a board to unlock the bathroom. And if you wake up at 2 a.m. and you gotta pee, good luck. Good luck. A tin soldier. It looks to have been painted by hand. It commemorates some military campaign I have not heard of. I have little statues on my desk, too. But again, like earlier, they're just anime characters. A painting of the cliffs of this region. Fire burns fiercely, rendering the air thick and heavy in the room. A globe. The surface is extraordinarily detailed. Judging by the strange shape of the continents, this must derive from a fictional work or some prehistoric era. The globe is wrong. Uh. Oh, oh. Can't move it. Click it. I might have to do them in a certain order. Uh, north is the indicator here, so... It almost looks like it wants me to drag and drop them, but... I guess they need to be clicked in a certain order. So let's look for more hints. What that noise? It's locked. I can hear the racket of many birds on the other side. Oh, that's a good sign. Hmm. We should make... We should just make a wholesome point-and-click game that doesn't have any, like, dead bodies. Teddy Ursa just wanders into a mansion looking for honey cookies. The whole game is just a wholesome, non-spooky experience. Just walking around looking for honey cookies. Porcelain jar containing some dried branches. I already checked that. Was there anything else upstairs? Enormous painting showing a torrential river and the waves splashing on the banks. In the background, I see an old church, apparently abandoned. Okay. I have not found a single item yet, and I've looped around the house. This was the attic. Was there anything in the other room? You must find a way to help the professor. Why don't you try to find some object the professor may have kept as a memento? Meanwhile, I'll keep telling him about the years we spent together. Hmm. A 
bathroom didn't have anything to pick up. I already checked all these. Most of the other doors are locked. Hang on, let's look around again. This was also locked, right? Won't open. Hmm. Can I take this with me? It might be something I need to check twice. Oh. Zooms in. If it holds some special significance to Professor Wright, perhaps it will help with his memories. Okay. Yeah, it's one of those games you gotta check thing everything twice. Uh, an eclectic collection from old adventure novels to treatises on occult sciences. Some of these titles, I believe, have been forbidden by the crown. Not the crown! There we go. Well, let's get in here. Yeah. Try this. You recognize this, Professor Wright. Sergeant Downing was sent to the front. The man that returned was not Sar Sergeant Downing. My dearest visitor, he will know where to look. Oh, what a time we will have. Your visitor? What do you mean, Professor? He will have seen the map, and he will know the Book of Travels. The Book of Travels? Yes, he will work it out, but he must not be too easy, no. He will find the prize, I'm sure. Prize? What on earth is he talking about? Something concealed, something precious in his adult state. Could he have hidden away parts of his research? He always was a proud man. He would not easily have forgotten his most groundbreaking work. The sense of its grave importance, at least, would have remained. In his confusion, perhaps he has hold it away somewhere for this dearest visitor of his to find. Why don't you explore the manor? Perhaps something will relate to these latest ramblings. Meanwhile, continue this. So I, I'm looking for the book of travels that'll probably give me a hint on how to activate the globe. Hmm. Hang on, can I check the books for this particular one? Let's see here. There's a large volume here quite worn. It is an illustrated edition of The Travels of Marco Polo. Perhaps this is the book of travels that Professor Wright mentioned. There's also a mark on one of the pages. We began our journey by crossing the unforgiving desert. Uh-oh. Chat, write this down. Write this down. I need your teddy helps. We began our journey by crossing the unforgiving desert, always facing the setting sun. At last, we arrived at the merciful sight of the great ocean. We followed the coast north in dear hope of reaching our home soon. Okay. Okay. Cross the unforgiving desert. Face the setting sun. Uh, I'm losing my mind, so I'll let chat think for me. Which direction does the sun set again? Um, It's west, right? Tell me I'm right. <laughs> yes. Okay, good. Good. Good, good. If I was wrong, I would have said, oops, I meant weast. In dear hope of reaching our home soon. It was not to be the king of the land we traversed had declared war on Great Khan, so we were forced to return as we'd come. We never set foot in that bloody land again. We knew there was a port just a few miles south where we could find a boat. Oh, good, it keeps going. Our sea voyage was short as our sails billowed with the powerful southern winds. We reached the most eastern cape and landed there, our backs to the sea. We marched forth and soon reached home. Fantastic. Did you get all that? <laughs> oh, I can... They let me look at it? Wow! That is so rare for games to let you do that. <laughs> Ooh. A miracle in technology letting us look at the damn file at the puzzle screen. Oh my god. All right. I'll try one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, the walkthrough is wrong. I literally have a have an illustration telling me the order to hit them, and it's wrong. I can see where all the confusion is coming from now with this, but whatever. 
Ugh. It seems I have triggered a hidden mechanism. A small compartment has opened up in the globe. There we go. Give me the thing. It's a sealed letter inside. It is simply addressed to my dearest visitor. Kaufman needs to see this before it is opened. All right. Whatever. We're done the puzzle. There we go. Thanks for the help. Here we go. Apparently, I almost had it the first time. I just misunderstood one step, and so did that walkthrough, apparently. Here we go. Let me see. Here you go. It would be better to give this to Kaufman. Okay. Let me see. Try this here. Kaufman, look. I found an envelope. It was hidden inside a globe that a strange mechanism opened. To my dearest visitor, let us see what is inside. Exactly. This is another part of an intricate riddle. But to what purpose? To conceal something, perhaps, or just the last acts of a confused and drowning mind? I am increasingly of the opinion that this is some mental construct, some riddle conjured up by the professor's failing mind. He may not he may not have even understood what he hid. Those seeking wisdom must first know their own foolishness. Reflect on yourself in the heat of passion to reveal what the cold eye of logic sees not. Reflect on yourself in the heat of passion. Is he telling me to check the fireplace? A riddle. And who would that visitor be? That is unknown to me, my friend. There is only one way to answer that question. If we can find the answer to the professor's riddle, perhaps we will be able to solve the mystery. Here we go. All right, let's go down here, chat. Let's figure it out. No, you're all being good moments, chat. You're all being good moments. Here we go. I think she's just being sarcastic there, Miner. <laughs> Don't worry. Come on. Let's check out the fireplace. The fire burns fiercely, rendering the air thick and heavy in the room. Throw the letter in there? No. Reflect on yourself in the heat of passion. Check a mirror while I'm in here, maybe? I don't know. I don't think there's a mirror in here. see just an empty compartment its sides and base are covered by black velvet painting of the cliffs wait a second i think it might be a hint for the bathroom upstairs heat might refer to the radiator and there's a mirror in the bathroom hang on those seeking wisdom must first know their own foolishness reflect on yourself in the heat of passion to reveal what the cold eye of logic sees not. Uh, let's do again. Gilded pipe. Reflect on yourself, said the riddle, and cold eye of logic sees not. Could there be something here hidden somehow? Though I see myself in the mirror, my, the reflection is strangely distorted. How about this? A common radiator. Hmm... Reflect on yourself in the heat of passion. I well, check this, but there's nothing I can do with it, actually. But I'm on the right track, clearly. Okay. Let me see. Let's go down. Let me see. Maybe check the fireplace again now? No, it's not that. I don't think there's anything new outside unless I can talk to... There's nothing over here. Unless I can talk to Mrs. Oakwood again. Was that her name? What about this thing? I actually don't know what to do with this yet. I'm not sure what I'm looking at. 
then this is a castle, and this is something. Hmm. She's not here anymore. She must have changed locations, which means... She might have something new to say if I find her. Let me see here. Oh no, it's not your fault the thing had the wrong picture. That's fine. Let me see. The picture you found was just mislabeled, but it, it just seemed to skip an entire step for the password. I That's why, like, people in chat were confused, because the one of the first things you Google for the puzzle's answer was wrong. And may I ask you something, Mrs. Oakwood? Of course, Doctor. Is Professor Wright fond of riddles? Do you know, is the Professor fond of puzzles or riddles? Indeed, yes, he has long been enthusiastic of every mind game you can imagine. In better days, he would host parties every other month. Themed so uh, soirees, he called them? Oh, those were good times. Seems long ago now. I love riddles, chat. They're fun. That wasn't very helpful. Can I check this again? Hmm. What if the oven is something for the heat? Cast iron wood stove. Red oven. Hmm. Nothing here. Hmm. This was also locked. Hang on, what's this up here, actually? Yeah, I know, it's locked. A gilded pipe that runs from the room at the end of the corridor to the room upstairs. I must be able to do something with that, but I haven't found, like, any items this for this one at all. Hmm. Antique ceiling lamp. Hmm. I've checked other stuff, but it seems like it only seems to relate to the bathroom. Strangely distorted. Oh, this is going to bother me a lot, isn't it? Common radiator. Nothing else seems to do anything. Darn it. I'm getting close to bringing up the help teddy again. Because I don't know what else to frickin' click on anymore. Those seeking wisdom must first know their own foolishness. Reflect on yourself in the heat of passion to reveal what the cold eye of logic sees not. Okay. Refl I know this is the right mirror. Hang on, what do, do I click on myself like this? No. Can't use anything on yourself. Nothing on the floor this time. Oh, darn it. <laughs> I feel like I should just summon the help, Teddy. All right, what is the literal next, just the next step to do? Because I can't, I don't know what to do right now. There we go. I can't click on sync, friend. That doesn't work. Can't do anything with that. Can't move the mirror around. He just stares at it. Let me see. I think the back wall looks like a face. I can see that. The mirror is the nose. The two pictures are the eyes. And this is like a, a little, little lips. Let me see here. You see heater on? Yes, I've I've checked this multiple times, chat. There's no way to turn it on. It's just there. I've checked like uh, three different things that can cause heat, so I don't know what else that's for. Is there a teapot I'm supposed to pick up? Let's see here. Did I not check that? Apparently, I can pick something up. Hang on. All right. Let's try that. Walk, damn you. Walk. Let me 
you see here, old teapot. It is filled with cold water. <sighs> All right. Well, now I have that. Alrighty. Is there more on the shelves here? Let me see. Last jar is filled. There's a match. That what? There wasn't a matchbox there before. Didn't I check this like three times? Does it reset when you walk in and out of the room? Oh, what? Whatever. <laughs> I totally checked those shelves. I feel like I ch I checked them again other later too. Okay, do I check this? And I guess I put the teapot on the stove. Whatever. Whatever. That tea be whistling. Water will cool soon. Maybe the, the matches only unlock after you pick up the teapot. That might be it. There's a different color on that one, but it didn't stick out to me. Okay. Next steps are timed, apparently. Okay, so I gotta bring the teapot upstairs before it, like, cools, I guess. Teapot and mirror. Quickly. Quickly. Reflect on yourself in the heat of passion to reveal knowledge that the cold eye of logic cannot see. Condensation from the teapot's steam has revealed a hidden message. Of course it did. Ah, oh, whatever. <laughs> I just couldn't get the dang teapot and matches for some reason. I'll add this clue to the letter. Knowing yourself, you may look upon your master, meet his imposing gaze to seek to understand what lies beneath, thereby learn the question, if not the final answer. Okay. Curiously, the message remains visible even though the condensation has evaporated. Knowing yourself, you may look upon your master, meet his imposing gaze. The pitcher downstairs. Kind of self-indulgent there to refer to it as meet your master, though. Look upon your master, meet not only his imposing gaze, but seek to understand what lies beneath. As I suspected, there was a small key taped to the back of the pitcher frame. And a note... I'll add this clue to the letter. The question is the world from the peak of man's tallest tower. The answer yearns up to it from the root of life and time itself. Did I? I thought I still had the bear on screen. Okay. The question is the world from the peak of the man's tallest tower. The answer yearns up to it from the root of life and time itself. Is it talking about that little spear thing I can move around outside? Yeah, root of life. Okay, first I should see what to do with the key, though, first. There's a few locked doors. Let's try this one. Key doesn't work here. Okay, I'll try upstairs, then. Actually, wait, hang on. What about the basement over there? That might be it. Anything new for you to say? Nothing. key doesn't fit here. Okay. I'm kind of a jerk leaving all these doors open. Ain't that rude of me? Oh, hold up. Just trying to check something. Nice. Okay. Let's do it. We can figure it out, chat. He doesn't fit this keyhole. Oh. When I get stuck and I want a hint, trust me, I will use it because... The thing about these games is it, it can be satisfying to, like, figure it out for yourself, but I know that, like, the nature of these games is if I don't bite the bullet and ask for a hint, it's going to be an hour of me, like, checking every room four more times. Just like with that floor tile in the first one. Probably could have found that damn teapot, but I thought for sure I checked those things multiple times. Anyways, let's go up here. Cool attic. A shelf covered in old ornaments, pieces of metalwork, and pipes of strange shapes. To, to be perfectly honest, though, when it came to, like, the globe puzzle, I, it was mostly laziness. I didn't, I didn't want to think any more about it. And I'm just blaming the walkthrough for being wrong, like it makes me not lazy. Some kind of round mechanism. 
Oh. Okay, crow uh, sitting, crow flying. Okay then, hang on. Knowing yourself, hang on. The question is the world from the peak of man's tallest tower. The answer yearns up to it from the root of life and time itself. Well, I know the bottom one probably has to be like a tower, but what is the bo what is this one supposed to be from that? Streamer might be asking for another hint soon. Okay. An unusual electrical device. It's I'm unfamiliar with its function, but I can tell there's a piece of equipment missing. Here, I guess. Okay. These wouldn't do anything. Okay, that's the the fountain outside. It's a little bit, a little bit pixelated, ain't it? Those are the statues for that puzzle. It almost looks like this one's staring at me. The queen has removed her mask. The statue portrays a clergyman hiding his face. The sage has removed his mask. Peasant. The answer yearns up to it from the very root of life and time itself. I should check if there's something hidden near the tree. Okay. The answer is from the very root of life and time itself. This... It means look at a tree from the attic. That's, that's what the hint meant? Okay. I thought it meant I had to make, like, the tower for the bottom, like, sphere or something. The spheres are useless for now, though. I want to make... I wish I had a cool mansion so I could make a bunch of funny puzzles. Make them not make sense. And the last one will be unsolvable. There we go. Wait, what's this? A fierce lion damaged by the harsh weather of the coast. Its head is missing. Puzzles are cool, everybody. Hmm... It's even the point of having a mansion and not having cool-ass puzzles. Looks as though something has been concealed beneath the thick roots. Another note and a key bound together. I'll add this clue to the letter. It is a truth our ancestors knew. With a stone silence came to unknow. Uh, is it talking about the lion statues I conveniently just figured out exist? Keep has been engraved with the shape of a feather. What about that door that had the calling behind it? Okay. Let's see then. I like how in the last chapter we're running back and forth between an asylum and the slums. In this one, we're just we're just exploring an eccentric uh, puzzle mansion. Riddles, everyone. Riddles. A fierce lion damaged by the harsh weather of the coast. Okay, what about this one, then? Okay, it's not these. Let's use the key first and figure out where to go from there. I like the idea for this chapter, though. Slowly getting, like, a new riddle and figuring out what to do. Let me... Was it at the end of this hall? Excellent. What I would do is I would have a big mansion, I would have a party, I'd invite everyone, and then at the end of the night, I'd tell everyone the food was poisoned and there's a single antidote hidden throughout the whole mansion. And then watch everyone freak out and try and get try and get to it. By the time you try to leave the mansion and reach the hospital, you'll never make it in time. <laughs> That's a party where I only invite people I don't like. There we go. Better behave, chat, or you might get an invitation next time. Inside this cage, there's a bird with a black head and orange beast. The sign reads words that start with pure hula. Pure hula? Okay, ins this is loud. I'm going to turn it down until I'm done here. Inside the cage, there's a small bird with black and white wings and a feathered crest. 
Okay. What about this? I check them all twice. Inside the cage, there's a crow with the black ray feathers, signs leads, corvus, cornix. Am I going to have to remember all these? I can't be trusted with this information. The a bird inside has a gray breast and brown wing, passer domesticus. And this one. Curious bird with long legs. It says that uh, there is a bird with a pale brown breast in the cage. It says Lu Lucinia uh, Magar Hinchos. With this. Embroidered cloth covers the cage. On it is written, if the birds are silent, the phrase trails off. So I have to shut the birds up so I can move this. Bird inside the cage have yellowish brown feathers. The cage reads uh, that. Okay. Bird with the feathers on its head that says that. Okay. Doesn't seem like double check of these does anything. Oh, hurt me. Let's get out of here. I don't like this noise. Get me, get out, get out, get out. All right, let me turn it back up. Let me look at the cloth. Carefully embroidered cloth. The beginning of a phrase is written on it. If the birds fall silent, the birds fall silent. Can't set it on fire. Darn it. I'm out of options. Thank you, Lenarian, for the sub there. Oof. I'm pointing and clicking. That's right. It is a truth our ancestors knew with a stone silence came to unknow. So it might be talking about the statues out in the, um, in the, the courtyard, I guess. I could take a look at them. It seems like they, the uh, Wakefield reacts to, um, it being related to a puzzle. It's rude to point while well, I'm pointing. Eddie Ursa also points at things, especially if they have honey. No, this isn't the same protagonist as the last game. This is his, uh, psychiatrist, Dr. Wakefield, who's trying to ch track down the protagonist of the first game. Can I put the cloth on you? No. What this? Central statue, cloaked figure, vessel has a small hole in it, just large enough to see a metal object inside. When the four remove their mask of lies, the path to the grave will be clear. Oh, I have to remove the other masks, not add another one? Face hidden behind a mask. Can I not remove them? Sage has removed his mask. There's a... Oh, wait a second, huh? His mask wasn't removed before. Did I do something to cause that? No, oh, that's what they're holding. They're holding the mask because they took it out. Hmm. I checked this base of the statues. Doesn't look like anything matters here, so this is probably for later after we solve more. Okay, so I've used the key to go to the bird room. I wonder if I go back to... Hold up. Currently, my only hint is... What's written on the cloth? If the birds fall silent. Well, I don't really have anything to make them silent. Any, you have anything new to say? No. Wait, I could try showing this to the guy upstairs. Maybe that's how I get the next hint. Try this. I like this chapter so far. It's a nice change of pace from like running around and talking to people at an asylum again. Oh, no, he doesn't care. All right, I'll show this to you. No, he doesn't care either. Large thing of engraved wood. Please, Professor, talk to me. He must be getting so bored doing this. Hang on. Bird silence. It's probably referring to... Maybe it has to be like this? I'm assuming it's not silent if it's like this. Um, don't have anything to put on this. I'm pretty sure the cloth isn't going to fix it. No, is there anything else I missed picking up in here? 
I can look out the window again. Doesn't look like it. Hang on the shelf. Shelf covered in old ornaments, piece of metal work. Check it again. No, I can't pick anything up. Nothing over there. Need to bring something for the gramophone. Raving on a paper. The script is language unknown. That's right. Same deal. I still have the matches. Oil painting. It shows an obscure medieval scene. Hmm. This is still like that. I don't suppose I use the cloth on you. No. Okay. So I need to make the bird silent. I changed the little orb thing, I guess. But I don't... Is that going to just quiet the birds, I wonder? I'm not sure that's even what I did. Let me check in here again. No, they're still screeching. Wait, wait a second. What, was this here before? A truth that our ancestors... Did I not check this? A truth that our ancestors knew and through stone silence came to unknow. I thought I checked all the cages and there was a statue of a head right there. All right. Well, whatever. Small compartment at the base of the bust. Hang on, I'm going to turn it down in here. Inside is a note. That only by entering the gnashing jaws of primal horror. Primal horror. Bust of the Greek philosopher. Hang on, what if I put this on you? No, that doesn't work. Okay. A truth we came to unknow. Darn it. It's always you'd miss something silly somewhere, ain't it? Excellent. Excellent. Perfect. I check this. I don't think there's anything in here. Right, it's just the dried branches one. Anyway, so what did I get? Truth our ancestors knew that only by entering the gnashing jaws of primal horror. Let's see. Gnashing jaws. Of the lion outside. A lion statue, it's gotta be. Only by entering the gnashing jaws of primal horror. There's a there's something hidden in the lion's mouth, a lever. You know, I feel like puzzles like these would fall apart IRL because I'm the type of person that if I check stuff, I'm probably going to find a note that skips like seven other notes. <laughs> it's like, oh, painting? I'll just check behind all the paintings. Oops, what's that? I didn't need to solve that. There's something hidden in the lion's mouth, a lever. I think it has triggered some mechanism inside the manor. There is also a note in here. I'll add this clue to the letter. Will you know at last... Or, sorry. Will you at last know truth? Could this be the last part of the riddle? Cool. Um, this door was stuck before, so it's probably open now. No. Won't open. Okay, what about the, uh, basement? Or that... Wait, was this also locked? Nope. Can't get in there. No key for it. Let's try this. Nope, that's also... Hang on, could it be for the courtyard outside? Did I open all the masks or something? They still have... Wait. Statue portrays a queen, her face hidden by a mask. Wait. The queen now has... her mask open. What did I change to do that? Was it the crow? Did the crow affect that? Hold up a second. I should be able to gauge this from the window, actually. Hold up. Hold up. I want to try this. 
First, let me check that one over here. Maybe these thi th that's what these things are related to. What do I have this at? I have it to the whatever that is. Let's change it to the Rook. And I'm going to check the courtyard again. Okay. That one affects the Sage. Let's see, hidden by the mask. All of them are, have their mask hidden. Okay, so let me go ahead and change this, because this one needs to be set to the other one. Now let me go upstairs, hang on. Actually, let me see if the what the if the lion affects that. Or its teeth remain sharp. Okay, so I can't pull this lever again, so it's not related to that puzzle. Well, let me check, because there's a window in the attic, right? Let me see if this did something. So I should be able to see who has their mask off out here. Yeah, only the sage is holding theirs. The sage has removed his mask. There's only two things to switch this to, so... Bird fly free. Okay, the queen removes her mask when I change that. So I'm looking for two other spherical things to swap around, I guess. So we can leave those... We can assume we can leave these two things alone now. But now I'm looking for what the lion lever actually did. I still haven't found that yet. What? A secret passage is... What? Huh? What? Why? I've messed with that thing a ton. If this is what the lion did, why didn't I see it before? Okay. Because I've had the sage and queen off before. Looks like Professor Wright's archive. I should bring Kaufman here at once. Okay, let's go do that. Check it out, man. Experiments, 1885. Let us see. Hmm, have a look at this. Be careful, there's a small key inside the folder. Yoink. First August 1885. Results at last. After many months of tedious observation, something has finally come from the other side. I heard the sound of footsteps exploring the proximity of the stone archway. This would seem to verify my hypothesis. Absolute horror is the key that we seek. 20th of September 1885. Now that they have proven themselves useful, I have installed two new devices in the outer tunnels. I dare not go deeper. I have not heard it again, but I know the thing must still be down there in the dark. November 12th, 1885. Containment in the underground tunnel has been breached. Uh, redacted is gone. 15th of December. I have no choice but to abort the experiment. It can no longer be controlled. There is but one thing left to do. I will seal the tunnel and hope that the abomination remains forever entombed within. You know, we still have not seen anything come from the other side, even in the last game. What, what is this supposed to be? It seems to be a log the professor kept during one of his experiments almost seven years ago. It is noteworthy that one of the entries has been redacted. What is written in there? It cannot be true. It must be some kind of hallucination. A sign of Professor Wright's illness, maybe. Perhaps, though we should not jump to conclusions. We can conclude that the professor had another working place underground. Perhaps the key opens the basement door. There could be a route through his under route through to this underground tunnel. Meanwhile, I'll keep looking through these documents. There must be something more than that folder among this mess. All right, let's look around though. Long series of folders with dates on them, complete disarray. I wish I had a secret office. Set of frame silhouettes under each one is inscribed plaque. Um, Mr. Strachan was a well-positioned man. He fell madly in love with the younger daughter of the Bartleys, and so he proposed to her. What's this do? Okay. 
Okay. Young Agnes fancied the idea of marrying an older man, but she always hid her feelings from her mother. Mrs. Bartley ne did never take her eyes off her daughter and watch them at all times. Okay, so look at the man. You're looking at the daughter. Mr. Bartley tried to show his support for their daughter, but his wife never paid any attention to him. So look towards the daughter. Okay. Well-positioned man. Top hat. That must be it. I think I got it. Hell yeah, that was pretty simple. Compared to the other ones, anyway. The compartment has opened in the wall. Okay. Oh, okay. So we can assume that opens another one. Check the attic to be sure. If I had a secret room chat, I've said this before, but what I would put in there... Yep, this one opened. Now we need to find the last one for this. If I had a secret room, it would just have like a couch and a TV. It'd just be a cozy little spot to play games where no one can bug me. You see. Anyways, they pretty much told me that this key goes to the uh, basement in the kitchen, so let's go there. I'm getting, I'm getting the feeling we're getting close to the end of this one. This one's a lot more straightforward. Well, it's mostly because a lot of the chapters in the, uh, the, uh, the first game in the first episode here, they have a lot of talking to people. And I was kind of running back and forth. The big thing that confused me in the last episode was that floor tile. Like, who gets that? <laughs> Unless you get it by complete accident, because it doesn't look like you'd walk on it. But nothing highlights the cursor until you do. Alrighty, let's do it. Ooh, it's spooky down here. It's completely dark. I feel a cold draft coming from the front. Matchbox. Let's see here. Goes out right away. We tried combining these. Doesn't do anything. Goes out right away. Am I just supposed to run forward anyway? Oh, okay. Eventually he gets it if you just keep going forward. But if you stand in that spot, he just, like, for takes forever and doesn't get it. Okay. That's a little counterintuitive there, but whatever. Check this. I have run out of matches. I guess I keep going forward. Because I was clearly trying before standing still, and he wasn't doing it, so it made it seem like it just it kept going out. Uh-oh. Cursor's gone. It must be a cutscene. Hello? Are there any lost little teddies in this basement? I'm here to save you. Oh, I think I fell down the stairs. Oh, and I fell into a cave and no return. I hate when that happens. I've fallen through a hole. Where am I? The flow of air is stronger here. That lantern. A working lantern. Now I can get out of here safely. This part of the tunnel is blocked by a cave and the underground tunnel is not accessible. I should go back. Thank goodness, a ladder. What's this? It looks like a component of some sort of machine. Oh, lucky it's here. Maybe I can find out where to use it. I know where to use that. It appears to be some kind of electrical device. Anything else here? Way is blocked by a cave-in. Well, let's get going. I can check this now. I think this is the last thing I need for the, um, the statues out back mechanism of some sort. There we go. That should be all four, then. Let me 
It gets all those statues moving, don't worry. Unfortunately, there were no little bears lost down here, so we should leave. If we cannot access the tunnel mentioned in Professor Wright's log, how can we find the missing parts of his research? I must talk to Kaufman about this. It's like I'm going to teleport to him. I was able to use the key to explore the basement. There's a large hole in the floor. One side of the hole may lead to some sort of tunnel, but it was completely covered in rocks and debris, so I could not tell for sure. Covered in debris? Sounds as if the professor succeeded in blocking the entrance to this underground area. Hmm, it is unfortunate for us. I have made some progress of my own, mein Freund. Ugh, I'm like... Half gagged saying that. <laughs> mein Freund? Mein Freund? How do you say it? I had it right the first time, now I can't replicate it. I... Think this could help us, uh... Delucidate the next step in our search. Have a look. Broined. Broined. That's how I do it. Okay. Today, a meeting finally took place. Ooh. You see, Mr. Wright, our organization is keenly interested in your research. We could reach an agreement to fund this project. But first, we need to know the details. I understand. The main factor is the condition of the test subject, how open he is to, to suggestion. As you know, only, only the human mind can open a physical passage to the other side. So a complete absolute darkness will be yeah, required for the experience to result. A secluded place, completely isolated. A place that can only bring thoughts of what may be hiding in the dark. I have the perfect location in mind. But in total darkness and seclusion, how could the results of the experiment be studied or confirmed? That is precisely where your organization can provide help. I have designed a special device that will allow me to listen from a safe distance. Oh, that's what that thing on the ceiling is. Oh, thank you for the sub there, Akiba. Ooh, but I lack the means to manufacture it myself. That we could arrange. But there is one last thing I'd like to know. How would the experience be triggered? By means of a chemical compound of some kind? Do you mean a serum? Not at all, that would be of no elegance whatsoever. The trigger is the mind itself, the emotion known as terror. The primal fear that still survives in the depths of our mind, from the times humans were mere beasts. Ah yes, go to another world just by being scared. Happens to me all the time. That which allows us to open a physical passage beyond the veil of rational thought. Primal terror is the key we will use to open the last door. They set. they dropped the title. Would this organization be... The Playwright? It may be, mein Freund. If so, then we are closer to the truth than we thought. But in this room, I've been able to find only some fragments of information... Discarded material. It looks as if the main bulk of documents were moved from this room and hidden somewhere else. The basement tunnel. That seems to be the most reasonable conclusion. But access to that place is lost, is it not? The entrance was sealed. There may be another access that we do not know about. If we could find and use the device the professor mentions in his log, I believe we could shed some light on the matter. Okay, then. Time to use the lever upstairs. I think we're almost done with this part. Yeah, I think it'll work now. Hang on, if I look outside the window, will it be open? All of them are missing a masks. Statue is standing with its arms open now. Okay. Let's see what this has. Let me get a drink. Okay. Anything here? Okay, I think I got it. Ding, ding. This sound. What about it? Do my ears deceive me? Is that a piano melody? 
I must seek Kaufman at once. Ooh, fancy. What do you make of it? Not to state the obvious, but it sounds as if someone is still down there playing the piano of all things. But how is that even remotely possible? I do not know, but this means something important to us. Oh, it's not a recording. They're they're listening in the cave. That the pipe connects to it, I see. This means something important to us. It means there is another entrance to the underground tunnel. And that we must find it. But we've run out of leads. You did not find anything of use in the archive, and Professor Wright continues to mutter incoherently about childhood memories. You must hypnotize the professor, my friend. We're running out of options. This might be the only way to find the answers we seek. I'm pretty sure I unlocked the damn door. <laughs> Look at this candle. Fix your eyes upon it. Your body is as light as a feather. Everything around you fades. You're entering the dark, endless void. Whoa. Woo, look at the candle. Back and forth. Whoa, 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 whoa. You will remember everything. That's how, like, it works. Listen to my voice. Where are you? A great number of trees surround me. The sun is setting soon. I can go north and west. Uh, elsewhere. I stand among tall trees. They stare at me silently. They have found me guilty. I do not wish to stay here. Tell me again where you are. Go back. All right, text adventure time. All right, then, let's go north. I stand beside a waterfall. It is not water that falls, but mud and rock from a great height. They fall and fall into a bottomless abyss. Behind the waterfall to the east lies a tunnel. To the west, I see the edge of the forest. Go west. I stand beside the shore. The water wets my shoes, and all around me lie the wrecks of ships. To the north, something floats in the water. To the east, I can see the edge of the forest. Go north. A body floats in the water. I will not look upon its face. Go back. I stand behind the shore. You see. Go east. I stand beside a waterfall. It is not water that falls, but mud and rock from a great height. They fall and fall into a bottomless abyss. Behind the waterfall to the east lies a tunnel. Okay, we'll go east now. I am in a dark tunnel. Oscar is here as well. He is upset. He yells at me. He begs me to stop. The tunnel divides into many passages. I can go north, south, and west. South. Passage ends here. An empty cave. A big round hole in the wall. Behind it, I can hear the sea. Go back. You see. Go north. I am in a large open space with a piano. Something stands next to the piano. I can't see it clearly. Its face. The tunnel stretches into the dark. Walk down the tunnel. It is a very small room. In the center lies a deep pit. A ladder goes down. It is so dark. Down there it lies. It waits. I will not continue. I must go back. Go down the ladder. I cannot. I can hear it with me. It's breath. Dear God, I must flee. You must continue. It waits for me. It waits down there. I have gone down the ladder. I cannot see. It is pitch dark. I can feel its breath. It's here. It's with me. I got it. I found a secret, apparently. Enough! We went too far, my friend. You're right. I did not think he'd react this way. You did well by stopping the trance, Kaufman. I think it would be best if we leave it for today. Let us return to the inn. Reflect tonight on what we have witnessed here. Tomorrow, let's discuss 
our next steps into our investigation. I mean, I opened the thing in the backyard. I've, I haven't gotten a chance to check it yet. January 21st, 1893. Come in. Hoffman, are you all right? Worry not, Wakefield. I'm just feeling a bit feeble. It must be all this cold and humidity. Nothing serious. I would like to know your opinion about what we heard during yesterday's session. Do you remember anything that could help us in our search? The underground tunnel. But what about the man shouting at Professor Wright? Professor Wright mentioned a man that shouted at him near the entrance to the tunnel, begging him not to continue. I cannot remember his name. Very good. It was Oscar. We should attempt to find him. He may know something about Professor Wright's fears. If we can find this man, I'm sure we'll find... We'll shed some light upon the mystery. Why don't you go to the village and try to find out something about Oscar? My apologies, but I must stay here and recover my strength. Okay. Town Square. I can't go back and check the damn basement? Okay, they're not gonna let me. Jeez. Alrighty then. Can't check the doors. Oh, everyone. Alright, they're kicking me out. Window is closed shut. Hello, psychiatrist over here. Door to the Church of Wickport. Hey, cool. This must be that ship he was, er, beach of ships he was talking about. An old rotting boat rests on the shore. The name Providence is written on the side. Okay, can't take that. Hello, is a man named Oscar here? And for a man named Oscar. What's this? A old rusty bronze bell, typical of a seafaring vessel. It is engraved with the name Augustine. Mine now. Someone may be able to tell me more about it. Why? The ship is completely wrecked. Far in the distance, I can see a lonely tree, bent by sea wind. That well, looks like that's all I can do here. Let's have a look over this way. What about the other side? Some abandoned wooded planks. Perhaps they are here for the repair of local fishing boats. Look like I can go that way. is closed. What if I... No. Snow all but covers the window. Evidently, no one has been here to clear it in a very long time. It's too frosted over to see inside. Hello? Window is closed shut. Hmm... No bell. Hmm. Might have to figure out something to do with that later. What's this, though? The Fisherman's Lodge. I guess I'm gonna go in and everyone's gonna be like, We don't need you strangers poking around here and tell me to get lost. Cannot cross the sea, hick. This lady is dressed rather elegantly for someone who came to drink in a place like this. Good morning. Let me drink in peace. Are you a ship captain? Why? What's it to you? Do I, does I look like a captain? Uh, your hat. Because of the hat you're wearing. Ha! A hat don't make a captain, Townie. You can buy a hat like this at any flea market in England. Your coarse skin... As your coarse skin weathered by years of salt and wind. Let's see here. You met many folk in Wickport, yet it's common enough round these parts. Uh, let's see here. Your hands. 
Because of your hands, calloused by years of knotting rope and reeling the line, any fisherman has hands like these. Your three earrings? Because of the three earrings you're wearing, you have doubled the three capes, is that right? Indeed I have. Good hope. Uh, Leowin and Horn, therefore I hold the right to stand before kings and to piss against the wind. If I die in the sea, these three rings, I'll pay my wake. But no, that'll not happen now. Do you mean you will not set sail again? I love the sea more than anything. It's my passion, my freedom, and my life. There are many things about him we do not know. There are far from the coast. Uh, there are far from the coast in the deep dark things that we'll, we are still unprepared to behold. Believe me, those things await deep down. Have you seen any of those things? No, but... You may have heard one or two of the stories the fishermen tell about things seen out there. It is not but tales for young'uns, mere superstition from men too cowardly to face the dark. Any good seaman knows that the strong in the strong wind a stretched rope can shake and sing. I myself have mistaken such keening for the wail of a child. There was one time, one time it was nothing of the sort, then the sea howled. It was not thunder, not a strong wave clashing with my ship, no. It was like a voice. It spoke to me in a language I cannot describe. A sound muttered but by a living something. A call unlike anything I'd heard before. And I understood. What did you understand? I understood there was no more freedom for me, that the sea now had other lords. And whoever they were, I did not know. I did know they would not share it. Oh boy. Does chapter 2 still actually go on really long? Dang. I'm starting to wonder if it'll, I'll really be able to do this in one session today. <laughs> We're not even halfway done the game yet. What happened then? As I navigated back to shore, I lost control of my ship in a great storm. The rocks of the cliffs did the rest. I do not know where the remains of my dear Augustine ended up. Oh, with the passing of years and tides, I looked for them. Once for many moons, but all I found was this bar in the bottom of an empty glass. I have never returned to the shore since. May she forgive me. Now leave me be. I will leave you alone. You have the gratitude of me and my whiskey. All that blathering worked up right a sore thirst. Why, that bell is from Augustine. My Augustine, where on earth did you find it? On the beach. I found it on the beach near the shipwreck. I thought I would never see it again. I'll clean it and make it shine anew. Wickport Beach? Our beach? Why, I must go. I must go straight away. Oh, to be reunited with my poor Augustine. What will remain of her? No, no, no. I dare not go. Oh, but I must. Good day to you, sir. Okay, I'm not sure why I did all that. Old poster of a local traditional sport. These two fishermen have just given me a suspicious look. What about you? Good morning. You want a drink? Tell me about a man named Oscar. Do you know a man na called Oscar? You mean Father Oscar? You can find him in the church when he's not here. It's right outside. When will the church open? I wonder if you know when the church will open. I knocked on the door, but there was no answer. Church, let me give you some advice. Barmaids ain't the people to ask about church opening hours. This here bar is my church. Most of the villages, uh, village that come to see me, things my way too. We pray here these days. The whole village has forsaken the church, but why? The town is forsaken. No work on the coast these days, see? You can make a living. Most of the fishers and sailors have up and left. Half the cottages lie abandoned. Those who stayed, they barely leave their homes. Except to come here, of course. But surely there must be more than just this. Many coastal towns face the same struggle, but none lie abandoned. Well, there's rumors. Silly stories, if you ask me. But some take them real serious. Fishers, big dependable guys, they'll tell you they've seen stuff out there in the water. Apparitions, shapes among the rocks... I say it's the booze talking, and I should know. Who could see anything in all that mist anyway? But fishers, they're superstitious. Folk believe the tales, and one by one, they just didn't come home no more. 
Have you met Professor Wright? Hmm. The professor? Sure. Saw him every other day as a young and always involved the village. He was la dee da, all right, but folks respected him. He got stuck in. Didn't last, though. Shut himself away. Started getting visitors from out of town. He stopped coming to the village eventually. Last I heard, he'd gone crazy. None of us knows for sure. Been years since I saw him. Okay. Uh, maybe for now, let me just see how long it'll take to beat this chapter. Because this is like... <laughs> Around this time is when I finished the third episode for the first game. So... Let's just finish up this chapter, and I'll gauge if uh, how much time I have today. Tell me about Captain Morville. Can you tell me about Captain Morville? Does he come here often? Red? He's a regular. A sad, lonely drunk. Hmm. I must leave. I'll leave you to your work. Godspeed. Okay. Let's have a look out here. Maybe check the church, or see what that uh, that guy's doing on the beach. This open? It's closed. Maybe he'll give me something. It seemed like this was gonna end at the house, but no, it's still going. Is he not here? Oh, there he is. Oh, friend, welcome. Neither the cracks in your hull, nor your flake in paint. None of it matters. You are beautiful as ever, Augustine. Today we will watch the sun set together. Got a good sir, I cannot put into words what a great service you've rendered this drunken knave. Just as you, a stranger, have brought me to my lost treasure. May this old sailor's spyglass, in whatever way it can help, help light the way to yours. Take it. It is a gift from the heart. Hmm. I got a telescope, so... An old telescope, it has been rusted by the salt water, but is still in good condition. Can I use it to, like, look at that tree back there? Nope. Today, we will watch the sun set together. Okay. I got a telescope after all that, and I have no idea what the hell I'm supposed to do with it. <laughs> oh, great. Let's have a look. I hope the bartender wouldn't talk crap about me like that. That wouldn't be very nice. Hmm. Um, this is still locked, right? Just making sure. Closed. Well, maybe I should go back to Kaufman's, because I did learn a little bit about this Oscar fellow. It's not moving? Nope. You will never leave that window open. Go back to the inn. Hey, Kaufman, I got something. How you feeling? I'm feeling all right. Just a bit tired. Father Oscar. I have discovered the identity of the man we seek. Oscar is the priest of Wickport's parish. The church door is closed. My dear Wakefield, what advice can I offer? A church would not remain closed all day. If you must wait, then do so. In the meantime, talk to the villagers. Perhaps they'll reveal something useful about the professor. I'll let you rest. Thank you. Well, that wasn't a whole lot of anything. Wait, you have to... You can approach the window, you just have to do it very carefully. Really? But I thought I already tried that. Let me see. Hang on. Excuse me, are you spying on me? I'm sorry, I did not mean to. You are not from these parts, are you? No, I'm just passing through. You all right? Yes. Could you could you do me a favor? For a long time, I have wanted to visit the tomb of my lover, but I cannot leave the house due to my illness. Okay, you just give me, like, a, a freaking whole-ass quest, like an Oblivion or something. Could you please leave these flowers there? No one in this village will do this service for me. Alright. 
Where is that place? Oh, you could not know how grateful I am. You are a good, kind person. You can go to the graveyard through the path right there. The name you need to look for is Carter. Okay, new location unlocked. All I had to do was creep up to this window. <laughs> Why were you spying on me? Oh, do not put it like that. It sounds terrible. I just watch folk passing by. I cannot leave the house, so I spend my days at the window. It is awful interesting. You learn a lot about people this way, you know? Really? What can you tell me about myself? I have only observed you for a while, but I can tell you were on an important mission. Looking for someone dear. There is a worry over your shoulders and a long way ahead of you. Well, that was remarkable. I'm frankly astonished. What can you tell me about the barmaid? Ava is a woman with a strong character. Once I saw her kick out a group of drunk sailors from the pub without a doubt. She is in a bad mood lately because business is not what it used to be. She will not leave the village, though, as did the others. Captain Morville? Poor Fred is always drunk. In the old times, when he was not sailing, he had long walks on the beach and looked happy. But now... Rare is the occasion when he gives a quick glance at the coast. He has lost all hope. Can you tell me about Father Oscar? He is a man who has lost his purpose. I see him walking aimlessly in the morning, evening, nervous and doubtful. I should go. Alright then. I got flowers. I guess we go to this new graveyard I unlocked. Ooh, pretty graveyard. This chapter alone is, like, I'm getting close to two hours with it. Rose Carter. Okay, it's this one. But what do the other ones say? Bury my body with the salted driftwood, with the green seaweeds and worn-out ropes where I can feel the cold autumn breeze. Must be this one. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, the church is opening now. The bells of the church. It seems the priest is calling mass. All right, then. What about the rest of them? Farewell to those of you that walk beside my grave. Here I lie, my name written up on stone under the sun. I kind of hate how, like, the text is very obviously cutting off the actual, um, the border of the stone. That feels like a very obvious oversight. Do not bring flowers to this place, for rum is all I crave. Now I rest under the same stars I sailed by when I was when I was alive. Blech. There's nothing here. There's no name, date, or epitaph on this gravestone. Oopsie. Anything else down here? Okay, I just had to come here to deliver flowers. Uh, what's this? Oh, is this the tree I could see in the background? It must be. Windswept, old gnarly tree is clinging to the cliff with what roots remain. Someday it will fall into the ocean below. Okay. Hello. Good morning. I'm Dr. Wakefield. You came from the town, didn't you? You need a dancer. I know by your accent. Be careful around these cliffs. This is no place for tourists. It's hardly a place for anyone now. The man snorts. You best be on your way back. Strange things have been happening here. What do you mean? Seamen and fishermen alike swear to have heard voices in the rising tide. Inhuman screams, some of them say. And there are some who claim to have witnessed ungodly things in the dead of night. I once saw a ghastly thing crawling out there amongst the rocks. Screams, you say? People have heard screams coming from the sea. Bloody drunks, they say the sea howls at them, as if that was something new. What did you see in the rocks? That thing, the one you saw on the rocks, could you tell me more about it? Late night it was, me on my boat fishing. That's when I get the best catch. Then I saw it, not under the water, as the others say. It was on a rock, perched there, like it was smelling for something. The shape of it, like nothing I ever saw before. Not walking on the earth, nor swimming in the sea. The thing was big and hunched over, like a crouching man. The way it moved, it made my flesh crawl. Whatever it was, the mist itself was its ally. 
hiding it from my bare eyes and in the end disappearing away together. I swear, should I see that horror again, I will take my most vicious harpoon and thrust it so deep in its wretched body that they will have to bury them together. So what are you doing up here? I come here when I can to watch the shore, just in case that thing comes back. The mist down there is just too thick. I can see better from here. Even if my eyes are not what they used to be. Damn it! If I could somehow regain my one sh I give him the telescope. If I could somehow regain my one sharp eyesight, by God, I'd impale that abomination b for sure. Here. Here, would this help you watch the shore? Why, it is old to be sure, but this telescope has been patched up to a rare beauty. You have my thanks, stranger. I am indebted. Hmm. Ooh, what's that on that cliff there? Well, below me. If it isn't the Wright's old summer house, I thought it entirely destroyed. It looks like you can get there using the old cliff path. Excuse me, did you say the Wright's summer house? Yes. Well, yes, I never saw it myself. I was too young at the time, but everyone round here knows the story well. It was a terrible tragedy, you see. One night, there was a landslide just beneath the house. Most of the building fell sheer into the sea, leaving only yonder ruins. And he died, though by a miracle, young Master Wright was spared. You can see it from here. Look, right there on the other side of the beach. Do you see it? Okay, so we're still only on the- we're still on the second episode. I thought the whole second episode would be, um, the, uh, the mansion. But now it feels like it, it started the third one, doesn't it? I don't think I'm finishing the whole game in one sitting. I still haven't checked the church yet, and I have a whole other location now. Oh, the landslide is that waterfall from the trance. Remember? He said it was a waterfall of, like, mud and rocks. That's what the landslide was. Uh, first, let me check the church now that it's open. I guess I can also tell you I brought your stuff. I have left the flowers on your lover's grave, as you asked. Thank you so much, I'm in your debt. I should go. Thanks for everything. Have a good day. All right. Hmm. Are... Does anyone know if, like, the third and fourth episode for this game are as long as this one? Extra long upload when this is finally done. Hmm. Confessional, so Wickport serves Catholic congregation. Good morning. Good morning, my son. Does no one come to this church anymore? What's the matter, father? What has happened to your parishioners? The village has seen bleak times. Many have left and the rest have lost their faith. Every day I ring the bells, but no one answers. May God have mercy on their souls. Why do you suppose that is? I could not say. The mist that shrouds this coast and the shapes that swirl within have long been a source of hearsay. But lately the stories people tell are not of pirates and smugglers, but something more sinister. Some say the devil himself has come to our shore. It is a rumor I dare not disregard. Are you personally acquainted with Professor Wright? Are you personally acquainted with Professor Wright? Why, yes, of course. Adam was rather... is not merely a parishioner, but one of my closest friends. Since our youth, we enjoyed many scholarly, but sometimes... quite fervent discussions. He being an anthropologist and myself a theologian, that is, until he fell ill. But since he is like that, I have not visited him. I must go. Wait a moment, please. I need to ask a small favor. Please give this to Adam. I don't know if it will mean anything to him now, but it will bring peace to my soul if there is some token of our friendship resting by his side. And he gave me a picture. It looks like I'm allowed to go back to the mansion now. 
take a look at this. Picture of two young men. They could be Professor Wright and Father Oscar. Okay, anything over here? Humble altar made of unadorned marble. Neglected and decaying cross reflects the faith of the villagers all too well. The window has been boarded up. All right, then. Head back here. Existing playthroughs on YouTube total around seven hours. Okay. I still plan to upload it to YouTube as one giant VOD because splitting games up like this doesn't really do well anymore. YouTube, like... YouTube just prefers, if you're going to do a one-off, just put it as one gigantic VOD if you have to. There we go. Plus, my new PC, like, renders stuff a lot faster. And, like, look at the visuals of this game. It, it doesn't take up a huge file size with, like, seven hours worth of footage, so not a big deal. Hmm. People like the spooks in one go. Yeah, I mean, this is already a sequel as well, right? Um... I guess we can either go to the manor or the cliff, but I want to see what's in that damn basement already. Am I allowed to go in? Main door is closed this time, huh? I swear, if this changed... Hang on. I want to finally check here. I hate that they sealed this off for a bit. Oh, it's not open. This It just dropped this, that's all? Uh-oh, okay. The clay vessel held by the statue is now broken to many pieces. There is an object among them. It must have been hidden inside. It's like a compass. Must be broken since it does not point north. Strange device cannot be a compass because it does not point north, but seemingly random directions. The central statue has shifted position and the clay vessel has fallen to the ground. I thought this was going to open a path underneath this. Instead, he just dropped a compass I can't use. Well. Looks like I can't get in. We got to give the picture to Mr. Wright, though. Hang on, can I check the back door? Yeah, it's open. There must be a reason they're guiding me to go this way. That stove is still on. Was this open before? Yeah, they wanted me to see this. What is this room? A cage covered with an embroidered cloth. The end of the phrase written on it is, A visitor will call. Goes with the other one. If the birds fall silent, A visitor will call. Ooh. Is the compass moving? Hang on. You're right. Is it random? Or is it pointing me... Wait, is the compass pointing towards, like, the ways I need to go? Simple wooden wardrobe. There's nothing of interest here. What about this chest? There's a closed chest here. There's a key inside. Heck yeah. A yellow key. Okay. Simple wooden wardrobe. There is nothing of interest in here. Okay. Go here then. Can I open this up? is locked from the inside or oh, whatever what door was left was it this one oh it's 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 dark up here won't open does that mean it's locked though nope professor is everything okay is the secret patch is still open Door is locked with the key. Okay, hang on. Yeah, secret passage is still open, so... They wanted me to check that bedroom. Professor Wright is not here. What do we have here? 
There's an open book on the floor. More hints. The Book of Birds. The Book of Birds is a compilation of legends related to birds. Some of the text has been marked. The birds were traveling to meet their king when they reached a crossroads. The wretched crow tried to lead them astray onto the path of the mists. Many birds followed him and were lost forever beyond that veil. Only the wisdom of the crested uh, hoopo and the prudence of the red feathered robin could lead the remaining 28 onto the path of righteousness. Ever since the birds have sung their praise, without the hoopo and the robin, silence would have fallen forever. Oh, no. Professor Wright's dressing gown and slippers. Okay, I guess I need to go to the bird cage room and use this sol to solve the puzzle. I don't suppose anything's changed in the bathroom. No. Hopefully the birds shut up while I do this puzzle, at least. Fireplace is out. The fire is out. How did this happen? Not the birds. What about the teddies? Has anyone stopped to consider how they feel about the situation? Ah, oh, the screech. Of course they are. Hang on. I'm turning it down in this damn room. Until I'm done whatever this puzzle is. Okay. Inside it says the sign reads that. You see. Corvus Cornix. You see. White wings, feathered crest. Oopa -pa -pa poops. Okay, Marula. Passer Domesticus. Okay, that one. That one. Uh, none of these match the thing I met, I found, though. Uh-oh. Corvus Corning. So what about this one again? That was that. Let me read this. Book of Birds. The birds were traveling to meet their king when they reached crossroads. The, wretch, uh, the wretched crow tried to lead them astray. Many birds followed him and were lost forever beyond the veil. Only the wisdom of the crested hoopo and the prudence of the red-feathered robin could lead the remaining 28 back on the path of righteousness ever since the birds have sung their praise for without the hoopo and robin. So does that mean I have to cover both of those cages of the robin and the fe and the crested one? Let's see, black and white wings. Okay, that's one of them. Do I do this? The bird inside grows suddenly quiet. Which one has red? Rest and brown wings. Let's see. Long legs. Pale brown rest. Okay. Yellowish brown feathers. Red feathers on its head. Is that the one that's a robin? I guess I'll find out. All the birds have suddenly st Okay, I got it right. I got it right. Let me turn it back up. The sound of those birds is so obnoxiously loud when I walk in here. I have to, like, shift the volume. Okay. I'm surprised I figured it out. Someone dinged at the door. Wait. The visitor arrived because the birds are quiet. It sounds as if there's someone at the door. Let's find out. Someone's entering. The door has been opened. Is it the rat couple? Round two. Let's get in here. Come on, rat couple. You want to fight? Bring it on. I'm not scared of you. Someone has entered the house. It may or may not be a mouse. Hmm... I only have a compass. I haven't gone to the cliffside yet. I don't know if I can do anything there, but... Oh, this is open. Never mind. Oh, no! Let me stretch. Oh, God! Mr. Wright! I'm 
The poor man, it looks as if his heart gave out on him. His eyes, my god, they're fixed with an expression of the utmost terror. Let me see, his fists are clenched. He's holding... Uh... He's holding on to something. It's some kind of stone figurine. He's holding it tightly as if he was protecting it from someone. The figurine is beautifully carved, but it appears to be but one half of a larger artifact. Mine now. What has happened to him? I've seen death before, but never a body. Has a body left me so ill at ease? I'm trembling. Okay, is that it? An old wardrobe. The window is open. A cold wind blows into the room. Bro's got him. They escaped. Cheerful scene that would have lifted my heart on any other day. It stands in stark contrast to the tragedy that has befallen the house. This is serious. I must break the news to Kaufman, and of course the local authorities will have to be informed. Wow, I didn't think he'd actually do that, to be honest. All right. I have no choice. Kaufman, what is the matter? Kaufman. Do not worry, I have given him a mild sedative. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Dr. Armitage. The innkeeper called me because he was worried about your friend. Pleased to meet you. I'm Dr. Wakefield. What are Kaufman's symptoms? Strong coughing, general feebleness, dizziness. It's too soon yet for a diagnosis. It could be a simple cold, but the sudden onset and severity of his symptoms is certainly a concern. He must be monitored for the next few hours at least. Do not worry, Dr. Wakefield. I will remain here and take care of your friend. Could it be something serious? Doctor, this is far from my specialty, but... Do you think it could be something more serious? It's too soon to know. Let us wait and see how his condition develops. Okay. Hoffman's asleep. He's bre he breathes heavily and looks very pale. Why do I get the feeling that you aren't a real doctor? This is all a little bit of a situation here. Oh, thank you for the sub there, friend. I think I missed a sub earlier, too, didn't I? Hang on a second. No, I did get that one from Kiva earlier. I was just distracted for a little bit. Thank you, Tina. Okay, let's go to the cliff now. <laughs> this feels like... It feels like after I left the mansion, that's when episode three should have started. It feels like two episodes in one for this one. Check out this cool cliffside thing that may or may not collapse. Hey, it's open. Sick. Free real estate. An empty wardrobe. Its wood is rotted from long exposure to the sea air. And the sea air is salty. There's a peculiar indentation in the stone. Is it for my artifact? Probably when I have both pieces. This does not look safe to stand on, Dr. Wakefield. I'd get the hell out of there if I were you. This is a certified unsafe Teddy location. The side of the cliff is heavily exposed to harsh sea winds and waves. This landscape shows the house as it was before the landslide ruined it. Yeah, never build a house at the, at the side of a damn cliff, like... Erosion is just gonna get rid of that damn thing. All it takes is just it slowly fades over time You see like you know like chat With cliffs and all that over time obviously, you know the sides of the cliff, you know pieces of rock Soil that's gonna fall off over time. It may take years even decades But eventually it's gonna fall to a point where that house on top of the damn cliff is just gonna topple and fall into the ocean you see here. Was that just a thing that people didn't, like, care much about back in the 1800s? Because I know, like, I don't know if there's, like, laws in place now to stop people from building on cliffs, because, like, we're more aware of that stuff now. I don't know. The roots of this vulner uh, venerable tree tightly grip the rocks that anchor it against the harsh winds. Oh, it doesn't look like I can do anything here, actually. Uh, a 
vertiginous drop, I can see the waves crash relentlessly against the rocks below. Anything else you can check here? That's the exit. These rocks look like the remains of the landslide. So I can't do anything here. Hmm. People still build too close to the shore. Oh, do they? I guess they don't care. Hmm. Um, maybe something's changed at the town square? I might, might bring out that uh, help teddy soon. Here we go, I'll leave it you to your work. Godspeed. Everyone wants to have that nice ocean view. Like, I can see, like, building, like, you know, a little bit away from the cliff, but not at the damn cliff itself, you know? Let me see. Let me see. Oh, is this closed now? It's closed. Okay. Teddy bear emotes are very cute, aren't they? Miss anything? Uh, no, I checked out the cliffside house. I thought that was the other piece of the statue for a second. A yeah, day has passed, I assume, because we found Wakefield's body. They will watch the sunset together. Okay, same deal. The church is closed. Maybe I should check out the fisherman lodge again? Let's see. They still- they don't build at the edge of the cliff, but, um... They build, uh... Close enough that it could be a problem in 10 to 20 years. Okay. That house is cool, though. It's super cool, bro. I want that. Maybe I should check the- the window person again. No, they're closed up. They're not gonna be talking to me anymore. Wouldn't, like, uh... Having an ocean view house also make you a lot more susceptible to storms, though? That would suck. Hang on, did I talk- try talking to you again? I can't remember if I did. Yeah, there's nothing here. Um, okay. Looks like there's nothing here. Maybe something's changed at the manor? It's just fully open now. What about, uh, what's-her-face? she still here? At this point, I've opened all doors. He's still there! Bro, did I not tell the authorities about this? What has happened to him? I am trembling. Let me check the bookshelf now, I guess. Oops. New books on classical theater. Thin layer of dust in the coat rack. I'm not sure if I'm even supposed to be in here anymore. What did I get by doing that? I feel like I'm... No, I found half the statue. That's what I found. Right. Maybe the compass is supposed to lead me to it now? I don't know. Compass is pointing me to that. So if I go here... It's pointing forward this way. Maybe it's at the graveyard. I don't know. I'm out of options. Up here? Very loud, my name written in stone. Wait, is it this? The compass... It is pointing! The compass points to this grave. Alright, time to loot it. I found a wacky compass. It clearly says it points here. There's something buried here. An engraved stone. It seems to be only one half of a larger statuette. Nice. Big Brain Teddy solves the case. Joined together, the two pieces form an intricately carved figurine or idol. It is ancient without a doubt. All right. Now I have a cool statue. I think I use it at the fireplace of the cliff house. Oh, boy.
probably this. Put the idol in the fireplace of the almost collapsed house. Yeah, we did it. And what does that do? It has triggered some secret mechanism. There is a passage behind the fireplace. It seems to lead to a cliff. Sure is very convenient that, that the destruction of the house just so happened to stop at all this stuff. Empty wardrobe. What am I doing? It's in the fireplace. I gotta go. I'm sure this is a good idea. This must be the entrance to the underground tunnel. I must go on. Oh, I just realized something. There's a note at the floor. Hang on. I didn't, like... Shouldn't I have put the picture at the, um... <laughs> at Wright's body? Whatever you find down here, do not stop. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. You're gonna hate me. You're gonna hate me. No, I'm not going back. I'm not going back. It's probably just gonna give me an achievement and nothing else. This might be the end of the chapter, though, but I might have to go back. It said, do not stop. Can't immediately turn around now. Let's have a little look-see. Ooh. Um... Crap, what was the directions he said? I guess I'll just pick one. I don't remember. That was like well over an hour ago, I think. Dead end. Okay. Just check the cool tunnel. Now what about this point? It looks big and spooky. I'm already lost, by the way. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, that looks cool. There is a wide pit in the middle of the chamber. It descends deep in the dark. I think I hear the sound of the sea far below. Let's hop in. Uh... No, I don't want to- I don't need to check this anymore. Oops. Oh, can't do that. I guess this isn't the way to go. Wait, was that where I came from? Or did I come from there? No, I'm pretty sure I came from the right wall. Does that mean I go in this one? Uh-oh. This one's flooded. This is different. Does that mean I'm going the right way? Oh. Part of the cave is blocked by a cave-in. I guess I can't do anything about that. That's the parts that, that's collapsed, but... Let's get going. This way, maybe? Oh, hey. What is that, body? These are human remains. The flesh is gone, but the bones look undisturbed. How long have they lain here? Why on earth did Professor Wright not alert the authorities? I must press on. What possible research could have led to this? I hear the piano. Chat, there's still something down here playing the piano. <sighs> Sounds like the piano is more to the left. Spooky. All right. Uh-oh, it stopped playing. Maybe I made it mad. There is a grand piano placed in the middle of the room. Okay, I can't check the sheet music. Hello? Anyone here? Hello? 
maybe we'll just press ahead. I feel like I gotta be at, like, the end of this chapter already. Uh, alright, we're still picking multiple ways. Did I not move? Okay. Everything is fine. Oh. Forces me to pause sometimes when it makes weird noises. What is this? The drawing represents a human figure uh, stepping through some sort of archway or door. Like the last door. I'm almost done in this chapter, okay. Is this a dead end? Yeah. Sometimes I just stop when it plays that noise. Yeah, let's try going this way. Anything here? There's that thing again. There's a strange metal device hanging from the ceiling. And what do we have here? It's a hole. Small passage goes into the brick wall. It is too thin to pass through. Okay. Matches on it. Throw a picture in it. No. Doesn't look like I can do anything with it. Oh boy. Everything is comfy and cozy. Don't worry, I'm just I'm just looking for any lost teddies in this location. That's all. I think I can go back through this one now. Look over here. Anything over here? This is just a dead end, it seems. We're going this way. I think this was the original entrance here. If only I moved a little damn faster. Oh, it's this one again, damn it. Now I've looped around in a way I'm lost. Here we go. Check in here. That's the piano again. Well, I guess I gotta go back in here and find out where to go. Maybe go right immediately this way. Walk, Wakefield. Become Walkfield for a little bit. Okay, and this is another dead end. Come on, you can do it. Am I going right from here? I can't remember where the hell I was. I feel like I checked every possible door now, but clearly I didn't. Maybe left from this way? Let's do this. Any one way here? Have I... This, I think this is new. Yep, this is new. What is this place? examine this. I think I finally hit the end of this. A strange machine. It does not seem to be working anymore. What this? And what is that on the floor? I can't even tell. There's a note on the floor. 
who was gone will be back not the same but somehow changed because that which lurks beyond behind the door waits and no one that has crossed through can hope to escape its blessing i must tell kaufman about all of this These clothes are torn down to the unrecognizable shreds. There's a tag here with two initials. H-A. Ah. Is that the door? There's a large archway carved on the stone wall of the cave. It looks like that's that. I can't walk towards it. It seems like I need to leave now. I need to tell Kaufman what I found. But am I actually going to be able to leave? Not done. What was that? What was that? The walls will ooze green slime! Part of the wall stones seem to have dislodged from it, leaving behind a large dark hole. something behind me. Ah! What the hell was that Silent Hill thing? I think it may have got me. Hey, achievement. Yep, I'm definitely done the second episode now. The adventure continues in episode three. My dearest visitor was created thanks to the generous support of players who participate in the crowdfunding campaign. Holy moly, that was a long episode there. Bath description, but... Oh, I see. Some of the descriptions were, like, uh... People, like, funding for that. Was that, like, a Kickstarter bonus? Okay, I am back again, everybody. We're recording. I took a little bit of an extended break there to rest my throat and get some food. So, episode two went on for much longer than I was expecting. And I decided I want to at least go with another episode tonight. So let's do it. I continue... And this is the continue screen here. You're just getting home from work? Well, that's good. Let's get comfy. People were saying that episode two is much longer than three and four, so we'll see how that goes. Let's go. Maybe I can finish it all in one night. As a necessary step to understand the mysterious disappearance of Dr. Wakefield's patient, Jeremiah Devitt, the doctor and his colleague, John Kaufman, visited the manor of Professor Wright. Years before, Wright had been Kaufman's mentor in the occult, but since then, had been afflicted with a mental condition and could remember nothing. The text is a little off-centered there. They discovered that Wright's research had been founded by the playwright, or sorry, funded by the playwright, the secret organization led by Alexander Dupre. While Kaufman lay in bed due to sudden illness, Wakefield followed the clues left by the eccentric Professor Wright, leading to the darkness of an underground labyrinth. There was in something down, there was something waiting down there, alive, but imprisoned in the cave. In the deepest chamber of the tunnel, Wakefield met the dreadful result to Professor Wright's final experiment, which had been an attempt to cross the last door using fear as the key. Yeah, he got mauled by a weird mantis monster out of Silent Hill. For three days, you must wait. Who am I now? this alone amongst these dead stones sending up the fear for someone to die here <gasps> only then will you be ready whoa check it out it's open Complete your journey, Mr. Ashdown. I open the gate. Alright. Intro still the same, we can just skip that. What has happened, everyone? Everyone get comfy and cozy. The spooks continue. I think I can remember. Do I gotta click? I think I do. It's terrible screech. But it was not that of an animal. 
There was something human in it. That's even worse. A desperate cry for forgiveness. Oh. Nope. You alright? Is Wakefield running for his life? I think he might be. You alright? Take a deep breath there, friend. I couldn't run for that long. My asthma would be killing me after the first couple sprint. Sac a few seconds of sprinting would kill me. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh. Okay, he's still running. I have no interaction. This cutscene is just going on its own. Oh. He fell in the water. Uh, oh, he must have fell down that hole we found, remember? That hole at the other end of the cave. I'm assuming that's where he ran to. They found me on the beach, unconscious. Clutching the piece of wood that had saved me from drowning. When I last awoke, the letter was waiting on my table. Wakefield. I write this... I write this letter in my last moments of lucidity. I have not received word from you since I regained consciousness, but I'm confident you will soon return with information that is crucial to our investigation. The bravery you demonstrated in the face of these latest discoveries is worthy of my most sincere admiration. I must now ask for you yet more courage. The doctors were unable to determine the cause of my sudden illness, nor have they found a cure. I have not much time left. My greatest regret is that I must abandon you to the difficult tasks that lie ahead. I implore you to persevere now that we're so close to finding an answer. The professor's documents were filled with references to a place of dark legend. The... Uh, the Crone... The Crone Meaden? An ancient sanctuary on the island of Ellis Moor. The exact location of this place has been lost, but the professor believed that its secrets may explain why his experiments messed with such, met with such disastrous results. You must find this place, my friend. I do not need to remind you to exercise the utmost discretion. I have complete trust in you. Discretion. Meanwhile, I just went around and talked to everyone. So Kaufman just died from that random illness he got of, out of nowhere. Always your friend, John uh, Johann Kaufman. Dang. Unfortunate. Okay, I can walk here. Can't talk to people. With Kaufman gone, I found myself lost, my life devoid of meaning. It was as though my friend had written a letter to a person who no longer existed. Weeks passed, maybe months, I did not count the time. But the day came when I realized there was no other option. To honor my friend's memory, I had to keep looking. I had to find Jeremiah Devitt. Wherever he was. It was the 1800s, yeah, you can just randomly die like that. Wakefield survived? Yeah. That's it. The intro said he, uh... He fell down a hole. I can see the island in the distance. Ellis Moore. A name I'm probably saying very incorrectly. Season 2, Episode 3. The Reunion. Are we gonna find Jeremiah, then? And here we are, the island of Ellis Moor. Thank you very much. Let's do it, kids. According to Kaufman's letter, the legendary Pronmedin can be found here. As Kaufman emphasized, I must exercise discretion. For all I know, the playwright is watching. Can I talk to you? When will you be back? Tomorrow at first light, probably. I'll be delivering supplies in the mail. I'll see you then. As you wish, Dr. Wakefield. Reunion with the rap couple. Good evening. Visiting. Hope you enjoy your stay. Okay. 
Good evening. My name is Wakefield. I have just arrived on the island. Very dis very discreet, Doctor. You want to speak with Lord uh, Donan? Donan? I beg your pardon. The Lord! Lord D! You should see him. Good evening. Welcome. Excuse me. A visitor. Visitors are wo most welcome in Ellismore. Hmm, yes they are. Why do I get the feeling I'm going to be sacrificed to some r ridiculous Silent Hill monster? Hello? Door is locked. That can't stop me. I'm the protagonist. The windows are open and the light is on. What's this? An abandoned wheel. A, pe a peculiar cog is attached to it. Based on the cog's workmanship, it looks like it was part of a complex industrial mechanism. But someone has tried to fit it crudely into that broken bicycle wheel. How on earth did it come to be in a village like this? It's mine now. Hmm. Been lying there for a long time. Good thing I checked that a few times. I feel like that could have been easily missable. Oh, hang on. The door could be checked. Oh, who are you? Excuse me, are you Mr. Wakefield? I am. I have a message from Lord Donan. Lord Donan? To our most recent visitor, Mr. Wakefield, it is customary in Ellis Moore to welcome strangers with hospitality. Don't eat the food, it's probably human meat. I should be honored if you would accept this invitation to join me at my manor for dinner and amiable conversation. Your new friend, Lord Donan. This, this is like those shady DMs I get as a YouTuber. <laughs> Hello, do you wanna be friends? Do you wanna sign this contract? Oh, now this map screen actually looks like a map. I gotta give them credit. Oh, let me go back for a second. What if we're really hungry? It's like the gate has been broken for some time now. Chat, would you trust this? You arrive at an island for the first time, and the the lord of the island invites you over for dinner? That is, like, beyond sus. He's probably a vampire, and I'm probably not leaving. What if I go up here? Is it the map screen? Hmm... Faint smell of fish and potatoes is drifting through the shutter. The fish smells slightly rotten. Ew. Guess I go up here. I like this location. It's cool. Let's see. Door is locked. The gate leads to the village graveyard. It is closed and locked. Okay. I like the second chapter. It just, it felt like it was two chapters combined into one. Like, the mansion should have been its own chapter, and the village was, uh, like, its own one after that. But hey, more content, I guess. Look at this. This looks like one of those island screens when you boot up, like, Mega Man X, and you pick a location to for where that's where each Maverick is. We went so many places, yeah. Oh, this is a good sign. He even had... Look, he's got a snake carpet. That's cool. Well, Dr. Wakefield, you're here on holiday, then. Yes, indeed. I've come to enjoy a rest somewhere far from the stresses of city life. I see. Well, if it's dis distractions you've come looking for, you've chosen the right time of year for it. These days, we celebrate a very special tradition from our uh, of our kin. Something unique. Human sacrifice, human sacrifice. Don't eat, don't drink the coffee, Wakefield. We call it the Festival of Reunion, because you'll be reunited with your ancestors when we kill you. Fascinating. May I ask what it, do, what does it entail? According to tradition, for the next three nights, the spirits of reunion leave the confines of the other side and roam the hills of Ellis Moor. We wear costumes in masks so the spirits will not recognize us and make us the targets of their mischief. Certain rites take place. But I should not bore you with the details. You shall have occasion to see for yourself. We dress up in masks and run around doing stuff. It's like the purge. <laughs> That's what it's going to be. An odd mosaic adorns the floor. It depicts two snakes biting each other. Nobody has a carpet like this unless they're evil. Like, come on. 
Hello, it's it, it's me, the Lord of the Mansion. Would you like to step into my parlor where I have all these the, these cool like carpets of snakes eating each other? Like, no night nice people don't have stuff like this. Come on. There we go. There are two engraved panels on the wall. They appear to be ancient, but I cannot decipher their meaning. A large statue of a person. It's so eroded by the passage of time, it's difficult to tell any specific detail. Exotic blend of black tea. Engraved panels. Do these panels on the walls represent a classical theme? I cannot seem to place it. They are the panels of the first king of Ellis Moor. The days of the Druids, we worshipped the great god Lug. Lu? Lug? And our kings did right by those beliefs. What part of the world am I even in? I don't even have a grasp of how I how I should attempt to pronounce some things. I know I'm not in London anymore, that's for sure. Snake mosaic. Well, I can't help but noticing this remarkable mosaic. It looks authentic. Yes, it is, although some historians might disagree. We believe that this manor was built atop an ancient Roman villa. In our traditions, uh, the double serpent represents a sentinel that protects us from the terrible threat hidden within itself. Okay, the statue. The statue is remarkable. May I ask what it represents? It is a hero of high and high king of our myths. Now you're just making fun of me, game. You seem to be knowledgeable about Ellis Moore's folktale. Or folklore. God, I can I swear I can read. I should very much like to learn about the island's history in more detail. It is true that we in Ellis Moore cleave to the ancient traditions, but we haven't lost touch like some of these on the mainland. I'm no expert. If you really are interested, you should talk to Miss Foster. I haven't seen anyone correct me about Ellis Moore, so I'm going to keep saying that way so I don't just, like, have to awkwardly stammer over it. <laughs> oh, God. Hang on. Please forgive my indiscretion, but do you consider yourself a religious man, Dr. Wakefield? Uh, not really. No, I do not. You seem so certain. Might I ask why? Uh, not a man of faith. I've not yet found a religion that provides the answers I seek. That's not what I clicked on, but okay. I see. Confess your beliefs. Let us take a walk by the lake. From there, we can see the beauty of the island as we talk, and be the better f and be better for it. The marsh in this valley is, for simpletons, a wellspring of frightful tales. The educated among us enjoy the tales as little more than distractions. Knowing us safe from these visions, we know these stories to be nothing but superstition. But how can we be so sure that in the dense mist that emanates from the stagnant water, we may not find passages to other worlds? What if the wails that drift from the reeds in the darkest of nights are the songs of those from our worst nightmare? I'm suspicious of this person. Many of the gods that men worship for millennia now lie buried in the common grave of oblivion. In Ellis Moore, we keep our traditions alive. Oh, they change, just as the times do. But they always keep their essence. These are our roots, Doctor. Look at Mr. Big Fancy Words over here. I must now take my leave, as my presence is required to start the rites of reunion. Feel free to continue your walk on your own. The village can be found just beyond these hills. As I mentioned earlier, you may wish to speak with Miss Foster. She is something of a resident expert on Ellis Moore's history. She can be found working late at the school, the building right across from the quay. Why? Quay? Whatever. It has been a pleasure meeting you. Farewell, Dr. Wakefield. It has been a pleasure, Lord Donan. Oh boy. Alrighty then. An old barrel lies stranded on the shore. A painted label says mineral oil. It is sealed. Guess I gotta crack it open. Hmm. You pronounce it like key. Okay. Well, good to know. Let's see if I can do this. Hopefully this one's not too complicated. 
There were a few moments that had me stumped in the, the second one, but we weren't lost for that long. I feel like the nature of the... What the... Oh. Got masked on. Excuse me. Oh, you. Hello, my name is Wakefield. Hi. What are you drawing? What are you drawing on the ground? A symbol, not a drawing. A symbol? What does it mean? It's the final truth that'll protect us from the Marsh Dwellers, but we're not allowed to say its name out loud. Marsh Dwellers? Who are they? They're scary. My Aunt Kathleen says they were really bad people. You'd never see them, but you'd hear them in the reeds. They try to take you there with them. That's why we can't come here alone. We always have to take someone with us. I must go. Goodbye. Farewell. All right, then. Oh, cool, a big hole. A huge hole lies in front of me. An ominous chilling draft issues from within that sends shivers down my spine and makes me uneasy. To a superstitious mind, it might seem like a passage to another world. What about this? The wiki says the name of the island is pronounced as Ailish Moor. Okay. This place appears to be the remnants of an ancient temple to some unknown deity. Okay, this looks like I can't do anything with this stuff. Go back. Maybe put a railing around this. That's just me. Can't go up there. Let's walk to the right and see where it leads us. Maybe the world map has something for it. Oh, what's this? A broken old fence. Can't do anything with it. Okay, is the hills where I am at? Oh, the hole is on the, the world map. Yeah, it is. Just was making sure when I clicked it. Back to the village. Okay, that's how I get there. Maybe I should try going to the manor, because I was already here. Hmm... This statue is very old. Appearance suggests it could date back to ancient Rome. Seems to be Athena, goddess of wisdom, war, and the arts. She is dressed in armor, seemingly ready for war. Okay, there's a backyard. Let's check that. A swing set. The noise of the swing gently being moved by the wind is the only thing breaking the silence. Another wheel? It's a safety bicycle. I still do not understand how they manage to keep balance with such small wheels. It looks quite new, but the chain is broken. I may find a way to fix the chain. Okay. Can't combine them. We found items. It took forever to find items in Chapter 2. It was more about checking the right, like, um, event trigger and all that. A mill wheel, something is preventing it from spinning. Okay. I don't think this would do anything, but let's see. Do not see how it would help. Don't get snarky with me. I'm trying to help. A strange mechanism runs from the mill's wheels shaft to the building. It seems to be lacking a small piece. We'll check. Hog is way too big to fit between the gears. Looks like I need something smaller and thinner. Well, I tried. Let's check the door now. Chapter 2 is about using your brain. No, that's my weakness. Kieran's playroom is written on the door in hand-painted letters. The door is locked. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to click it again. Yeah, let's go over here. Well, we found a chain. Might be useful for something. All that's left is the door. Can I go back in? Door is locked. The manor appears to be dark and empty. Okay, he went on his thing. So now it looks like we need to go back to the village and find uh, the next thing to do. Let's 
see. Wonder if these unlocked. Oh, the graveyard's open. Wasn't earlier. Cool graveyard. Let's just wander in. A small mausoleum. The door has a small slot. I might be able to peer through it. Jump scare. Cool. Inside, a candle provides dim light. I can make out a statue of a hooded man. I can also hear some whispering. No, I can't die yet. Not without knowledge. That knowledge right there. Is so terribly unthinkable. To truly understand the gods? Mm hmm How can we live only on faith? No, shut up. Knowledge is what I pursue, not faith or assumptions. Uh-huh. No, no man can face death believing there is nothing on the other side. Yes. Yes, you are right. Now I understand. Okay. Uh, can I back out of here? Okay, good. I was worried it was going to play the whole thing again. I wouldn't be able to do anything about it. The epitaph on this gravestone is written in Gaelic. Okay, Gaelic. So this is like uh, near Ireland then? Am I finally understanding that? The shadows cast by the lanterns only making the characters more mysterious. That's why everything is impossible for me to pronounce. In the middle of the graveyard stands an old alder tree, which can, which the locals call a fear, fear nog. Many lanterns hang from it. I do not know for what purpose. Woman hides her face behind a bull mask. She murmurs something in unison with the others. Muted prayer I can't make out. Man hides his face behind a fox mask. He murmurs something in unison. Cannot make it out. Wolf mask. There's something familiar about him. I think that's the do that that's the Lord. I'm seeing his body right. Man hides his face behind a deer mask. Hey, what's up? Okay, why are we digging in the graveyard while we're wearing animal masks? I believe they were burying mirrors in a hole in the ground. What a peculiar tradition. Alrighty then. Hide your face behind a badger mask. Alright, have fun with that, kids. I'm gonna check this out. I wanna loot the graveyard, but what's in here first? Uh, school? In the graveyard? Let me get some water, you right. Good evening. To what do I owe the pleasure? I'm a busy woman, as you can see. My name is Dr. Wakefield. I've come to Ailish Moor to rest for a while. Lord Donan said I might find you here. Have you met Lord Donan? Again, tell me how to pronounce that if you, if you know. It has been so long since I've seen him here in the village. Hope he's well. Dr. Wakefield, welcome to Ailish Moor. So have you seen Lord Donan lately? As far as I know, no one has seen him since, well, it's been a few weeks. Now that the festival has started, maybe he'll be motivated to join us in the village. What happened? Something happened a few weeks ago? Oh, sure, it was truly terrible. Kieran, his only child, disappeared without a trace. He went off to play in the hills and just vanished. No one has seen him since. Good lord, and you say he's not been found yet? How is that possible? We all searched the island, but he was nowhere to be found. Tell me about Kieran. What can you tell me about Kieran's disappearance? Just that he was a restless child who loved exploring deserted areas. You might learn more from his classmates. His desk was in the back corner. Festival of Reunion. What can you tell me about this curious festival? Well, it takes place when the constellation Reunion is visible in the sky. On those nights, dark things and spirits ride the winds that travel across the hills. 
As you may have already seen, at sunset the villagers don masks. They do this so that the spirits will not know them or carry them away to the depths of their underground caves. People at the graveyard. There was a group of masked people at the graveyard. Was that part of the festival? Yes, that was one of the first rites of the reunion. A very important one. As I said, people dress up to protect themselves from those that will come. But this is not enough, since the mirrors they have looked into while changing know their identities. They bury them next to the old fear dog. The roots of this tree grow in both worlds at the same time, so they keep wit uh, the witness mirrors safe. Okay. Ailish Morris traditions. Lord Donan said you're an expert on the island's folklore. He said that, did he? Well, I wouldn't call myself an expert now, but I've lived here in Ailish Moor longer than most, and I've heard my fair share of stories about the other side and its people. Ask about that thing. Might I ask you a question, Miss Foster? Yes, of course. Do you know the meaning of the word Cronemeden? Yes, it's a very unusual word, very much indeed. The Crone Maiden is the sanctuary of the Crooked One. It is a cursed place, the dwelling of the devil. I recall it from the tales that I heard as a child. Of course, our elders only made up those tales to scare us and protect us from harm. Please tell me the story. Would you tell me the story of the Crone Maiden? All right. There's a hole in the ground up in the hills, not too far from the village. A hole so dark and deep, you'd not see the end. Gee, I wonder if the kid fell down there. Folks around here believe there lies an old serpent at its depths. Ravenous for the flesh, the crooked one. Long ago, our ancestors threw livestock into the pit in the hope of pla uh, pla placating the crooked one's hunger. Though that tradition has not been practiced for some time. So perhaps it would be best if you did not approach the hole. It is said that the last heir of the... Bladesend once defied the Crooked One by approaching the rim with an iron amulet in her hand. It is general, n general knowledge that beings from the other side detest iron, so the cursing and the shouting of the young Bladesend received no immediate answer. But a few nights later, the Bladesend house was consumed in a horrific blaze, putting an end to the old family. I must go. Been a pleasure. The pleasure was mine. Enjoy your time on Ailish Moor. They'll dance around the burrow, around the burrow they'll sing, it's cold inside is winter, don't get too close, don't get too close, or else they'll pull you in. Okay. A paper with black circles painted on it. What does that mean? Oh. There is some kind of worm screw inside the remains of an insect beside it some drawings engraved on the desk i will take the drive with me it may prove useful well it's a good thing i double checked that desk okay can i check this again i don't know if this could be a hint or anything a shelf of handmade books with unfamiliar titles most of them concern strange rites Oh, it's a back exit, okay. Oh, it's this, okay. Well, I've got a few pieces of metal I've just kind of looted. All the villagers are gone. Oh, this is a good sign. They're all gonna- they're about to turn into the villagers of, like, frickin' Resident Evil soon, aren't they? Resident Evil 4. Oh, what's this? A bottle is floating in the water. It is caught in the seaweed just out of reach. I think there's something inside. Use the chain. It's not long enough. Well then. I gotta find something long enough to get the bottle. Look at all the metal in our inventory. Oh yeah! I guess this would piss off whatever deity is uh, on the island. Faint smell of fish and blah blah blah. Slightly rotten. Okay, we've done this. This is still locked, right? Wait, no, there was something else in the graveyard. A second path I didn't take because I went in the house. Let's do that. It already feels like this chapter is moving along at a much faster pace. 
Yeah, this one. It didn't go here. Is this another side exit? Or... Yeah, I haven't been here. Doghouse? An empty doghouse. Nothing has slept here in many years. In there. Where'd everyone go? Bingo. An old rowboat filled with stale water. Something sticking out of the water. Yep, you gonna get it? A worn out umbrella. It doesn't look like it'll rain anytime soon. There might be a purpose for it. Combine it with the chain. Make it long. No. Combine it with the screw to. Okay. Combine it with the gear. No. Okay. Maybe the umbrella I used to reach the thing. Does this unlock the way around? I think it does. Yes, it does. Well, I found an umbrella, so I'll see if that can reach the thing. Let's do that. Bays are, aren't fond of salt either. Well, don't worry. Streamers got plenty of salt. They'll stay far away from me. Yeah, we did it. You got a bottle. The paper is rolled up inside the bottle. It says, get off the island. They're going to kill you. Gods remain silent as the fog settles. We may look for the king beyond the clouds, but find the queen with the fiery crown. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Well, now I have a bottle. I don't think the text was important. The important thing was getting a bottle. Can I put it with the screw? No. Can I combine it with the chain? No. What about... No. Well. Maybe I need to scoop up the stale water? Usually when you get a container in games like this, you gotta fill them up with water or something. I'll check just in case. Um, maybe I can use the screw on the wheel next to Kieran's playroom. Nope, can't use that there. I gave it a shot before I left. Okay, let's go. Um, check the manor first, yeah. I'm puzzling. This is, this seems like a very sus village. If I were... Who would want to go to, like, an isolated village with these weird, like, uh... We're all gonna put on masks and bury stuff in the graveyard. This doesn't seem very safe. I, I, I'd be afraid everyone was trying to kill me. And they probably are, because this is a horror game. Horror adventure game, I should say. Can any of these get the wheel unstuck? Oh, hang on. No. Try the screw on this thing. Okay, it worked. It seems the mechanism works properly now. Now the water wheel is working. Does that mean the door opens? No. Okay, so why did I need to get the water wheel working? Now the water wheel is working. Do that. I don't see how that would help. Well, I'm trying something. No. Can I check this for anything else? Mechanism works properly now. I'm not sure why I did this. It didn't seem like this changes anything that I'm aware of at the moment. Swing is the same. Door still locked. Well, I it's probably relevant for later. Let's at least remember that. Hmm. I'd say we go back to the hills. There's probably something new there. Oof. Ow. Arms sore. Broken old fence. Can we attack it with a chain? No. Can we attack it with this? I'm spitballing here. I'm trying to make sure we don't have to come back here 6,000 times. Hmm. Hang on. Wait a second. Maybe that barrel on the beach I can do something with now, right? Yeah, this. Break it with a chain. No. Break it with this. Wait, is this actually going to work? Cog is not sharp enough to open the barrel. Okay. No. 
I'm on the right track. I know I can open the barrel for some reason. There's nothing over there. The water of the marsh is murky and dark. Can I scoop some up? Nope. Making progress here. Gonna get some sleep, friend? Alright, catch you later. I am going much longer than I expected with this game. Because... <laughs> The second chapter was just so freaking long. The, this game in general is much longer than the first one from what I'm seeing. I thought it would only be a little bit longer. Okay. Oh, hang on. What's this? A group of jagged rocks. Check the hole again. Throw the bottle down? No. Chain down? No. Throw the cog in there? No. Maybe I should just jump in. It's getting dangerously close to help Teddy time. Hmm. A bottle on it? No. The noise is spooky. I know I can open that bottle, but I don't have something sharp enough for it. Hydrate and stretch and unshrimp. Maybe they say something different. Do you know Kieran? There we go. Were you Kieran's friend? He was nice, but he didn't want to play much. He was mostly uh, for going in the hills by himself. Was Kieran not afraid? Was he not scared of the marsh dwellers? No, he said he'd seen them, and they were not as scary as Aunt says. I think that's why they took him. You think the marsh dwellers took him? Yes, for sure. Before he disappeared, he said he found a treasure, a disc with a beautiful drawing. He took it from the old house in the hills. Maybe the marsh dwellers wanted it. House in the hills. Okay. I did do a little stretch, don't worry. Is there a little house in the hills? Hang on. Did I go over... This is just to the beach, right? Yeah. Hmm. Make sure you all be a healthy bear and stretch too. Or else... Be healthy, or a teddy will be sent to your location. Maybe back to the beach? Doesn't look like I could go in any of the houses, right? Hmm. Maybe back at the graveyard, I talk to the people there again. If they will talk to me. Maybe I gotta do something with this. Nope. Bottle? Nope. How about this? Nope. What about these graves? Uh, okay. That's the same. Face hidden. Something familiar about him. The graveyard stands the old tree. Hmm. Maybe Miss Foster again. I've looped back around. What about this trash can? Trash filled with paper... There's a drawing on one. Okay, the trash had a drawing. Okay. We've got a uh, house up top. Then there's a water hole. Then there's a dragon. Then there's a village and one of the house burns down. It is a child's drawing. There seems to be a village, a lake, and some sort of creature. Oh, I have it now. Maybe you gotta show it to the kids. Hang on, I'm checking this again. There's nothing else of interest. Okay, nothing else. Then I guess we'll show her this. I found this picture. Was it made by one of your students? Yes, this was painted by poor Kieran. What would you say it represents? Things that were familiar to him. The village, his home, but these other shapes, I do not know. You can ask one of his classmates. They should be able to tell you more about it. All right, I got to go to the hills again and show them the drawing, I think. At least we're making progress. Hang on. At least they let me skip without watching the whole walking animation there. Everybody run! Here, look at this. Maybe I show it to the other one, but let's try this. I found this drawing at school. Is it yours? 
That? No, Kieran painted it a long time ago. The drawing is Kieran's. There could be a clue to where, uh, here of his whereabouts. There is no evidence to support this. Uh, burning house? What is this? That's the crooked one. They say a village defied it. Or sorry, a villager defied it, and the next day his house was burned to the ground. They say it was the crooked one paying her back. That's the house where Kieran found the treasure. Do you know how to get there? Sure, it's easy. Okay, new location. Solitary house. Okay, I don't have the drawing anymore, so that's all I needed to know about, apparently. I don't know why I needed to find a picture in the trash to get directions to this house that was already mentioned. Okay. A wicker statue sporting a pair of animal horns. The twigs look fresh. Ooh. Check it again. We got here. Broken down house. That's all it ever is. There seems to be nothing I can click on. What about this? Metal trap door. It seems to lead to some sort of basement. Cool. I love random basements. Got. I think this basement might have once housed a library. It looks like it was not burned as badly as the rest of the house. Even so, little here remains intact. Remains of the books scorched by fire. Most of the pages are ashy or blackened, so the text is illegible. How about this? Common carpenter's brace. A tool like this will be used for drilling holes in wood. I get... Could be useful. Brace... I'm gonna try and combine it with everything, see, just to make sure. You never know. Uh, was... Oh, no, I use it for the barrel at the shore, don't I? This table has, an, has been upended. Okay, check this here. An ornate chest. It's inside untouched by the fire. It was probably opened long after the inferno died down. There's a diary inside. It's signed by BL. Several pages towards the end are missing. August 1801. Ooh, almost uh, like 90 years ago. Words cannot express the gratitude I feel for Aunt Mer uh, Mare Mari's request. May her dear, dear soul rest in peace. This house is just what I needed to still my nerves after the exhausting pace of life in Dublin. Dublin? Dublin? I would not have thought to find such a remarkable library hidden away in the basement. It includes several magnificent tomes on the most picturesque customs of our land. I found my aunt's diaries next to an odd iron disc, but the contents of the diaries were appalling. What could have happened to dear old, uh, Mare? Er, uh, that dear old Mare would write such things. Is it Mare? Or is it, like, Mary? <laughs> One of those fancy ways of saying it? I don't know. The damnable place that she speaks of. I must know if it really exists. I am resolved to investigate our family's crypt. It would be prudent to wait until dusk until traveling to the Northern Cape so as not to be seen. The abbey was in such a state of decay it was impossible to find a mural painting in the dark. Fortunately, a dim light happened to shine through a gap in the wall, illuminating the face of the sentinel. I believe my aunt's iron disc is needed to open the secret passage. Is this the legacy? Of the late send, I can stand to bear it no longer. Fire will put an end to this blasphemy and cleanse the land of our family's curse. And should the fire prove insufficient, may this testimony serve as a warning. Oh, they set the fire. Miss Laidsen must have found something abhorrent in her family's crypt. If I could find out what it was, I may learn more about the Crone Maiden. My intuition tells me that I must act tonight, or else it will be too late. That's a weird thing to just suddenly tell yourself. Okay. Running out of locations here. Looks like a makeshift bed. Was Kieran sleeping in this terrible, lonely place? The side of the basement seems to have collapsed during the fire. Hmm. 
Table's been upended. I think I got everything here. We got a new location. I feel like before I go to the new location, I should use this on the barrel. Because... What's that noise? Your stuff. Oh, it's burning. The wicker statue is burning. Who did this? Spooky. It's pronounced as Mare, not Mary. Okay, thank you. Hmm. Yeah, before we go to the old abbey, I'm curious to see what's in there. I like how the diary never writ like wrote down what's in there. They're just like, yeah, I hated it. I'm burning this whole place down, and I'm gonna write about it in this diary. May be able to drill a hole in the barrel using the brace. The barrel is filled with oil. Uh, do I need more? I already used up the lever. What about the chain? No. No. Okay, I used the bottle with it. Oh, I used the bottle to contain the oil. Oh, I understand now. Now that there's a hole in the barrel, I just have to push the bottle in a bit and manage to fill it with oil. Okay. Now I've got a bottle of oil. Don't combine it with that. Let's grease this up. Who could have done this? This one has a lot more of a spookier tone than the last one. Let's see, old broken fence. I think I like this chapter the most so far. Got a good setting and a good build up so far. What's gonna spook me? Oh, another one of these. The wicker statue stands like a silent guard. Its presence make me uncomfortable as though I have trespassed on forbidden grounds. You shouldn't be here. Hey, it's open. This must be the old abbey that uh, Laid Sen described in her diary. Could the crone meet and be here? Uh, Bridget? Is that how you say it? Brigid? Bridget? I'll just say Bridget. Mentioned a dim light, but I only see darkness. There's going to be someone like Irish watching this video and be like, Oh my god, streamer, could you not? Just, go just stop and Google everything. How dare you? I don't feel like it. I'll wait for someone in chat to feel like Googling it. Brigid? Is that how you say it? Okay. Can't seem to interact with anything here. Oh, the top. The dome appears to be Roman in origin and is in better condition than the other ru ru uh, ruins. Okay, but I can't do anything with it. Do I hit it with a chain? Do I throw oil at it? Do I throw that at No. Hmm. So I came all the way here? Don't see anything. It's not good. Is that really the only thing here? There's got to be something. Let me move all the way to the side. Maybe I can see something. It's only at the top there. I can look at this, but there's just nothing here. Maybe something will happen when I try to leave, because... Oh, no. Hang on. It's only just the exit door... I can interact with. Nothing else has, like, a thing to interact with. Hmm. You're Irish and you can't pronounce it either. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Maybe if I throw oil on this. No. No. So I unlocked this location and there's just nothing here? Maybe I need to come back later. I got the oil, but I don't know what to do with that. Uh, I don't have anything to unlock Kieran's playhouse. The hills... Uh, nothing there that I can think of. Maybe there's something in the village again. Maybe I gotta talk to Miss Foster. And speed up that one. Oh, the people are gone. That's something different. 
Maybe it can do something here now, but don't I need, like, a disc to unlock this? There's no light in there anymore. Not hear or see a thing. Or oil at it. And it would have chain. Nope. Clearly something's changed, so I did something right. Maybe the manor will be open. Maybe they all went to have a costume party there. Lord Donan's just like, well, my son's missing, but hey, let's live it up a bit. Oh, she's gone too. I'm gonna go to the village square and everybody's just dead. Just to be safe, let's make sure nothing changed at the at the, uh, the pier again. Good thing I walked over there and saw that bottle. It's a good thing there was a bottle there. Otherwise, my adventure would be impossible. Okay, let's try going back to the manor. See if the front door is open. Just hope that'll work. Nope. Manor appears dark and empty. Then where did everyone go? Maybe they all went to the hills to stare at the hole. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. Nope, nothing's changed here. Unless this magically unlocked itself, but I highly doubt that. Yeah. I definitely need to find a key or something for this. There we go. We're gonna go over by this. We go over by that. All the people have disappeared. Does that include the kids over here? Let's find out. They're not there, but they left something. Drawn of some sort. Is it the sun or something else? It's the symbol at the ruins. The child I spoke with earlier seems to have left his mask here. There's a ribbon hanging from it. Oh, it's one of those things where you just gotta find... Ah, there it goes. The ribbon has flown away. I probably need to go looking for that, but is there anything up over here first? Okay, the hole is still a hole. Had to make sure. I guess my only lead right now is to track down that ribbon. Maybe it got caught in the on the fence post over this way. Oh, maybe it blew by the sea. Oh, there it is. The ribbon that was hanging from the mask. Get it. Oh, gosh darn it, Wakefield. Why can't you just pick it up? Wait, I can walk over here now? Okay, new location unlocked because of this. I'm going to see this house, and I'm going to realize I can go there. The ribbon that was snatched by the wind. Get it. Get it. Mine. I can see a lighthouse in the distance. I can see that on the map. Oh, now you want to go to it. It doesn't look like there's any other locations now, so this might be the last part. Nice. You got a red ribbon. I think it was part of the child's mask that was left behind in the hills. Okay, first let's check if I can combine it. I've been picking up a lot of miscellaneous stuff. We'll see how useful this is later. Okay. It may have provided the light that Bridget spoke of in her diary, but the lamp is off. I wonder if it's been abandoned. Nothing else on the ground here. It is an adventure, like, you know, a point-and-click adventure game. There's always going to be a little bit of that logic of, like... Yeah, you can't do X until you do Y, but Y requires A, B, and C, and D. Let me see. But all of those conditions can be a little funky sometimes. Alright, let's check out the lighthouse, I guess. Cool, let's get a cutscene. Yeah, that's cool. Super duper cool. Another... Why is this one hanging? Someone's sending a threat. What a ghastly custom. This wicker man is in the shape of a hangman. I'm a little stuffy. Give me a second here. Oh. Hello? This tree looks like it has been dead for a long time. 
Okay. Before we go up, let's check the door. Thought so. No one is answering. How dare they? Don't they know who I am? I'm Dr. Wakefield. Uh, okay. I had to hit the bottom. You think there's any unattended teddies on this island? I hope not. There's a dim light inside. And have unattended teddies. Wide copper pipe runs from the tower to the ground. It is covered in salt and seaweed. What if we oil it up? There's no need to oil the pipe. You don't know that. Dip the ribbon in oil? No. Tying the ribbon to the pipe makes no sense. Well, I'm trying here. You're not helping. No. No. There's a dim light inside. Ribbon the window. No. Can I climb it? Oh, you can climb it? Oh, you can give it a little whack. I scared him. Oh, they opened the door. Sound like it attracted someone's attention. What is this logic? I They won't answer the door, so I went around the back and I smacked their pipes. <laughs> That's a little silly. I think oiling the pipes would have gotten their attention. And they would have come out to thank me for the free work. Hello? How are you? Good evening. Would you happen to be the lighthouse keeper? My name is Wakefield. A stranger. And what would he want with me? I got lost. I was taking a stroll and I fear I got lost. I understand after sunset the hills of Aelis Moor can be tricky. We have a saying here. In dusk all paths change. You stand at the apex of that hill over there. Past the rocks you'll see the lights of the village. Why is the lamp not lit? Why is the lighthouse lamp not lit? Is it not dangerous for the ships? Do not let it concern you. Many years ago, the sea lanes were altered to avoid this coast. Now it's rare indeed to see a ship in these waters. After the accident, the lighthouse was never repaired. Uh, was there a failure in the mechanism? Precisely that. One stormy afternoon, I suddenly heard a strong noise up in the light room. The clockwork mechanism had stopped working and the lamp was off. I had never seen a failure like that. I could not get the lighthouse working again. An accident? You say you had an accident. What happened? I was checking the lenses because the failure looked so strange, and I was worried. All of a sudden, the light must have turned on. I was blinded, and I can see nothing but fleeting shapes ever since. Oh, that's unfortunate. And the lamp has not been fixed. Has ever any? Uh, has nobody else tried to fix the lamp since? No, no one in the village is interested. For them, the more isolated Ailish Moor is, the better. They do not care about ships or accidents, especially Lord Donan. He sees anything coming from outside of the island as a threat. Oh, you, t you... Really now? I see. I understand. Kieran's disappearance. Do you know anything about the disappearance of Lord Donan's son? A tragedy it was. A strange one, but a tragedy nonetheless. Kieran's disappearance was strange. What's so strange about Kieran's disappearance? I just find it a bit suspicious that it happened so close to the reunion. It's too easy to be keeping secrets during the festival. But now... But how... Sorry. Being how everyone is afraid of leaving the village those nights. What do you mean? Look, folks here are too gullible. They'll do anything to protect themselves from their strange fears. They'll not eat corn, nor drink milk. Or they'll dig graves for their mirrors. And of course, they'll avoid standing near the fe uh, a fear nog too long, because though the fiends cannot touch the tree, they're attracted to the smell of its resin. But surely it's all nonsense. Look, it's really easy to prove it all wrong. Just don't follow the rituals. You're a stranger to our ways, but have you seen any of the things I mentioned? Yeah, well, I did see a group of people in the village burying mirrors. Exactly. What do you think would happen if you unburied those mirrors? That a band of goblins would come out of the marshes to steal them? Nothing but nonsense. What of Kieran's disappearance? Well, I'll admit, I'm not sure what happened to the boy. But one thing I am sure of, the Festival of Reunion is nothing but a farce. And it would be just so easy to prove. 
it. I'd like to visit the light room anyway. Might I go upstairs and see the light room? Even though the lamp is off, I'd like to take a view of the surrounding countryside. Well, I do not think you'll see anything really, but if you're so interested, yes, I guess you may. Okay, I must go. Thank you for the pleasant conversation. A small stove hardly manages to warm such a spacious room. A portrait of a bearded ship captain done in oils. The varnish has darkened his features considerably. New logs and cords of firewood. A drip of water left unchecked has ruined the mantle and collected into a small pool. Okay. I soak the ribbon here? No. Well, I guess we'll go upstairs then. I would like to visit the light room now, if I may. Yes, yes, you already have my permission. Okay. What do we got here? Can I put stuff in this? Looks like the lighthouse is electric lamp battery slot. It looks like the lamp is lit by some sort of electric switch, however the battery is flat. Perhaps I can find a way to recharge the battery. Uh, the water mill, maybe? Oil in the battery? So I see, this is what the chain and cog are for, isn't it? I need to do something here. This. I have the battery, I need a way to recharge it. Okay. A clockwork mechanism that causes the lamp's reflector to spin. However, I think that something's missing. It could do with some oil in as well. Okay, it's a good thing I happen to be picking all this crap up. They all laughed at me. Put the cog in. Cog was the missing piece of the mechanism I have replaced. However, the mechanism is still too rusty to move. Let's splash some oil on there. Is this really how, the, how machinery works, by the way? You just splash a little bit of oil on there and it just grease it's just greased up and ready to turn. Or do you gotta let it like sit for a while? There's a little hole in the tank and the oil's leaking. The mechanism will not work properly unless I fix it. Uh would a ribbon cover that up? Oh wow it would. Okay, I don't think this would uh be a good safe idea. <laughs> Alright. Hang on, I'm trying to just scratch my back. I'm a little bit itchy, but my arms hurt to lift right now. Now I can oil the mechanism without it leaking. Yeah, a child's ribbon just blocks that. I'm sure it works fine. Okay, let's oil it. The cog was the missing piece of the mechanism. It has been replaced, and the mechanism has been well oiled. It was easy to wind, and now it's back to life. Do I use a chain on it? Chains are not part of the mechanism. Okay, then. Do I chain the battery? No. Okay. Even though the reflector spin mechanism is working, the lamp is still off. Now I need to recharge the battery. And I'm thinking the water wheel is what we need for that. Hydrate. Don't mind if I do. It cannot be. I never thought I'd hear the rhythm of my beloved lighthouse working again. You don't know how grateful I am. For years I've longed to hear those marvelous sounds. Memories of better times. But the light has yet to be lit, I'm afraid. Ah, oh, that battery. Have you got it charged already? I used to have a crank I would use on it every night, but since the loss of my sight, I've lost track of it. Okay. Crank, huh? In here? Maybe outside? Clearly gave me a hint. Maybe it's outside and I walk upstairs again or something. Why is it like that? Did someone just, like... He's, he said he's, like, partially blind, so someone must have put that there as, like, a pretty rude-ass rude ass joke. Feel bad for you, Mr. Lighthouse Keeper. Check the pipes. I do not need to make more noise. I'll be the judge of that one. Those pipes offended me. I will beat them up. Make all the noise. All right, then... And in the, his words imply that the crank is probably here. But it doesn't look like there's anything else here, so... Hmm. Maybe I need to go elsewhere, then. I knew that Lord Donan was spooky. Outsiders are a threat. 
Outsiders must be destroyed. Hmm. Hang on. Let's check the manor. If not, maybe the wheel can be turned in a way to charge the battery. I don't think that'll work, but I'm out of options. Seems like no one's at the manor still, so we can't go inside. Dark and empty. Okay. Water wheel is working. Mill wheel is too big to help me charge the battery. Well, I tried. The wheel meal is too powerful. It could overcharge the battery. Oh, okay, that's a thing? For a water wheel? Alright then. Swing power will charge it. No. What did I... I don't know why I fixed the water wheel at all. I don't know what I what the purpose of that has been yet, but I fixed it. Um maybe something's changed at the old abbey. I don't know. I feel like I I got to check places again and see if something's changed. Do you like a battery roof? No. That roof I can check as nothing. Where is everyone? They went to have a party. A costume party and they didn't invite the famous streamer. Can you believe the nerve of these people? How dare they not want a, not want a freaking Twitch streamer YouTuber at their fun little party? How about a battery on this? No. I would have brought like a whole group of Teddy Ursas too. But now I'm not gonna. Too late. Wait, I can... I can check this now? Wouldn't let me before. I'm not too sure about this. I am. Pick it up. Come on, pick it up. Battery on it. Okay. I guess I can't. I can move the dirt out of the way, but there's nothing else I can do about it. Can't. Oh. What was that? Looks like I made... Hi. Yo, what's up? I, I guess I'll follow you. I am so lucky I found that, because I tried examining this before, and it did nothing. There was no prompt for it, but now I know this can happen. Why would the masked man do this? Let's find out. Maybe it's because the lighthouse guy suggested digging it up. I mean, he was kind of a joke about... Joking about what-ifs there. But whatever. Point-and-click logic. Hey, where are you leading me? It ran away. It seems to be heading east. East or weast? Okay, at least it took me here. Is it gonna open the playroom? Or is it going to be like, wow, you fixed that water wheel? That Good job, bro. Here's the item you need. Okay, Kieran's playroom is open. But it solved a lot of puzzles here by just kicking the damn old door open. Hello? An ornate liver is built to the wall. I'll we'll pull it. Hmm. Dude, what kind of a kid's playroom is this? Was he going to turn out to be a serial killer? A painted man-sized wooden doll that represents an old lady. Uh, what about this? A painted man-sized wooden doll represents a king. Okay. Uh, celestial bodies made of paper. Wait, this only works because the water wheel is active, isn't it? Okay, so the water wheel is necessary to act to activate this place, but the the mass person opened it up for me. So I guess I can go back here because I've done all that. Who's there? Hi. Spooky. 
A stranger's mask is lying on the floor. Something is underneath the mask. Oh, it's that it's that coin or the disc. A drawing of a spike circle is engraved on it. I can open the tomb now. I can hear something wandering in the dark. I can see a deformed shadow in there, writhing and fidgeting. I cannot get any closer. Why not? Too scared? All right. I guess we're not allowed to get closer until... It's hollow eyes bore into me. All right, then. Would that be Kieran? What was that noise? What was that sound? Did it come from inside? No, he looked the other way, so it must have been... Maybe it came from the manor? Find out. Wait, the statue is replaced with a with another wickerman. The Roman statue has been thrown down and replaced with a wicker one. That's spooky. Oh, the statue's on the ground. I thought that was the walkway. I couldn't really tell because of the pixels. The Roman statue lies shattered on the ground. To destroy such an ancient statue, could this really be part of the festival? Check it again. Maybe I need a piece. No. Okay, well, I know I can use this disc to apparently open the tomb in the graveyard, I think. I say I know, but may as well just try. Nope, it's not this one. Okay, then it could... It, it's probably referring to the old abbey, then, because it said a disc was needed to open the shortcut, and I thought maybe the shortcut would be here. Nothing inside. Cannot hear or see a thing. Double check. Alright then. That's the case. The old abbey. What if? No. I might need to go reread that diary or something. Maybe I put the disc down at the near the hole? No, there's nothing to interact here. That's still the problem. I don't know what the point of this is. Alright. Let's try the hills, then. Is anyone gonna pop up and be mean to me? No one would be mean to me. That would upset me. Where did the children go? No, it doesn't do that there. Okay, was there another spot that I could use this disc? Or what? Because it said to use the disc to open, like, something. But, uh, it doesn't seem like I can use it anywhere. Let's see, I can't interact with anything at the Abbey. That's the problem. The only thing I can check at the Abbey is the Wicker statue and the roof of that one spot. Doesn't seem to be anything, like, locked there at all. Maybe I look at this with this. No. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. When you're in the abbey, you have to examine your shadow when it hits the wall. What? 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 Hang on a second. Uh, let me see here. I don't see my shadow doing anything. I don't see my shadow doing anything, no. Is it the other wall? The one that I have no reason to approach? No, this might be a different location, if that's the case. Or do I have to be close to the wall? 
No. The lighthouse needs to be active for that to work. Okay, I, I think you skipped ahead a little bit then. Yeah, I think you skipped ahead a little bit there. Yeah, the lighthouse probably would need to be active for that to work. If that's the case, what do I do right now? Anything new at the solitary house? That's still burning. Charge up my battery. Clearly not. This must be the house the child was telling me about. Just before is it? Wait, I can walk around it? <sighs> I thought I had to walk into it. A mailbox. I thought that was a hammer. Hold up. Envelope is very old. It is stamped returned and there's a letter inside. My dear cousin, I'm doing poorly. I would ask that you not call upon me here at Ailishmore. Not now, nor ever again. Please keep grandmother's ring. I believe she would have wanted you to have it. Yours faithfully, uh, Brigid. So 90 years that's been sitting there. There's something else in the envelope. An iron ring. Okay. I can put that on the chain. The ring fits perfectly on the chain. I'm sorry to use Bridget's grandmother's ring in such a manner. Still, maybe now I can get the bicycle to work. The bicycle? Why the hell would I need the bicycle to work? Wait, to power the battery? Is that how I'm gonna do it? Okay, I think we know what to do now. I think I know what to do. Okay, let me find that random bicycle. Uh, where was it? It was somewhere around the side. Hang on, right? Around the other exit to the school. This? Or is it somewhere else? Wheel. It's just the wheel there. Damn it, where was the other, like, little shape like that? I can't remember. I'm drawing a complete blank all of a sudden. I feel like we're really on the right track now. I hear? Damn it, where the hell was did I see a bicycle? It's at the manor? Is it? Hang on. Let me check that. Uh, I feel like we're getting close to the end of this one here. We can do it. We can do it. Oh, this. It's just... Okay, I see that these parts here are the rest of the bicycle, but it looks like just a solitary wheel. This bicycle's wheels won't rotate without a working chain. Okay. I feel like the ring would get caught in that, but okay. The tires are too threadbare. I don't see how I can ride it easily, but at least the chain rotates. Charge the battery. Now that the bicycle is fixed, if I attach one of its cogs to the battery's dynamo, I might be able to provide it with a charge. I did it. This is some peak point-and-click adventure logic here. Use, a, use Grandma's ring to fix a chain so I can, like, spin the bicycle wheel to charge a battery for a lighthouse. I managed to charge the battery by attaching the dynamo to the bicycle's cog. Alright, battery's charged. Okay. Well, now we know about that. Oh. E-gad, now this statue's burning too. Is someone following me? I hate when people follow me around setting fires. That's pretty darn rude. That one's gonna be on fire when we leave. Got anything else to say? I must go. Thank you for the conversation. Hydrate or dihydrate. Let's do it. Hopefully the battery has enough charge to keep the lighthouse lit for a few hours. <laughs> I feel like spinning a bicycle a couple times ain't gonna do that, but alright. Alrighty, we did it. No reaction? Alright. Oh, yeah, that's on fire. Who saw that coming? 
The Wicker Man has been set on fire too. Who keeps doing this? A, a very naughty Teddy. Or Kleppa. The rope gave way just as I passed. Okay. Now we go to the old abbey because the lighthouse is probably going to let us uh, see stuff, right? Yeah. This still would have been really hard, so... Hold up. There's something here. Yeah, look at the wall. But I can only check it when the light goes by. The light has revealed a mural painting on the stones. I would not have found that if you didn't tell me about it, to be honest. I don't even... So that's fine. A mural painting on the stones, just as it did for Brigid nearly a century ago. According to the diary, the light from the lighthouse revealed the eyes of the sentinel. Oh, I see it. Uh, the disc goes in the mouth. <laughs> this is some obtuse adventure game stuff. No, I don't think it's that bad. I think this has been the most fun chapter so far. I think, yeah, I liked episode three the most. The hidden entrance is open now. It's not as dialogue heavy as the first one, too. Let's see. Uh, what was that sound? Hang on, let me guess. The Wickerman's on fire. I'm just gonna make sure. Yeah, who saw that coming? Burning again. This is gonna be real sick. I'm gonna hide in the background, and when he does the puzzle, I'm gonna light it on fire. Find all burning statues. Okay, I got an achievement for that. The second one was good. I just felt like it maybe went on a little too long for what it was doing. Wait, wait, wait. I What do you mean I needed a disc to open this? Like, bro, just look at all these windows and you could just hop through. All right. The symbol looks familiar. A spike circle. Could be the sun. Uh, let's go down here. This looks like it could be the end. Ooh, yeah. It looks screams endy to me. The tunnel descends deep into the earth. I will find the laid send crypt at the bottom or something. Dear God, I am reeling. Kaufman, my friend, your faith in me was misplaced. I cannot. No, I will persevere. Let's go. Good golly. Is there any lost bears down here? I've got treats. I'll take you to safety. Person in the playroom, we're not allowed to get near him. Well, I guess there's nothing we can do with that. Now, what did we find? A coffin. Some old page pages lie haphazardly on the coffin lid. It's as though they'd been dropped here from the upper hill long ago. They bear faint notes written in a trembling hand. Down in this unholy burrow in the feared Cronmeden, our worst nightmare crawl and so eh, nightmares crawl and die. Resting down here are the Dauntless, those who dared enter the lair of the snake and the bird. Each of those men and women crossed the path between. They walked through the mist to the other side, where the ultimate truth screams in terror. They returned. These are my ancestors. Amongst the dead stones of the Cronmeden lie the proud lates and reduced to something far worse than dust or ashes. Did that blasphemy in the coffin read all letters, notes, and di Does that mean there's none in the next chapter? Did that blasphemy in the coffin be Aunt Mare's true legacy? No, I shall not accept this fate for myself. Ooh, let me see what's inside. The engraving on the coffin is so badly eroded that the name is barely readable. Mare, laid send. Open it. Open it. A bird skull? Uh oh. Wait, that's the hole up there, isn't it? The big hole, that's where this leads to. And now they sealed me inside? Am I dead?
Anything? Apparently I can move. Oh, hang on. My eyes got used to the darkness, apparently. Mm hmm. Seekers of truth will sacrifice their wisdom. So to open the way to where the fear nog blooms. Your offspring we welcome its hidden threat. Only the light of your sign will carry its purge. You, so was Burgid's like uh, offspring like some kind of bird person? Everybody's watching me. They didn't invite me to the costume party, so I'm underdressed. I don't know why they're staring at me ominously. They're the rude ones. Nice antlers, dork. Uh-oh. Still dark here. Hello, eyeball. Hello, other eyeballs. Oh, wow, more eyeballs. Didn't see that one coming. Mixing it up with the big eyeball. <laughs> Gotta get going now. Catch you later, Fuzzy. I think I kind of want to do the last episode right after this. Because this one was, like, a lot more manageable in length. And I kind of just want to see how it ends since I'm taking tomorrow off. Here, here I was saying I wouldn't do long streams again for a little bit. <laughs> Jeremiah! I found you. Dot, dot, dot. Devit? Now done. Complete the third episode. This one was only an hour and a half long. So two took two and a half hours. The adventure continues. Yeah, it covered the whole. It covered the whole, yeah. Released in 2015. Nice. All right, back to the menu. Only because I'm taking tomorrow off while I keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So episode three was pretty fun. I liked the setting. Um, I felt like the puzzles were pretty straightforward. And the locations weren't a pain in the ass to traverse. Episode 1 was good. Oops, I dropped something. Episode 2 was a little bit too long. And a little annoying at times. But still still otherwise good. Don't like my moaning to uh, make you think I hated it. But I thought it pit really picked up once we got to episode 3. Even though most of what happened in 3 felt so... <laughs> removed from everything else happening so far. But... Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and take a short break, munch on some food, and then we're going to sit down and do the last episode, because not only is it the, the finale of this game, but there isn't a third game. So, and you know, obviously this came out almost a decade ago, as you can see by the dates there. So this is the end of the series that we're, that's coming up next. So we got to see the conclusion. Okay, and we are back again, everybody. Took another break, had some food. We're going late today. And when I was on break, I realized something, chat. So when we finished episode three, right? You remember how, like, uh, Bridgie was saying something about in their notes? About how, like, oh, is this our legacy? When they looked in the coffin. And the coffin had, like, the weird, like, malformed skeleton. And there was something about how, like, you know... Something that mentioned about how the cost of crossing over would affect, like, your kin, right? I just realized that the thing in Kieran's playhouse was Kieran, and the reason he looks like that now is because the Lord Donan or whatever had done something, and that was the cost. So when he went missing, that's actually what happened to him. So I just kind of, that all just kind of clicked with me when I went on break there. So I figured I'd just point that out before we jump into the next one. All right, season finale. Or series finale. We know there's not a third game, so let's see. Previously on The Last Door. 
After Kaufman's sudden death, Dr. Wakefield travels to the island of Ailish Moor to search for the ancient Chromedian. Or Chromedian. A supposed path to the other side. He discovers the island inhabits a uh, inhabitants hide a terrible secret. They instill primordial terror in the ritual subjects for them to cross the- Oh, that's what the room is for! Okay. They instill primordial terror in the ritual subjects for them to cross the door and come back as hideous abominations. Oh, that's what- Okay, I see. So they put Kieran in the room, and he turned into that when he went through the door. I understand now. The, the flashbacks explain more than the game itself. Okay. I wasn't far off with my, with my thought process, though. Dr. Wakefield is himself subjected to the ritual and transported to an endless land of fog where he finally seems to meet his missing patient, Devitt. Okay. Yeah, recording's working. He must be stopped. That's Alex. We finally see him. Haven't seen him since, uh, episode four of season one. We have not come this far. Stage again. Okay, I'm moving. Final chapter, and then it's rest for Mr. Streamer. This is, we're gonna have a massive spooky upload for this week, though. I guess I check you. Resident Evil Zero was like five and a half hours, and this is w gonna go way further than that. To see our work ruined now. Hope it's something comfy to put on in the background for you, though, chat. Hope you enjoying today. Is that Jeremiah? All right. Intro again. Let's do it. We left the black waves of that sea behind and walked through the mist. At times, gust of winds parted the mist, revealing a barren landscape under an un under a dying scun. I say scun, I meant sun. Great start. At first, I could not contain my many questions, but Devitt's only reply was a grave silence. Eventually, I lapsed into an uneasy quiet and resolved to follow my patient. I knew not where. We wandered through the vast desert without any apparent goal. On occasion, vague shapes appeared in the distance. Crumbling towers, abandoned cities, but lost amongst the rippling dunes. The passage of time lost its meaning. I traversed the world all my life, all the world's life. Our journey was eternity. Then, the man at my side, whom I had followed so long, stopped. He spoke for the first time. We are nearing the threshold. It is the starting point, Doctor. The first place to look. I'll be waiting on the other side. Remember this, I'll not be here forever. Darkness will light your way, but then you will be alone. That's what that person on the other side of the hole said in episode one. Beyond the curtain. Okay, all mysteries revealed, hopefully. So, you know, after I was trapped in the tomb, apparently I was just walking for an eternity. That's pretty cool. I can't go this way. Let's do it. Get your bears ready. What could my companion have meant? The threshold. I knew of this. Strange memories returned to me of another life before the desert was my everything. And those cryptic words, darkness will light your way. It was not the first time I had heard them. Eternal walks are great cardio. Yeah, true. They were from a dream, a terrible dream, when I had begun to follow the trail of my missing patient and taken my first steps to uncovering the secret world of the Vale. Somebody want a mask? In this place, the ancient shadows created by human reasoning tremble in sheer terror. Its name is... Go on, chat. Tell me how to pronounce that. Go on. I'm sure there will be one correct answer among you all. Its name is that. The Last Curtain. In this place, the ancient shadows created by human reasoning tremble in sheer terror. 
His name is that. The last curtain. Scorching light of this dead sunset bleeds through my petrified fingers. My eyes burn. I feel them melting like candle wax. Cool. Oh. These ruins built by beings long forgotten grant access to the last threshold. You are welcome to enter the ruins, but you will need to find your own key in order to reach the threshold. All right. Uh, the man at the entrance said these ruins contain access to the thresh thresh threshold, but I see nothing, nothing. Devitt said it is a starting point, the first place to look. Darkness will light your way. What did he mean? I see nothing but ruins. What was it Devitt said? Darkness will light your way? What about this? It looks like a poster for a theatrical show, but it has neither a title nor a date. If you actually were wandering a desert for eternity all of a sudden, like, you would lose your mind. You're not- you would forget how to freaking even talk at this point. <laughs> but no, I still got the same clothes. Never had a shower or anything. See nothing but ruins. Okay. Anything? Darkness will light your way. Well, I can't really do anything here. Is there no way to go? Oh, I went up there. Hmm. Built by being, you enter ruins, you need to find your own key. I'm assuming what I can do is in the room, because... Hold up. If I click, now it will make a difference. As there's nowhere to go back backwards, right? Doesn't seem to matter what I click. Hmm. He just walked a hundred miles and he just exaggerated. Oh yeah, he's one of those people that goes for the that kind of cardio. See nothing but ruins. What was it Devitt said? Darkness will light your way. Do I tear off the poster, maybe? Of course I could take the damn poster. Perhaps it will prove useful. Okay. Hold the poster up? No. Clearly I need the poster for something. Maybe I show it to one of the people outside. Hmm. Or I played Yu-Gi-Oh! And my opponent took like 20 years to make a turn. Yeah, I'm sure they did. That was a long five minutes. 20 years. Nope, they don't care. You're exaggerating, Wakefield. Give it a rest. How about you? Anyone care about this poster? No. Maybe I'll look at it again. Hmm. Silhouettes of four men. The four witnesses? Hmm. Hold up, I can walk up this way. Where's this go? Oh, this is different. Yo, what's up? Look to the sky, it reaches to the earth, but it will never meet it. Can you see the magnificence of this infinite horizon? The cold, unattainable, all-embracing darkness? This is the outer limit of the threshold. Not far from here, the black waves of truth wash upon the veil that covers humans' eyes, and it falls apart. There is no death but rebirth. There is no void but awakening. Hmm... Of this the path winds or winds into the forest, but there are trees too dense for me to go further. Okay. What about you? 
Raise your arms, for the wind calls our name. The hour has come for us to take flight one last time. Raise your arms, everybody. Not for that, though. What about this? What's this? Jeez, apparently I'm finding new locations. Is that a house? Have I seen this specific house somewhere? Oh. Why do I hear breathing? A silhouette of a strangely shaped head. Alrighty then. Let's go this way first. Ooh, now this is spooky. Paintings lack any form of composition. They are a uniform shade of the purest black imaginable. Darkness lights the way. What about the cage? What do we got here? There is something inside the bird cage. Give me. It's some kind of root. It seems to have a human shape. Oh, well, thank you, Chloe, for getting a bunch of subs there. I appreciate it. Let's go in here. Okay, it's locked. I found a root that looks like uh, the shape of a body. Its head is moving. Got it. It just moved. I swear I saw its its head move. Here? What is all this funky gas down here? It, it moved again. Now it's looking to the right. Saw it. Hi, how are you? There's something inside the cage, a shadow staring at me with dead eyes. Wanna be friends? I can see something in it, no, through it, as if I were staring into a void. Often such remote distance, colorful shapes flow in seemingly impossible patterns. Ooh. Where am I at? What is this? Jeremiah Devitt, Edward Street 24, Westminster, London, correct. I should see stalling and send it, set the plan in motion. But what then? Lead my old friend through this dangerous journey? Oh, the letter at the beginning of the first game? Is that what they're talking about? The shadow is gone. So this whole thing was a setup. There's something on the cage floor. Rusty key. Okay. Cage is open. The shadow is gone. Bronze key covered in a patina of green rust. I feel like it's going to be really easy to miss stuff. In this, in this uh, chapter. During the end of chapter 3, I got an achievement that said I found every note in the game. So that I guess that must mean there's no notes to pick up in this one. Bird cage. Hang on. The rusty key work here? It does. Hello? Am I interrupting something? This is his room. Yeah. Anthony something was his name? you doing the words of my father so much has happened because of them alexander swears this time we will succeed that the hoopo will undo all our mistakes free us from the haunting gaze but should we not accept the consequences of our actions even after all these years i still find the diary disconcerting i had once hoped that age and experience would make its contents easier to bear but it's been quite the opposite okay so much suffering, so many deaths. For what? What have we attained so far? This letter. It will be enough, I think. It's time to send it. Just not sure it's the right thing to do. What do you hear? Is 
The shadow has vanished. We got a slate disc. Cool. Throw it like a frisbee? The root? Poster? No. Poster, no. A large crack in the wall, a few rays of unearthly light stream through it. Well then, let's go this way. Hmm. Check the clock. Pendulum strokes are sickly slow, but they seem to keep time in this place. This place seems extra spooky. Not very nice. Once again, the window looks like a sticker that doesn't fit the rest of the aesthetic here. Oh, I can't go over here. There's nothing? Okay. Diffuse gray light seeps through the glass. Barely any light is entering. Has uh, anything changed about this? I got a couple items from this house. Hmm. Let me check the disc. Can I look at it? Black disc. It's made of uh, something like a slate. All right, then. What about over this way? Looks like I can walk this path. There we go. And this is what here? The ground is soaked in blood. Black feathers are strewn about. What happened here? Okay, I can't pick anything up. What about this? An old gramophone. There is no disc. Well, I've got a disc. Turn on. When I put the disc in the gramophone, it started spinning on its own. Wait, is that a melody coming from the house? Okay, I guess I should check the house again. Hang on, is there anything behind here I can go? No, it looks like I can't advance. This is a dead end here. Everyone get comfy and cozy. This is the chapter of the horror game where everything makes no sense. Rocks have piled against the wall as if to conceal something. If I throw a root at it, will it eat the rocks? No. We'll find out what this living root does soon enough. The lights are on. They were on earlier, too. Light is on inside, but I can't see the room clearly. All right, then. There's music out there now. Wait. Hang on. Did I check all these rooms last time, or... I don't think that door was there before, was it? Yeah, there wasn't a door there, was there? A lynx. I took it for a stuffed lynx at first, but I think it's actually made of wax. Oh my, I accidentally broke off a piece of its mouth. Oh my, oops, did I... I didn't mean to do that. Oops, I broke up, broke its jaw. So sorry. Combine it with the root. Combine it with the poster. This reminds me of something. Wow, that actually worked. Yes, I remember it was once fashionable to make impressions of church brasses and other old inscriptions. The practice was to overlay the inscription with paper and rub it with wax. Okay. Did I do... Okay, it didn't actually do anything, though, right? Check the wax. I accidentally broke off a piece of the wax lynx's face. Just a shadow of the lynx projected on the wall. And what about the ladder? Let's hop up and check it out. The hatch is locked. Hmm. We still haven't found the source of the music yet. Let me go back over this way. Yeah, something's changed at the back of this room, clearly. Who's playing music? Was that? Oh, there's a dead cat on the floor. I think it's rotting. It's... Her eyes are missing. Uh-oh. There's something on the floor beside her mouth. A key. Oh, I didn't want to stare at it again. No, thank you. Poor thing cannot honestly say that I want to know how she died. Cage is open. Shadow is gone. Well, I have a key. Golden key. What's this one for? We'll have to take a look. 
I need to bring darkness to that one church area at the start, or the altar it was. We did all this. Hang on. Oops, not there. He is probably for the attic hatch over here, wherever it is. Darkness guides your path. Is there something hidden with the shadow, maybe? It's dark in here. Hi! You are of no worth to us anymore. There was barely any worth to begin with. That's pretty darn rude. What's your problem, teleporting man? Is this really the best option your supposedly brilliant mind could envision? A few meaningless words. A pathetic attempt of your guilt-shattered conscience to remedy the situation, and then you hope to wash the blood from your hands with a cheap exit. Look upon yourself, Anthony. See what you've become. Witness your only true legacy. Anthony? The guy who sent the letter in episode one? Oh, yeah, it's definitely the guy who sent the letter. Is it... Is that Mr. Beechworth? I see something through the shadow, slowly taking form. Uh-oh. Oh, hey, his dead wife. What's going on here? Why would you leave the window open for that? Welcome, friends. Anna? Anna, sweetheart? How did this happen? Can't move. It was the crows. A Teddy would never do this. Too late. It's too late for us. But he can still choose... I have to warn him. Oh, it's wobbling. Now I'm somewhere else. What's this? There's something on the ground where the masked person was standing. Fragment of a broken mask. Oh, I see. I need to get, like, all four pieces or something. Welcome, friend. Thank you again for the gifts. Can I go back this way? I can, but I don't think there's anything I need to do in there. They teleported me away from it for a reason, obviously. What about you? Look to the sky. Hey, okay, same thing. This is our limit. You want a wax jaw? You want a living root? You want a poster? What about you? There's no death but rebirth. What about the trees? Nope. Throw a wax at it? Nope. I don't think the mask does anything. I need to rebuild it. Can I go down this way? Oh, wow, it can go over here. I didn't even notice that. I am too tired to go on to keep seeking what was promised us, but at least here I'm safe. Safe from the terrible hazard of peering through my own shadow. Good luck with that. Let's see what's over here. Coast? Isn't this the coast from um the first game? It almost looks like it. Yeah, I think it is. I recognize these stairs. What do we have here? There's a hole in the ground. I have seen gardeners digging holes like these when they need to transplant trees. Throw the root in there. Okay, that worked. What am I looking at? Am I burying it? It is well covered. I guess it's gonna... I planted the root in the ground. Well. Shadows linger in that place like insects trapped in a cobweb. At its center, the spider lies in wait. Underneath the statue's hood, there's an empty hole where the face should be. I remember seeing statues like this in Professor Wright's garden. Do I need to bring a mask to this? Oops. No, it's not that. Okay. I need it elsewhere. 
Maybe I need to water the plants or come back later. Hi, how's it going? Shadow of a child sitting in the corner, shaking in terror. As if peering through a keyhole, I can see things moving in darkness. Gonna go flash back to Beechworth again? What is that? I like the style, but those themes. Does Lena approve of this kind of art? You have not lost your old sense of humor, Alexander. Even after what happened, do you not recall that sight? I would erase the memory if I could. I find that painting makes it easier to bear. What brings you here anyway? It's been years since we heard from you. Thought your old cause had been long forgotten. Listen, Ashdown, what if I told you I found a way of crossing safely? Press X to doubt. I don't think he did. Proof this whole damn game. Dazzling light shines through the window. Shape of an eye is painted on the blackboard. Well, wander around and see flashbacks for story. The root change? Hang on, can I check this tree? An ancient oak stands tall above my head, casting an eerie shadow upon the building's wall. Ooh. What about this one? Wait, did something get out of the, the dirt? These trees are the only remi uh, reminder of life around here as if they are guarding the statue. I planted the root in the ground. It looks like it's been disturbed already. So I went in there and I saw a flashback. I planted the root, but... Can't put that there. Can't put the poster on it. Let's see. Heading a dead net, dead end during this. Wait, I can go in here. I didn't register that as an opening. You know, when I stand a little bit far back, it does. But like on my giant monitor, stuff like that kind of blends in. In all honesty, a grand piano. It's missing a key. Wax. No. Wax can't fix everything. Well, it looks like there's nothing I can do here right now anyway, until I find something to replace that key. It wasn't there before? Okay, so I'm not losing my mind. Huh? This is definitely different. That's definitely different. A colossus born of rock and craftsmanship, relegated to the briny backwaters of the nightmare, to the emotions of injury and despair. Cool. Things have definitely changed. Okay, what about this? Everything's mirrored here. This game's a sequel to The Last Door, yeah. I played the first one, it's on the channel. I guess I'll play the piano. Looks like a piano key. Don't mind if I do. You all want a show? You gotta pay me for that one. It's missing most of its keys, so I guess there's no reason to use it here. Wait. Okay, I thought I couldn't leave for a second. First, let me see what happens if I go up this way. Oh. The root grew out of a coffin. We have here. Uh, there are two curious symbols engraved on the statue stone. Make a note of that, chat. Write it down. Massive tree has grown underneath the coffin, bursting it open. Some macabre artist has placed a life-size statue inside. Was it placed by a visitor, or does it represent another memory? Or was the statue somehow... No, I cannot bear to think it. Underneath the statue's hood, its face bears an evil grin. Uh, can't read it, obviously, because we're in mirror land. These statues, it's almost as though they are children of the standing stones, dot the horizon. Go here. They're less weather-beaten at any rate. 
put over here. Or I go all the way back and use the piano key. Let's see what's going on here. This doesn't look very pleasant. What is this? Not good. Shapes are forming through the shadow. I cannot look away. I must see. Okay. I haven't taken a sip of my water in like a half hour. Old water is good. So Ash, this Ashdown person must be like the fourth witness, actually. I thought it was like the priest in the first game, but I don't think it was... Yeah, that's right. During the fourth chapter of the last game, there was a picture of a mis unknown man with Alexander. This must be who that is. His name is Professor Wright. Right. Yes, I recently had occasion to meet a disciple of his. He referred to himself as a psychotherapist. I had the impression that Wright's methods more closely resemble those of my trade than those of yours. He is eccentric indeed, but I think his thesis may be proven correct. If so, we might have found a way of reaching the threshold without attracting attracting the attention of the custodian. The custodian. Something preventing people from crossing through that door. A shortcut, you might say. Shortcut through the veil. The problem is the me in the method itself. It has some unusual requirements, and we would need a man of great sensitivity who knows the peril of reaching the door. Hydrate or dihydrate, kids. Can I cross through this? Oh, it loops back around. Okay, so that saves me the trouble of going too far back. Drawing of a giant eye, yet it looks more like Saturn and the rings surrounding it. Oh, I see it. I see what you're talking about. Let's go this way. I read this here. Shadows linger in that. I'm not sure what the mirrored version said if someone wants to do that. I haven't found anything like that yet. I have a piano key. I'm going to use it at the piano, but I was just walking the other direction first. We may be exploring a spooky, scary cave, but you all better be comfy while watching or else. Or else. Remember, streamer can push a button and a teddy will be dispatched to your location. And he will eat all your snacks. Remember some lessons from my youth, but I cannot possibly play a melody without the assistance of a music sheet. Alright then, now I need to find music notes. The comfy rule on this stream always in, is in, yeah, applicable here. Go. No. Clearly I must have missed something along the way here. right. You wouldn't want a teddy to waltz right in and eat all your cookies. Can I pick... Wait, can I pick this off the piano? Is that what the... Grand piano... No, it doesn't look like I can pick anything else up here. I don't think music notes are here. That's right. I actually got a couple snacks for uh, preparation of tomorrow. Like I said, I have a big day off planned for myself. I was going to get cozy and just play some personal time games. Let me see. Now, I don't know what this says. I don't really... I'm, I'm in the middle of streaming, so I can't easily just pull up my uh, Photoshop and just reverse it. If someone wants to screen cap this and just tell me what it says, be my guest. These statues, it's almost as though they're the children of the standing stones that dot the horizon. Okay, I didn't see any... I'm locked in this location, so there must be something here to pick up. Hang on. Wait, hang on. I think, yeah, there was something on the the desk that I couldn't pick up because that flashback happened, and I may have forgotten to get it. Let me, go, let me just go back to the classrooms. I should be able to get it. All right, let's get in here. Yeah, this. I. It kind of blends in with the light reflections in a, in a way, doesn't it? Looks like a music sheet was left on the desk. Okay. There's something wrong with this music sheet. Rub wax on it. Damn. Boiled again. Put a poster on it. Boiled again. Well. It should work, clearly. 
close exit. This place is spooky. Feels like every episode in this game has like a completely different tone. Am I alone in that? Like it's the connect it's a connected story, but all four of the w four episodes so far just feel like very different in a lot of ways. Hang on. Use the music sheet on this. Melody seems simple enough. Think I could manage to play it. All right. All right. That would be me. That would be fa, sol, la, ti, do, re. All right. Um. That would be fa, sol, la. Um. Which one is which though? There's okay. It goes fa 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 sola ti do do do. Okay, four fa, then sola ti do, then two more dos. Okay. Fa. La. Ti. Do. Do do. Was that not it? Was that not it? Isn't it supposed to be so, not soul? Okay. It's- Oh, it's mirrored! You're right! I need to flip it upside down! Hold up. Can I do that? So that means I play it backwards? Okay. Easy then. Uh, hang on a second. Okay, three then. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. No, that's not it either. Uh. Okay, I don't play it backwards. Um. All right. I'm confused. What do I do? Hang on. No. I did- I played it forwards and backwards, and it's not doing anything. I'm- I'm confused right now. Hang on. Are you giving me a thing here? Okay. Let me check here. One, two, three. Yeah, that is what I did, though. I played it backwards. Two, three. Oh, okay. I think maybe I played Fa one time too little. As I suspected, it's the melody I heard at Wright's Mansion. What's that? It's coming from another place. I th yeah, I think I just didn't press Fa one more time. So now I guess we wander forward until we see something new. Okay. I think, yeah, it was one Fa short now that I'm thinking about it. I may have pressed it three times instead of four. Whoa, this is not a piano show. Terrifying shape looms where a piano once stood. It's being pulled on threads like some monstrous puppet. Lies of P-Boss, let's go. The thread conver uh, threads converge on a distant point. Something is taking form there in the darkness. Cool. Oh, hey. It's our old classroom, but that shadow. Who? This is not possible. The shapes beyond the light. My fingers. No, do not come any closer. My hand, my hand. Oh no. The shadow ripped his hand off. That's pretty darn rude, Shadows. And I got too close to it. You see a dancing shadow. It kicked me out of there, so I guess we're done with that location. Oh, hang on. There's something on the ground. Broken mask. Okay, I got the second one. 
Peace is still missing. Hmm. There's no death but rebirth. There's no void but awakening. So it looks like now I'm looking for a new location to go to. Because I didn't gain any new items to use here yet, right? I mean, I have this jaw, but I don't know what to do with it. wonder if I'm supposed to go backwards and something's... No, I can't go back here. I see. The trees were too dense before. Maybe they... Did they open up? Hang on, let me double check that. Hang on, I can't... I used to be able to examine this tree, but now I can walk through this, I guess? Okay. There are two curious symbols engraved in the stone. Well, now I've taken a look at it, done all I can do. Hello, spooky friend in the forest, how are you? A tall figure stands in the woods. I might have taken it for a tree, were it not breathing heavily. Big whoop, I'm tall, I breathe in the woods, you ain't special. Inside, I can see things near the threshold, getting closer and closer. Maybe they should stay away. Proper manners would indicate that. <laughs> Just chilling at the beach. After what happened to Father Glynn, I think they'll shut down the school. Oh yeah, they will. Anthony, that thing we saw. I don't know what it was. What about your father's diary? Myths, legends, superstitions with no basis in scientific observation. Anthony, talk to us. All right. My father discovered several ancient myths pertaining to the Vale. They come from a variety of cultures and hence take many different forms. But they all say something similar about what resides near the threshold. An ancient being that sleeps within the fog, protecting the door from intruders, a vengeful custodian. But no matter, at any rate, my serum was a failure. We got but a glimpse of what exists out there, nothing conclusive. But what if the serum had worked? I don't know. As I said, I have no data. And those myths, what did they say? Those tales, they all say that if any intruder got too close and was discovered by what sleeps in the fog, then the custodian would be relentless. It would pursue the intruders and destroy them wherever they might hide. There would be a few ways to protect themselves from its rage. Plot in this game is a wild ride, isn't it? So first, we gotta go through the last door, but but sorry, you can't actually go through the last door. You gotta take the shortcut to the last door, otherwise uh, the custodian will kill you. So it's not the last door after all, is it? Oh, we're looping. Gosh darn it, we looped. Nothing's changed on this. I don't know if I flip that. Big, tall, breathy man here again. Looks different now. Still the same. I, okay, no, it's not about picking the right path. It's like I'm going, I'm, I have to pick the symbols like I'm inputting a code. I think that's what this is. Ah, uh, yeah. That's the problem here. That confused me because they put this they put the snake symbol on the right multiple times like that. I thought I was just looping back to the same area. Alrighty then. Hang on. Let me just start over here. First it's like the weird pitchfork one, right? And then it's, um, yeah, that one. 
And after that one, it was the first snake. Yeah, this is a different snake path. Okay. After the snake, then I'm looking for the little zigzag, which I think was also to the right. Yeah, this here. Then I'm looking for a V. It's like a C thing. Nothing over here, though. This isn't it, though. There isn't a V for this one. There's that little headless stick man. Then there's like the square C. And going over this way. That's just another snake. What? One on the far left is correct. Uh, did I did I miss a step? Okay. Do this. You get this. Oh, clicked on it. Okay, now I'm looking for the V. Wait, this is the start. Oh, this would. This is, hang on, hang on. I'm looking for a V. It didn't send me back to the very start. Yeah, okay, I think I go this way. There's the V. Oh, thank goodness that's done. Is this Devitt? A shadow strongly resembling my patient stands in the clearing? I can see through it, just like the other shadows. Four men are making careful preparations. I know not for what. This puzzle is ass. <laughs> Kinda feels like it, don't it? Well, we're through it. Once you realize you're in, it's like inputting a code instead of taking the right path, it's a lot easier. Why do we gotta wear orange robes for this? This Captain Skid. Devitt, are you certain he can guide us safely through the fog? His results are extraordinary, Anthony. It's the best chance we have of avoiding the gaze of the custodian. There can be no doubt that the captain survived an encounter before he even kept a companion from harm. We will finally see what lies hidden beyond the curtain. It's time. Why, though? This does make sense that, um... The people doing this would be, like, a bunch of uh, kids at, like, a rich school. Rich boarding school. They would be the type of people to be like, I want to see what the afterlife looks like. Come on, I deserve it. Oh, hey, everyone's dead. Daddy's money can't buy that, so they gotta have it. <laughs> uh. Okay. I think I go this direction, then? Check it out. Huge statue of a mythical creature. Is it a bird with the head of head of a wolf, or is it a lion? I don't know. I can't make it out. Throw some wax at it. Nope. Throw a poster at it. Nope. The inscription reads 30 birds. I'm pretty sure there's one of them. Someone can't count. Idiots. Cool staircase. is going on is I'm like eight episodes in and I still don't know what's going on in this game so don't worry an enormous black feather yoink despite its size it is extraordinarily lightweight combine it with wax combine it with poster Darn it. Boiled again. What the hell do I need a giant feather for? Am I going to tickle the custodian so he goes away? What's that noise? Something's out there. It's getting closer. Oh. 
birds. I died. Is he asleep? He is now. It's been so long, I had begun to lose hope he'd ever awaken. Were you able to speak with him? Anthony, Devitt has forgotten everything. Everything. Good heavens. It may be for the best. Our research is likely to take some time. If he truly has amnesia, his condition will protect him until we are ready. But should we fail? Remember what happened to Hugo? Ashdown entered the Vale in full knowledge of what might happen, and we, we will succeed where Wright failed. We will use the serum to induce primal terror in a controlled environment. In one stroke, we shall overcome all of our obstacles. But when the time comes, we must have a means of guiding our dear friend back to us. There, he will be safe. Hmm. I went through the wibbly wobbly and now I'm back. Gimme. There's something on the ground. Fragment of a broken mask. Piece of Greek tragic mask. Yeah, I made that. Eyeless mask. It's similar to the one I found in Alexander's safe house in London. Combine. Oh, hang on. What's happening? The mask is eyeless. I can't see a thing. Well, don't put it on, silly. Oh, it's eyeless. Darkness will guide me. Okay, I need to go into the altar. I see. I just had to close my eyes. <laughs> we just need to walk back up here and then close our eyes. Or cover our eyes. Stand in the middle. Put on the mask. Oh, it worked. That was convenient. A man is standing next to the open curtain. Or wax at him. Darn it. Poster. No. Feather. No. I can go over this way. Hello, Alex. We meet at last. Welcome, Dr. Wakefield. Alexander Dupre? Yes, I've been waiting for you. We all have. How did I get to this place? I was in that pit in Ailish Moor when suddenly I found Devitt, but he disappeared. I journeyed through the fog and found myself here, but how is this possible? Ailish Moor. Uh, oh, he's pronouncing it for me. I do not know that name. Many paths in our world lead to this place, Dr. Wakefield, and I only know a few. In some of this, uh, word that starts with Z, mirrors, you see the truth leaking into our world, and in others, you see yourself. I knew you'd reach us at last. He was certain of it. He? The first founder of the Order. The Artifacts. Do you not yet know his name? Uh... Hugo Ashdown? Do you mean Mr. Ashdown? No, Hugo came here long before the rest of us, but he made a terrible mistake. He peered into his own truth, and he was transformed. Do you not yet know his name? Jeremiah Devitt? Do you mean Mr. Devitt? Truth can be hard to accept. Yes, Jeremiah gathered us all under the same rule. See that no one knows. We knew the final truth which lay beyond the threshold. This is what the playwright was committed to finding. This was Jeremiah's obsession. The first language which is said to grant the power of creation. After our experiment at school, we realized that the path of the Ancient Ones was watched by a fearsome guardian. We needed a way to circumvent the in, uh, inexorable gaze of the bird. I found Captain Skid, who had met the bird and lived. We decided to use him in a test. 
It was a catastrophe. We eventually found the survivors, but their memories were incomplete. Jeremiah had fared the worst. He had been left devoid of any memories that were related to our efforts. Ugh. We were desperate to find a solution. Hugo tried and failed. And then Anthony and I miraculously came across a formula that had lain forgotten for centuries. At last, it was time to bring Jeremiah back into our ranks. That was nearly a disaster as well. I did not ex anticipate Anthony's sudden madness or the extent of Father Ernest's decline. Mercifully, Jeremiah's life was spared. But something else was wrong. When Jeremiah reached me, he did not remember everything. He changed. He told me he was going to put an end to all of this. He still means to acquire the first language, but he wants to use it to ruin our work. He's already crossed the threshold. Once he learns the final truth, none of this will have never existed. The Order, the Door, or ourselves. You must stop him, Doctor. You must stop him before the curtain closes forever. Why? Why would I do that? Why would I stop him? You're the bad guys. You're causing lots of trouble. Oh no, I'm so motivated. Don't close. The moment has passed. It is too late. We are doomed. Game over? Once more, I found myself enshrouded in dense fog. Gradually, fog dissipated, revealing a busy street in London. Mm-hmm. <laughs> The mask that I had worn lay on the ground, melting like wax over the wet cobblestones. Dizzy and exhausted, I wandered the streets until, at last, I returned home. It seemed very small, as it always does after a long journey. Okay. As I removed my coat, I found a feather in one of the pockets. The same one I had discovered before being engulfed by the black mass of the Seamurg. Is this the bad ending or good ending? With a jolt, I realized that I had not it had not been a dream. I was ashamed at how quickly I had deluded myself into thinking. <clears throat> Otherwise, I kindled a fire and placed the feather on the crackling flames as it burned. I heard the distant calls of crows in the, st in the street. Despite the heat, I shivered. My patient and friend, Jeremiah Devitt, had sacrificed himself he had accepted the consequences of his friend's actions, and his own as well. All right. He had crossed the threshold, leaving the veil through the red curtain of truth, and forever closed the last door that had led to those horrors. But I had not found the strength to follow him. I could not take his place. Why would I? I doubt I will ever learn the fates of those who remained there. Those who are hopelessly trapped in that place. My thoughts now turn increasingly to the last mission to which my friend Hoffman entrusted me. I must make sure that no one ever learns what we discovered. Mm hmm. Alright, can I go back and do the other one now? hope so. 
Okay, we made it back to the scene. I had to replay the whole episode. We looked for you. We looked for you, Kaufman and I. I'm truly sorry about your friends. Sometimes terrible fates befall the companions of travelers. The other world protects itself. It conceals itself within a veil, and it reacts violently when the veil is disturbed. I knew you would reach us. He doubted Kaufman would make it, but he knew you would. He? The first founder of the Order. The Artifacts. Do you not yet know his name? Jeremiah. Truth can be hard to accept. So we're gonna go past the curtain this time. I really wish you could just hit continue and get back to the scene, but no, I had to replay the whole thing. The episode, anyway. I wouldn't have done it if it made you replay every episode. Okay. Now we just need to go past. Yes, 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 go. Go, go, go. New ending. What happened? What's the difference? Once more, I found myself enshrouded in... This is the same thing. Enshrouded in a dense fog. Gradually, the fog dissipated, revealing a busy street in London. Dizzy and exhausted, I wandered the streets until, at last, I returned home. I barely recognized it. I crossed the dusty threshold like an intruder. I noticed for the first time that I was holding the robe of the playwright in my hand. It's different now. I kindled a fire and threw the robe into the flames. As I watched it burn, I remembered the black ocean. I had stood there on the beach, staring up at the terrifying heights of Mount... Huh? Where the verb is said to lie. I don't know what all that is. Then someone touched my arm. It was Dr. Wakefield. Our encounter on the endless dunes had not been an illusion. Okay, so this is from Jeremiah's perspective. In his quest to find me, he had ventured into the veil itself. He said nothing, but it was not necessary. He had come to take my place, to sacrifice himself. He stayed behind, closed the door after giving me a chance to escape. His reasons I will never know. I do not know what happened, Alexander, the others, but I fear that they are trapped in that place for all time. That would be really terrible. I stared at the endless rain splattering against the window, and I remembered that I had something else to do. A last promise to keep. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Is that that? We did it, chat. Teddy's win, yet again. Everyone's a sleepy bear. Okay, is that the end now? We've seen both endings. Thanks for playing. Extras. There should be one last thing here. Beyond the Curtain was released January 15th, 2016. Yes, extra long stream, but extra long VOD for all the good bears. So this is a little one last thing in Minisode, apparently. Mask with no eyes. The inner circle is gathered once again. Will this answer anything? Any last minute stuff? A whole cycle has passed. Since the last playwright, I can move around, travel to land. Shadows and fog. Now the mask with no eyes has chosen a new bearer. 
path between worlds will be visited once again. The veil upon human eyes shall be lifted forever. Playwright meets now. Custodian of the Threshold. Okay. They're trying to open it again because they're big goobers. An ancient being. Guards the door of mist. May the playwright take its light and stand by its watch unnoticed. Okay. Take torch. Gimme. Four whips whips. Wisps of the fog will reveal the truth. Look at that fire. Like, it doesn't... It's not a pixel animation. It's just, like, squares, if that makes sense. Like that one, too. The boreal embers brighten the dark sky. The pyre of Zephyrus glows in the dark ocean. is lit. The astral flame shines within the dark forest. Playwright will stand in the center. Does that mean me? Okay, it means me. And the curtain will be drawn at last. Mm-hmm. Gosh golly, did I get sent to the scary place? Okay. And then its eyes were open. That's it? Okay. Wasn't much to that. I guess it was just showing the people doing the thing. Alright, and that was The Last Door Season 2. The conclusion to the series, everybody. That was fun. Extra super duper long stream today, though. Definitely felt like every episode this time around was like, it kind of almost felt like a different game in a way. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know about the payoff being the best. Like, I feel like both endings kind of leave me a little unsatisfied. But, um, it was the last door for real. Yes, yes it was. I like them. They were fun. The plot was a little bit weird though, like... I think the twist was supposed to be that Jeremiah was actually, like, um, you know, the leader the whole time. But, like, he didn't remember that, and he went through the events of the first game to, like, rejoin them. But, like, I don't know, I feel like that didn't really pack the punch they thought it did. <laughs> the thing I didn't quite get, though, was Wakefield. Like, what was his stake in all this? He was just, like, Jeremiah's, like, uh, doctor... And he was just kind of doing it because they had some like uh, cutscenes that imply that um, like oh why are you doing this to make yourself feel good like what I feel like that was trying to build to something but uh, nothing really happened with that like it, the rules of this place didn't make a whole lot of sense did it it kind of like was just all up in the up and over there especially with like uh, Kieran and all that turning into hmm. Doctor and friend. They kept emphasizing that he was a patient, though. Not really friend. The characters all look alike. You couldn't really get invested in the plot. I can understand that, yeah. Everyone did kind of look the same. They were mostly distinguished by, like, the color of their text. <laughs> or the color of their hair. I get what you mean. Also, everyone in the village just kind of disappeared in the third episode, didn't they? Is that really answered? Not really. Anyways, though, it's nice to play indie games like this. I had a good time with this. Even though <laughs> I regret how long it took. It'll take a little bit for me to edit this, but I hope you guys enjoy it. Ugh, look forward to next week, and maybe we'll do some other spooky games. But if you're watching on YouTube, this is where the recording stops. Have a good night. Bye-bye.